Hey. Oh, Jesus. I gotta lube oil this thing up. It's it's you hear this? You hear that? Nice. I like how that played the song and then it's it's like nope. Nope. I don't I don't understand. Is this thing Is it is it broken? It? What's going on? I think I need to I think I need to grease this thing up. I do, I think I need to grease it up. It's not as limber as it used to be. What about this? I'll just hold it. Hey, yay for straight. I'll just hold it. I'll be like, uh, Freddie Mercury. Oh, dude, this thing is like, I, gotta, I, gotta, I think I got the WD-40 this thing. <laughs> it doesn't bend anymore as much as it used to to make groaning noises. Dude, it's like an old man. It's like an old man over here. Am I good? Are you good? Are you drunk? That grand over here is drunk in like Sunday afternoon. All right, do I have to take Easter off? I don't celebrate Easter. Do you have to take it off? You don't celebrate it? I, this thing is like real. I gotta, I'm gonna have to l grease this thing up. It's seriously, I got th it's making all kinds of groaning noises. I assume that, you know, metal and parts need to be, there's, oh, there's like junk on it too. Sunday, you're allowed to get wasted anytime you want. What is it, Sunday? Sunday fun day. Hello, test it, no. Test. Test. Hello? Test. 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 Sunday! 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 Fun day! I need one of those, like, oh, God. Oh, no. I need, stop. I need one of those things that's, like, Okay, anyways. Has my bed gotten better? Honestly, not. I haven't really adjusted to it. I don't feel much better when I wake up in the morning. Ash feels great though. She's great. Ash feels wonderful. Me? I don't. I don't know. I don't. My arm still feels awful. I still feel like I. I woke up and I'm late this morning because getting up is hard for some reason. Still, no. Not yet. Maybe. It'll, maybe in a week or two. Maybe in a week or two, or however long it takes to adjust my bed. No, I don't feel like any, I don't really feel like it's any different. I feel it's different when I'm awake and sitting in it. I'm like, man, this bed is actually, I'll sit in the bed. I'm like, man, this bed is uh, comfortable. And then when I fall asleep, it's not much better. Oh, there's the cat cam. She's not actually there. But since you paid for a cat cam, I'll give you this one. There you go. Ash feels better. She's getting a better sleep. Yeah, your first shot yesterday, your arm's a bit sore. Dude, my arm is still sore, and I got mine on Tuesday or Wednesday. I can't remember. Was it Tuesday or Wednesday? Oh, does this line up? Nice. Perfect. There you go. Progress is saying up something about the uh, holidays. Dude, there's so much cat hair in, in this mouth. This cat is, like, dropping cat litter onto my mouse pad. It's, like, raking this mouse across coals. Okay. Anyways, I'd be turned on the integration because I haven't done that yet. <laughs> no, uh, I don't feel much better in the morning. I feel it's, it's comfortable when I sit in. I'm like, man, this is a comfortable bend. So. Anyways. Sky Factory 1. Oh, let's see what's up today. Let's see. Oh, my thing's not even on. What the heck is that about? Is he going to show the little advertisement? Oh, man. You, got, you didn't see the advertisement, chat. You got to see where I sell out. Hold on. Is my sellout ad going to show up? Probably not. Good thing we didn't test yet. Oh, here we go. First neck man. Mm 
Is it not going to show up? Why is the why is curse for just like so bugged out sometimes? It's not going to show it? Oh, man. Chad, I was going to show you how I sold out. What the heck with this mouse pad, dude? All right. All right. Sky Factory O-N-E. Oh, block diversity, industrial foregoing, tinkers construct, and titanium. What did industrial foregoing update? The experience thing? Oh. Laser Jill now uses tag preference system. Increase version. That's a that's a change log. You gotta say you increase the version. Added the wither builder. Fix missing lane keys. Fix potion brewer. Fix bobs with the Made machines use forge experience. Oh, good. Okay. All right. Great. Great update. Block diversity. Fix banners crashing game when destroyed. Oh, that's pretty serious. Well, they, oh, maybe in, maybe in the fabric version. Now available for fabric. All right. Is, is Dark Fang going to stream? No, he didn't stream in the weekends, does he? Is it stream in the weekends, does he? I sent Dark Fang a message a few days ago. He must be really busy. I, I think Dark Fang just doesn't check his Discord like me. When he's not, or when he's not working. Where's my, where's the, oh. Edit instance? Where'd that go? Where's all my windows? <laughs> Edit instance. Where's the window? You know what? Let's close that. Multi MC will open something on another window. Not even the primary one. Here we go. Okay. Uh, it's self forge. How many forge updates are there? Eh. Eh. We don't need any of those. Whatever. Whatever. Is there a beta version of the pack out? No. Uh, worlds. Here we go. Topograph topography nether testing. Let's see. Last played. This way. Serve testing T compat J I sort test. Right, we can get rid of that. Yep. Nether Michael thing. Okay. Let's just go in order here. What's up, Jackster? Copy. Serve testing backup. Delete. Okay. Out of curiosity, how much space do I have on my computer? Oh, about 800 gigs. That's uh, that's still a bit. How much is in my recycle bin? Hold on a second. Where is my recycle bin? Why can't you have the recycle bin be in the Explorer? I don't understand this. Uh, all right. Hold on a second. I'm a new follower. I just want to ask if there's an official server. An if, a f official server for what? It's up, like a builder. <laughs> Empty recycle bin. Yeah, go ahead and do that. For Sky Factory? Uh, no. There's not an official server for Sky Factory. I mean, also, this pack is not even out so there wouldn't be a server for it are you asking for a, a playing server up to play on there is not oh there's i got like 20 gigs of recycle bin over here for sky factory 4 there's not a server to play on no there's a discord server All right, that's good there. All right, recycle bin. Oh my God, there's so much junk in this recycle bin. Hmm. 
What is this? Oh my god. <laughs> it goes in his mouth and everything. Great. Perfect. It lines up. What's up, Epic Monkey? Epic Monkey. Yeah. How's it going? Like that menu? Huber does a great job. All right, that's all good there. Uh, I'm still waiting for this from, from Bentley. So hopefully he's able to get that hooked up pretty soon. Uh, we need game sounds, don't we? There we go. Start testing. How long are you going to keep something for? Hey! One month? Silzy. Thank you for the 16 months. months. Welcome money. back. Bye, Thank you. Silzenith has just subscribed. Thank you. Oh, look, shiny button may be clicking. It will make the mod pack have less bugs. Yeah, that's how that works. Keep If you keep subbing, chat, the bu the mod pack is less bugs and it gets released faster. <laughs> Thank you very much for the 16 months of support. I appreciate that. Anytime liquids filtering works on the new tinkers, I cannot figure it out. Wait, anytime liquid filtering works on the new tinkers, you cannot figure it out. Anytime liquid... Wait, say that again? I don't understand what you're at, you're saying. Any tell tips, tips. Yeah, hold on a second. I got plenty of tips. They might apply to the situation, or maybe not. Hold on, let me find a good station to listen to, though. What do I want to listen to today? I want some synth stuff, but I don't want like. I want some like higher energy synth stuff. All right. Um, filtering. Yeah. Hold on. One time you're going to have something something on the sub say, well, one more day close to release is the, is the message. Wait, one time you're going to have this something on subs say, well, on one more day close to release now as the message. Oh. I need more subs to jog my memory. What's up, Lars Talk? <laughs> I don't remember that, actually. I'm sure I said it. I don't remember anything. I don't remember anything anymore. I feel like my memory's been wiped. Yeah, so the filtering is, um, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hold on a second. I don't even know anymore. Replace my wasting your money. Yeah, 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 Wasting your money. I got you. I need to redo those. I'm still not really sure exactly, uh, what I'm going to do. Um, I feel like we've had wasting our money. All right, I was just kidding around. <laughs> Let's dog. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you very, very, very much for that. I appreciate larger you. Dog has gifted five subs it sounds like it says larger dog. There's large dog and there's larger dog. Thank you very, very, dude, very, very much for that. Thank you, large. Thank you. Oh, suddenly the pack is getting close to release. I feel it. Oh, it's going to be very soon. Very the spirits. The spirits told me soon. I feel like I remember everything all of a sudden. Oh my god, all the bugs are fixed. When will then be now? <laughs> thank you very much for the sub. Seriously, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, filtering. Yeah, I can help you out a little bit with that. Or at least tell you, at least help explain what's going on with it. So our eagle, thank you for that raid. I appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. I, how was your stream today? How was your thing? So, I imagine that you have at least figured out some of the, 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 I guess, the basics of how things are working. Um, like, for example, uh, let's do this. Like, the filtering. You got everything but the bucket filter block. All right, so, the first thing is first. This might be important for you to know. This might help you all get some stuff automated. So it will not alloy if there's no fuel. So if you just put iron and nickel in together, normally it would make invar, right? But if there's no fuel, it won't alloy. 
So you can basically make it a big tank, which might be useful if you want to do some kind of a holding tank. Uh, that's interesting. So basically, uh, Okay, you have your your shoot. So what this does is if you're killing blazes or other mobs, or you just have stuff that's dropping something in, you can pull out from here or you can put items in. So I what I do is instead of having to use a controller, you know, I used to use a controller to input with a pipe. You don't have to do that anymore. You can do this one or any any pipe or any input or whatever. So that will allow you to you know, it's this item in and out. So if you kill a mob in the smeltery, it'll pull the items out. And then you can use a pipe to filter. And then you have uh, your seared drain. Uh, there's Actually, there's a couple of things. This is your normal drain. There's a couple of things. Yeah, like the blazes. Exactly. There's a couple of things that's pretty cool with this, though. Let's put this in here. This will show what the liquid is going to that's going to be out. So if you have like you have multiple liquids, this will always show the the one that you have right there. So that's pretty cool. That helps you know what's going in going in and out. Um, and then there's the other filter, which is the seared duct. This is essentially a filter for liquid. Now, what you need to do, though, is you have to either put in a bucket or you ha or it provides with for you a can. Here it is. This copper can. Oh, I got to do it over here. Uh, hold on. Faucet. They provide the can, same thing as a bucket, just holds less, so you don't have to put a, a thousand millibuckets. I think you can do it this way. Yeah, yeah. So that so it has copper can. This contains one ingot of molten gold. So now this will always output gold. And it'll only output gold. And the coolest thing about this though is. Gold doesn't have to be in the bottom, and it will still output. So no matter where there's gold in the smeltery, no matter where it is, it will always only output that. So what you can do is, if you want to have, like, Invar, but not pull the iron or the nickel out, you can just have it set to Invar, and then it'll just only output the alloy. So it just saves you some time of having to sit there and move items around, and then, like, oh, I forgot about it. Now, but the coolest thing is, though, and this is my, it, it gets a little bit weird, but normally it's fine. This is the coolest thing. Let me put some more gold in here, though. Okay. This, this is not even a clock anymore. All you have to do is, well, you can do this, this or this, but you just have to put a redstone signal. It reads a redstone signal directly. You don't need a clock any longer. Hey, Carol Wolfie, what's up? So, so it saves you a little bit of, uh, of an extra block. Uh, there's another thing. What is it? Uh, so sear bricks, for example, you can't make them by melting cobble like you used to. Uh, so what you can do is, uh, like you got stone, you have molten clay. So check this out. So here's a, here's a cool example of how this works. So you have like molten clay. Okay. And you have, uh, where's the can? Oh, well, grout works, but you can't, yeah, yeah, because grout works, that's what's meant to be. You used to be able to melt cobblestone. You could, like, once you made a smelter, you could, like, kind of cheese it a little bit, you know? Uh, clay, there we go. Oops, my bad. Give me a hopper, there you go. Stone bricks. Now, the weirdest thing is, this might get, this kind of gets a little bit, it, there's a, there's, like, a fix for this, I guess, but, uh, okay, so you do this. This is how you can make stone bricks. A little bit, a little bit quicker. How long 
are you gonna keep subbing for? One month? Two months? You do your normal months? piping, right? Waste your money. Bye, Felicia. Phantom Smithy has just subscribed. Bi weekly sub alert incoming. Hey, Phantom Smithy, thank you for your bi weekly sub. I appreciate you paying twice a month. Like other people in chat might consider doing if they really enjoyed the stream, you know what I'm saying? Thank you very much for the 30 months. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Thank you. Very, 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 very much. Phantom Smithy. I hope you're doing good. Uh, but you can do stuff like this. So that's, you know, it's a nice system. So, but so the idea is that it's the interfaces, um, you know, in and out is, uh, is just makes it a lot more, uh, 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 a lot nicer. And then just be aware it will take any fuel. So you can't like put multiple fuels, uh, and have it pull what it needs. It's very user friendly. Is that the only other thing is basically you got this cool chest, by the way, for all your, uh, your casts. Uh, yeah, the blaze is the better. It's like, it's, blaze is like the pyrothium type thing. Uh, what else was there? Was there anything else that was really important? Oh, have you seen the ladders? What's up, Sheffy? Have you seen the ladders? You have to put a ladder on anymore? It's got a built-in. There you go. Just makes it easier for you to get in and out without having to do the old ladder on the side thing. Uh... What else? All the diff decorative blocks. That should that should be yeah. I think it's what you're what you're what you're looking for, right? That's basically. And you have your your anvil. That's like your that's like your tool station. Do you know about this? This is important, actually. Do you know about our Lord and Savior? The modifier tab? How do I figure this out? Uh, <laughs> either an item that is a modifier applying item or a fully assembled tool. If you hit U on it, there's a modifiers tab. Then you click on modifiers. It will show you every tinker's modifier and the items needed to give that modifier. And it'll give a little description of it. So if you want to know, you know, what's dragging you to Draconic? Let's give you a second ability slot. So yeah. Oh yeah, the anvil too. Yeah, yeah, there's item there's a bunch of items that do it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yep. I usually have a tool, so I just click on I usually have a tinker's tool on me, so I just do that. I told him that I think you should have a button for that modifier tab, so you can just click on it and go immediately to it. Um, so I, I'm going to remind him about that, instead of having to find an item. Alright, yeah. There's my, there's my Tinker's Construct tips! I'm going to package that up and make a video out of it. Oh, don't forget these. Don't forget the shurikens. <laughs> Is that it? That's basically it. That's basically, that's basically. You put more than one type cast in the chest? Yeah. All right. It would be a pretty bad chest if you couldn't. <laughs> What's up, Wabazar? I saw you had uh, a really nice uh, pull request. So hopefully um, you just got the Twitch notification. Dude, those things are always on time, aren't they? Always on time. You ended up having to look in the book for Tinkers? Yeah, it was a bit of a pain because I never knew where my book was. Plus, it wasn't organized easily enough to scroll through is like a like a, a JEI integration would be is the book still not the still book still doesn't have anything in it I was wondering if they're gonna do anything with that before it released hey tired bunny happy Easter apparently it's Easter Sunday oh we got to do these upgrades it's one page and it says there's nothing in there yet yeah 
Yeah, I threw mine off the edge. How's this doing? This has been running for like a week now, and it's only down to 42 coal. There's uh something killing my FPS right now. This thing creates a tutorial. Nope. You celebrate other than chocolate and a four-day weekend? Chocolate and four-day weekend on Easter. There you go. That's that's basic. Can you? That's basically all you need to worry about. What are you supposed to do on Easter? What's the what's the general like? If you do celebrate Easter, what do you, you go to church on Easter Sunday? For? One month, two months. I don't remember what I did. I think we just months? like waste your money. That was we didn't do anything. Penthos Daimon has just subscribed. Hey, Penthos, leave the 19 Dark months. 19 months of this thoughtful and high yield investment. I will prove to you that you will make tons of money on me someday. Some you just keep just keep putting all the money in, and I'll, someday you'll get all of it back and more. Thank you very much for the 19 months. Somehow your job that lives by the mantra of keep working. What's a day off? Give us all Easter Sunday off. Oh my God, one day off. What are you gonna do? Church and celebration of Jesus. Hide eggs. Forget half of them. Find them in a month. They smell wonderful. That's gross. That's gross. Hey, Mr. Bicycle, what's up? What's up, Safety Orange? Um, why am why is my FPS dying up here? Why am I getting 60 FPS up here? That's really weird. Interesting. Marp, what? Are that, is that why you're here? Is that the only reason why you're here? Why seriously am I getting low FPS? Is there a bunch of items in the ground? I'm actually going to use F3 for this. Marbles has risen. Entities. There's like a hundred. That's not that many. Something's killing the FPS. That's weird. What's that, Elastine? Where's this way? Oh. We're, it's like in that specific area. Look, it's a, it's like 200 over here. Hold on. It has to be the tree farms and the other crops because they're constantly redrawing the chunk, right? I would imagine. If you look away from the farms, it goes up. Jesus. Oh my god. Aww. She just rolled over on her back. Penthos Diamond has just tipped twenty dollars. Penthos! Did you say invest more money? Yes. Uh, I get. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, you give me twenty dollars, and in 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 within the next one thousand years, you will get twenty dollars and ten cents. And and think about that. With how much that would be with the inflation, that would be like a lot. You're gonna be rich someday. You're gonna be rich. Just keep just keep inserting. The dollars into your disk drive. Thank you very much for the twenty dollar tip. I appreciate that. Enjoy this cat as your wonderful, your wonderful gift. Oh, you're just a sweet little kitty, aren't you? Is Sky Factory 5 supposed to be the Sky Factory 1 remake? If it was the Sky Factory 5, it would be called Sky Factory 5. I think... Well, no, it's actually not the... Is it this? Hold on. It's not this. It's over here? It's over here. It's the tree farm. It's gotta be the tree farm. Or is it? No, it's not. It's actually fine. It's over here. Is it the smeltery? Yeah. 
Oops, it fell in the hole. I'm pretty sure it's the smeltery, because because uh, the farms are actually not killing the FPS as much as they normally would. They usually redraw the chunk a bunch, kill your FPS. It seems to be when looking at the smeltery. That's interesting. Is it the cobble farm? It could also be that. It's something in this, like, area here. I don't even know exactly what it is. Is it this? Hold on, let's see. I'm looking at this. The smeltery is not in view. It's 127. 107, 117, 127. I turn and look at the smeltery and it's 63. 59. If it was the pipes... There's a lot of pipes right here. This immediately went to 173. It doesn't seem to be the pipes. It seems to be this. Interesting. Is it on a chunk border? It is actually exactly within the chunk. It's fully within the chunk. Interesting. It does seem to be... It has to be this? Hmm. Hmm. Depends if you get all the stuff out. Wasn't a fix for that in 112 to cover the top of the smeltery? I I don't I've never heard of that before. Is that a, was that a thing? I have no idea. Was that a thing people did? Not to replace all of those again. Now it's 90, which is actually better than it was. It's like 20 better than it was. Oh, the trap door. What's below the smeltery? Um, this, which funny enough is actually running higher than the other stuff. What's that? Oh, good. Where's my mouse? Oh, there it is. Where's my thing? Oh, there it is. Hey, Irma, thank you very much. When the Thank you for the dollar tip. Can you tell me when Sky Battery 5 is coming out? Uh, when it's finished? And how are you going to retain resources at the beginning? Um, I, I haven't even started making Sky Battery 5. So, my answer for you is, um... There is no answer. <laughs> you are extremely early for Sky Factory 5. I haven't even begun that mod pack. Like, I'm not even probably going to begin that mod pack for a very long time. Um, but thank you for the tip. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, I would imagine, though, it'll be finished when it's uh, and released when it's done. What's up? My damn giggles. Thank you very much for that raid. How's it going? Madam Giggles. Thank you for that. How's Minecraft? Uh, it's gonna like go over here. Maybe it's this right here. Raiders copy this. I like how you copied the whole thing. <laughs> we have this under it right here. What's up, bird boy Busky? What's up, bassoonist? When is Sky Video Zero coming out? Between you and I, tomorrow. Are you down? This is, see, this is fine right here. You would think it was, like, all these pipes and all these connections. It doesn't seem to be this. The FPS is, like, 128. Thank you for that raid, Madam Giggles. How is, uh, how's your stream today? It does seem, it does suggest that it's at least on the top section here as the smelter, right? Interesting. You think it's the storage drawers? I... I don't I I think that everything we've just shown suggests that it's not though. Like We've been looking at the smeltery pretty well. And we've been able to isolate it. And why would storage drawers 
have an issue with something that is not even your, like that you're trying to render. If they're not on screen and being rendered, why would they? Why would they cause an issue though? We're specifically behind the storage doors below us. It was low down there as well. It's also low right here. I mean, I think we just have too much in this chunk as well. I think you're, I think you're right. But it does seem to be that the smelter is contributing to something. You debated raiding and pillaging with friends. Nice. I wish the raiders and pillagers would come to my base. Oh wait, hold on. This guy has a hat that I don't have. Oh wait, no, I had that hat. Never mind. There is too much in this chunk, but the issue is that we've been able to just like look right here. We might need to move the smeltery, but um, what the heck is it though? It's weird because it's not completely fixed. Well, the TPS has been solidly at twenty. We actually have not had any TPS issues. It's just, it's simply it's just a client side rendering problem. Although it is slightly better after we uh, it is slightly better when we took the controller out or we got rid of the liquid. Either way. Are there player statues on that side? Is it this? Because there's a whole bunch of them, actually. Hello from Germany. Hello! Well, it's kind of interesting because... Wait, is it the player statues? Clips, twitch.tv, exuberant, savage, what is that? What, what does that let me in? Actually, it's interesting because the TPS and the server tick time are both almost exactly the same. So it's not affecting the client. Uh, sorry, the server. It's affecting the client, though. Is it the, the, the vanilla lanterns? I hope not. There is just a lot going on in this chunk, though. Player statues have been player statues, but not the mob statues, just the player ones. Interesting. These take a long time to break. Is it unplayable at 77 FPS? It's unplayable when you realize that we've started this with six to 700 FPS and it's still, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a bit of, it's a drop. Imagine if you started at like a hundred or 200 FPS and how low yours would be right now. Probably very unplayable. I don't think it's getting any better. Like, it has nothing to do with 77 being unplayable, but it's definitely the result of... It's definitely the result of uh, if you had started lower than me. I don't have any space for all these guys. Let me see. We can put these somewhere else. We have those statues, like, everywhere. Mm. Look at the statues in the other direction. The smeltery FPS is fine. Yeah, I, I think it's the smeltery. This might this might be contributing too, but it doesn't seem to be a big deal, does it? We can like rotate around the smeltery. And it's and it and it's killed. It's also uh weirder for me because my monitor refresh rate is a bit higher, so it's it's a lot easier for me to see that there's an issue. I mean, these guys are everywhere, but I don't think it's... I don't really think that's causing it. Oh, F3 plus... I uh, forget. What's the... Uh, alt F3? Yeah, there we go. That's the TPS. What's the, uh, what's the way to change the pie ground? There we go. Oh, you can't see anything. The thing that sucks about this, though, is the fact that, okay, Mika, you are literally on the mouse pad right now. FPS is on the left. I'm not looking for FPS. We've had FPS the whole time. It's up here in the top. 
Also, just FYI, you should not really care much about the FPS in the screen. This is literally the laggiest screen in the game. Your FPS is is lower in the screen because it's insanely laggy. So don't really ever use this for very much. Unless you're comparing it with itself. Uh, hold on a second. That one. This is a very laggy screen. Okay, um... Oh, it went away, sorry. Game renderer. Level. Block entities. Unspecified. It's block entities. It's 41% of the game renderer. But there's no other... Yeah, we can't really get deeper into that. How do you go backwards in that thing? Oh, thank you. So, block entities are 69% of the renderer right now. Because these numbers are so small. We might have to do a client thread profile. Yeah, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Visual VM. I wonder what it is. Maybe we will find... Maybe we'll finally find some information. I mean, if it is the pipes, then at least we'd have information, right? Rather than just 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 thinking it was the pipes. I mean, to be fair, if it was the pipes, we had actual, like, you know, profile proof, that would be wonderful. I just, I just do not really prefer the method of, I think it's this, and I'm going to say that, because it, <laughs> because what happens is, then people start taking it as if it's the truth, and then when that, and then people stop using it, because, because you, know, we've all seen it, there's like always the person like, oh, I don't want to use that mod because somebody said it was laggy. When in fact, it might not even have been that. I would rather have it be that, but then have the information. Okay, how do we do the whole thread thing again? I forget how this works. Let's have one, Simbies. Uh, we have to do uh, sample. No, how do you do thread sample? I forget how this works. Do you do a thread dump? Is that how we have to do this? That doesn't seem to be right. You go back. I I forget how to do this like every time. You gotta do profiler CPU. Is that right? Oh, we, we can pull me back now. We don't need we don't need me to be gone anymore. Oh, are we looking at the thing? I guess we should be looking at the thing. Are we looking at the thing? We're kind of looking at the thing. There we go. Profiling results. Okay. What is what is the profiling? What is the profiling happening? <laughs> it's profiling. Well, it's profiling the pack that we're playing right now. We're playing, what we're playing right now is is being. This is actively opened. Look, it's it's already doing it. It's 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 already. It's already working. You're talking about that. That's what we have open. I understand what you're talking about. That's what we have open. Look. This is what is open. Look at the tabs. Look at what's open on the side.
Hmm. Let me do this real fast. Profile memory. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, go back to here. Are you stuck now? Oh, nice. Hmm. We've done thread. We've looked through threads before, haven't we? Hmm. You think you don't know? Hmm. You gotta run a CPU sample. Oh, here we go. This is what we want. The thread CPU time, right? In the render thread. Your BFF Jill? How old are you? <laughs> Is it new for scrap build? Okay, cool. Uh, stop. Oh, but if we want to go into this, we have to. Right. So the render thread here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. This is what we have to do. Do we have to thread dump? No, we don't need that. Okay. That's not something we need. Okay. Got it. Okay, so if we're here. Game renderer. Forge in-game GUI. Yeah, this is pretty high still. World renderer. Here we go. Tile entity, renderer, dispatcher. Mm-hmm. Client renderer, tile entity, tile entity, rend renderer, dispatcher, function 228855 underscore A underscore. <laughs> George is on here as 1497, which is half? So we see drawers on here. Are these all the same? And then it gets pretty low after this. What else do we have? All these are low too, right? My camera blocking the bars is kind of annoying. Okay, well then... Well then just ask me to turn it off! Instead of being rude about it! <laughs> I can't turn it off because you guys turned the cat cam thing on. The rest of these are all supplementaries, chicken, chicken core. All right, let's see if we re let's see let's do this real fast. All right, let's do let's leave. Um, hold on a second, multi MC. Let's see if we can do this. An instance. Uh, 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 worlds. There it is. Serve testing right here. Copy. Y yes. Serve testing. Uh, this is survival world. Uh, FP or uh, testing. Okay. This one right here. All right, we'll use this one. Oh, yeah? You're going to nibble my hand? Okay. Thank you for the bites. Thank you. Oh, thank you for the kisses, too. Thank you. I don't want bites. Oh, she almost just fell off the desk. <laughs> there you go. Just lay back down. I know you want bites. I know. Oh, thank you for the kisses. She's getting grumpy now. All right, let's see if we just uh, break this stuff and see what happens. Where's the FPS? The top right? All right, let's do this first. Oh, God. There. Seven. All right, can you see the FPS now? 
All right, let's break this first. Let's kill all the entities. Or let's kill all the uh all the uh the mob spawning constantly. All right, so you got 65. We have 60s. All right, so let's try a few things out here. Is there an FPS counter? I think if you pay five subs, it might show up. Okay. Let's see if the keys make any difference. Quantify key. So it's between 60 and 71. It's like a few FPS, maybe? Looks like it's like five. Pres <laughs> hey, President Fox Boys, thank you for the five gifted subs. Gifted, gifted subs! subs! Thank you for the five gifted subs. I appreciate them. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's very kind of you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. It looks like it's the, it's like a couple. Like, what's that, five or six? He's going to make it bigger for your five subs? Hold on. No, that's the biggest we can do, I think. I, I tell you what, here's what we can do. If it lets us do this. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, here we go. Ready? For your five gifted subs. Uh, oh, that doesn't matter, actually. There you go. There you go. Everything is an FPS counter, and it's bigger. Wonderful. Look at that. Look at that. All right, so the difference between numbers and no numbers is pretty small. It's, that's pretty negligible, right? All right, let's see if we start breaking these drawers down then. Well, first, let's take the RF system offline. No difference really, right? There's a hiding key. What? A hiding key? I don't understand what you mean by a hiding key. Okay, ready, chat? Oh, I actually have to do... What do I have to do with the tool, I think? I just removed half the drawers, and it is literally the same. Is it the compact in drawers? It's specifically compacting drawers, it looks like. I think it's the compacting drawers. That definitely went up. I think it's... You have axolotls? Those are adorable. I think it's compacting drawers, is what it is. It's not just drawers. It's compacting drawers. You have two of them? Oh my god. You think it's the pipes? Is it the pipes? You think so? As I'm looking at like a ridiculous amount of pipes. It's definitely the pipes! What's interesting though is it's still only a hundred. Does the cobble come back to you running super fast? Well, there's just behind me. Let's see if I get rid of this too. It is very it's running. It's it was running at 7,200 a second. Kind of better, I guess. I don't remember. I think we're looking at this way was high anyways, wasn't it? Maybe it's my sluggish CPU. And my CPU does kind of suck. But the thing is, I just got rid of all of the drawers. Well, not all of the drawers. Many of the drawers. There's a few here and there. But the problem is, though, we're still not running very high. Like... Is that double the FPS? Yes, but it's still lower than expected, isn't it?
The mob farm right now is not even on. I'm in peaceful mode. It should not have a bunch of items in the ground, if that's what you're asking. Will the drawers come back? Will they come back? I don't- what do you mean, will they come back? How do you, uh... Uh, what- does anybody have handy the command that kills? Oh, you want me to do a sample now to see? What's next? Oh, well, let's see. I wish that I could close all these. It'd be great. <laughs> can I delete the whole chunk? I mean, I could probably just run a command and delete it. But I don't necessarily... Um... Oh, thank you. The type item? Well, I was looking for everything except... Even e anything that is just not me. Items. Passive. Hold on. This is divided up pretty well at this point, isn't it? Builders Editions. This is all pretty low, though. Look, Builders Editions, the Tesseracts are... So if we're looking at 50,000 milliseconds total, the Tesseract is sitting at 2,100. The Builders Editions shelves are 2,300. But those are not that big of a deal. Apparently, storage drawers are still showing up as a 1900. The crucibles are showing up as 1800. What it looks to me is that there's a bunch of just smaller... There's a bunch of smaller tile entities that are all just together. All of them together... ...are now adding up to the total rendering time. Which, I guess, is something that you should expect, right? But... You're looking at supplementaries. Oh, the jar with the cookies in it is a thousand. The jar with the cookies in it, the crucible rendering, the storage drawers, something in storage drawers is still in this group here. You have your tesseracts. You have your builder's edition shelves. There's just, there's just like enough small things. Right? But they're not... There's nothing in here that's, like, it, like inherently large. It's just a bunch of smaller stuff. So, I don't really know if this is any of it... Really an issue. It's just one of those... Uh, I have... I've, I'm seven played time... Seven days of played time in my world. I have a bunch of random junk going on in the same chunk. Uh, and you shouldn't really do that. So it's more of the expected route. Um, and what we would do in this situation, just move things around. Or not build it in one chunk. This is why one chunk challenges are hard. Um, I don't I don't necessarily know if this is a really an issue, though. I mean, maybe these mods could individually, like, optimize things, I guess. Maybe, but what's it going to really... They tried turning it off and back on again? 130, 640. Where do we get the worst? It was down here. Well, it was upstairs, but also this direction. It's not even these. It's the crucibles. Oh, right. Thank you. 121. Um, Let me get rid of these crucibles real fast. over here. You know what's interesting is that pipes have not shown up once, have they? Not that we can tell. I've not seen a single rendering issue with pipes. And we've knocked off quite a bit. Not that pipes should affect rendering anyways. I don't understand how they would. 
I should probably fix this so that my base, that the whole base doesn't go on fire while I'm trying to, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to profile anything. <laughs> I don't understand why it doesn't work. Why is my FPS gone? Meanwhile, my entire base is on fire. It should be fine. If we need to run the uh, fire spread command, we can do that. Get this out of here. Okay. I mean, honestly, it's still like 10 FPS higher, maybe. It feels pretty smooth, though. When I look in... Where is it that I just looked? I looked at something and it went down. Unless it was just me moving too fast. All right, let's profile. This is pretty good. I think you've nailed down most of what it was. Let's let's see one more time. So it seems to be a combination of uh, the drawers, the crucibles. Well, the compacting drawers. What was that last sample? Was that 60 or 70,000 milliseconds? I can't remember. You've seen foam fix helps with FPS. I don't want to have foam fix. I want to get down to the bottom of the issue. So if I need to report it, I can get it fixed. Not put in a mod that fixes it for us. I can't remember what the total timing was in the previous memory uh, sample. Actually, I think we're pretty close. Just a few seconds more and we should be good. So the world render here, 29.532. We're looking at... Still the tile entity stuff right here, right? Looking at... Ender storage. Yeah, look, it's ender storage is 4,800. So these are the ender storage tanks, which is funny because there's only like two or... No, there's maybe four of them. You have Ender Storage Tanks, which is 4,800. And then the next one is the Shelves for 3,400. Then you have Storage Drawers Rendering, which is 3,000. Tesseracts are 2,900. You have Supplementary Jars, 1,700. Pipes show up at 1,200, which is 1... So it's 1,200 out of 47,000. That's only 2.7% of the, the total time is spent on pipe rendering. I don't think pipes have an issue. I mean, 10% spent on rendering tanks is, is something that seems to be a little bit, a little bit much. 10% is on ender storage tanks. 7% on shelves. 6.5% on storage drawers. Mm. Uh, and you have all these like cyclic, cyclic at point zero point four percent, black hole zero point four percent. What exactly is yeah? Booze is on this list, but as zero point four percent. Iron chest is on here, interestingly enough. I don't I don't know if we have uh, a crystal chest in here. There's multiple storage tanks, yeah. Like the cyclic tank is on here, but it's like very, very low. Here we go. Lothazar. Cyclic tank. 199 milliseconds, 0.4%. Render tank, render, I render type buffer, get buffer. Yeah, yeah. It's not a big deal though. You would expect that, right? Yeah, cyclic is terrible. It's it's cyclic causes lag. Clearly, we're looking at it right now. I would be. I'm most concerned about the fact that the ender storage tanks are 10 percent of the rendering though. Um, after we got rid of everything else. And mind you, like, all the rest only really shows up as, as high because we got rid of, like, a whole bunch of stuff, right? So it's like, <laughs> it's not like my world doesn't have a bunch of things that we just removed. Um, it, or it's, it's not like it's completely just, you know, there we go. If we get rid of those, get rid of these. 
So yeah, the I guess the the point is though that we 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 removed a bunch of the 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 bad stuff. Oh, they these two, right? Oh, it's not, but it can't be these. It's really just the compacty one, which is not even down here. Get rid of that. See, something over here is dropping it, though, too. Is it the tanks? Or, sorry, the tank. Is it the, uh, is it the drawers? Let's see. If I look here, we got that, too. If I look at this specifically. Yep. Okay, we profile that. Let's see what shows up here. So, 40,000 milliseconds was about what we just had. Hoppers can cause lag. Hoppers can cause what kind of lag? That's about 40,000 right there. Okay. I don't, we're looking at the rendering thread though, and there's nothing on the ground. We've cleared all the item. And if hoppers cause lag, they would show up on this list, which I have not yet seen anything that suggests that. I've seen lots of mods that would suggest that they are. Oh, the cat's, uh, oh, she almost fell off the desk and she ran away. Oh, you know what? Uh, oh, no, no, no. She might be getting ready for her food. Her food shows up in like 20 minutes. So store at this area, 20% of the uh, rendering is spent on storage drawers. 13% of it is on the saw. 13% of the timing is spent on the, um, the mob masher. Yeah, we have an automatic feeder. It goes off in about 20 minutes. It goes out early in the morning, about noon, about dinner time, and then at night at like 10 o'clock. Yeah. Um... So we have storage drawers, 20%. We have mob grinder utils at 13.4%. We have, uh, it, it actually is the lanterns uh, here. 9.4% is the lanterns. This is interesting. So they must be, they're doing something with the land. It, it's the, the rendering of the lantern. Mm. Do they sit at the feeders? I don't know where she is. They start, they usually do that. They usually do that. I, I assume that after a week or so, they figured it out and they do sit next or around them. They used to follow us around because they knew that we gave them food. So they would just, just they would literally follow us back and forth and meow at us. 1.7% uh, is the Tesseract. 1.2% is the pipes. And then the rest is all done here. You almost missed my birthday stream? Oh, it's okay. You didn't miss it. Because it didn't happen yet. <laughs> Let me send this to uh, Vadis. Let's, let's get Vadis all, like, worked up. <laughs> um, And then Super Martin. I mean, the Tesseracts aren't that bad. If you're wondering about the player render, this is literally the statue rendering that you're talking about is 0.2% of the rendering right now. 0.2%. It's 99 milliseconds out of a total of 40,000. It's not my birthday chat. No. Honestly, Mob Grinder Utils is about 15 to 16 total percent of the rendering in this area, which is, I guess, I mean, it's doing a lot of crazy stuff. There's like, there's like, I mean, to be fair, there's like nine Mob Grinders spinning in a circle. There's this thing. 
There's also uh, this thing over here. It's, it's to be expected, I would suppose, right? Happy birthday to the ground. That's not my dad. That's a cell phone. I, I don't really know if there's anything on here besides storage drawers, really, that is... Surprising. Why not have the mob grinder's redstone activated? Do you understand how often these mobs are grinding? Like, they spawn constantly. I'm also not worried about the mob masters too much. I have nine of them. It's a little bit over overkill. Is it the XP fluid? No, it's not the XP fluid. It's it's the rendering of this, and it's the rendering of those. I, I just said that. I did take the smeltery out, though. I want to see... You're right about that. I want to test that out. Let me get. Let me make another copy of the world and then double-check that. Uh, all right, hold on a second. Let me make a copy of this. This is the one here, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, I need like a little cat, little cat toy. Here, I'll tell you. There you go. It's a mouse. Uh, 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 smeltery lag test. Oh, hey, gluttonous. Thank you very much for that raid. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Thank you, Jack. How's your stream today? Thank you for that raid. Smeltery lag test, right? Yeah, that's the one. This one. Let's see what this. What should we get rid of the drawers? Actually, let's get rid of nothing first. Let's say a Corsair sponsorship photo. Yeah, buy Corsair stuff. If you buy it, um, they change their. Uh, by the way, they change their uh their uh discounts. There is a minimum order. I think it's one hundred and fifty dollars, and you can you have to buy one of the peripherals, because Corsair I guess is trying to combat the fact that internet sites just like pick up discount codes and just give them to everybody so they're trying to like seemingly figure out a way of still attributing that people use codes like a real they really like they don't it's it's less about like the codes being out and more so like you know they want to be able to know who actually is properly using the codes when one specific mod crashes your game? Yeah, I've been there. That's a, it is annoying. What any other mod pack? What kind of mod pack are you making? We're going to profile right here, right? Yeah. So yeah, they're trying to like combat this whole system of uh random. Thank you, Sheffy, for the 300 bits. I appreciate that. Thank you very, very, very much. Thank you. They're trying to combat that, those sites doing that. So that people can still get the credit for their codes. Magic exploration annoy you while streaming kind of 116.1 mod pack. Interesting. Nice. Why aren't you, uh, why don't you update to 116.5 out of curiosity? Or is that just because, uh, and every, then everything is ready? You should be able to load all of it up in 116.5, I would assume. We need 40 milliseconds. Oh, here it is. And then you get all the bug fixes. 116.1 has crowd control. Crowd control. 116.5 doesn't. Is crowd control just a regular mod? How does crowd control... You can use CCI, though. For that. Yeah, I know, I know what crowd control is. You can use CCI, though, too. And it's actually way more powerful. Because CCI allows you to do things based on channel points, subs, 
uh what else chat bits is, is, it allows you actually to, to do more than crowd control crowd control is basically set up to really only be, it's lit crowd control is great but its limitations is that is an extent extension how long hey off waffle for? thank you for the One 55 month, months three and the months. tier three sub mind? thank you Bye. very 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 much waffle waffle has just subscribed hey 55 months it's a long time scheduled to get my first dose of covid juice friday nice it'll be the first time i've gotten joyful vaccine since i was 10. wow that's been a long time huh nice dude thank you very much for the 55 months good luck on your shot i'm sure it'll be fine which one are you getting pfizer moderna uh, yes, yeah, CCI, uh, Content Creator Integration. It's a mod made by iTunes. It works on 116.5. It, in my opinion, um, crowd control is great. I just think that crowd control is extremely limited in that it's an extension, meaning not everybody can load the extension up. And also, it's essentially limited to, to we get to buy their coins or, or using bits and all that kind of stuff. Crowd control, uh, or... CCI How is set up so you can use for? subs, bits, month, channel points, all of those months, things. And so anything you can do in Minecraft, you can just Bam! set crowd con or CCI Summer to do. Has just subscribed. It doesn't have to be oh, a kitten full year. Doesn't have to be a one sixteen one thing. I'm surprised that crowd control is only a one sixteen one though. That's extremely behind at this point. Um Tomor, thank you for the one year. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate that. Does it take a lot of work? Um What do you define as a lot of work? I don't know what you have to do for crowd control. What does crowd control have set up? I don't know what crowd control's um uh setup is. So right now, 34% of the timing is set on drawers. You have to do the code, the stuff. There's an in-game editor for it. You should be able to get you should be able to use that. I mean, I would check it out and see if you like it. If not, then. CCL's install, put into mod pack and play. Right, but there's no control. Is it a jar file or how does I, how does it set up? What is crowd control set up? Oh, is the ma the mouse not come out yet? Why is that mouse not out yet? Weird. It's a jar file. Have you tried loading it on one sixteen five? Because Forge actually allows mods to be to be loaded on one sixteen five. The smeltery is really far down. It is point seven percent, by the way, chat. 0.7%, 0.2. So it's it's almost it's, it's just under 1%. You can't change the prices. Right. Well, that's the thing is that That's the thing is that um CCI is everything is configurable by you. The actions and the prices and whatever you want to do. If you want something to be a sub, you want to be a channel point, all of those things are up to you. Yo, you tried it and it crashed instantly. They need to update in my opinion. They're very behind. Apparently my uh apparently my my information was not saved here. Okay, here we go. How long are you gonna keep summon for? One month? Two months? Crowd control is extension. Months? I don't understand. Place I understand what crowd control is awful. Awful. I, I, I think uh, again. I will be very clear that I think crowd control is great. I also think it's extremely limited. Uh because you're um, automatically. Bucket dumper has just subscribed. Nice. You're you're well, you're limiting in a number of ways that um. Uh, like for example, it's essentially coins are the bits, right? You have to buy the coins. Um, and it, and having to go to a third party Welcome. and do all of that. Co Willy has just subscribed. Uh, this one here, right? This one, yeah. I mean, crowd control is cool. I just, again, I think it's extremely limited. Like, I know what crowd control is. I'm not unfamiliar Welcome. with it. Or exploit has just subscribed. <laughs> oh, did it go finally? Oh, there he goes. 
The crowd control mod should be dead easy to update. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's weird that they haven't updated to one sixteen five. I mean, I, that's, they need to they need for? to kind of do that. One month, two months, eight months. Waste your money. Bye, Felicia. Silent Ferg has just subscribed. Nice. Uh oh, I gotta change the map now because we changed everything. Oh no. Piapoflick has just subscribed. Who did what then? And it, and it, when it comes to Mo Minecraft, uh, uh, the CCI mod, in my opinion, is is really cool. How long are you gonna keep summoning for? One month? Two months? Eight months? Waste no, money. off waffle. That I'm not easy. saying it's limited in a specific Game game. Girl I'm saying it's limited 1, overall. has just subscribed. I I never said it wasn't impressive. I'm not. <laughs> How long are you gonna keep? I think there's a mis. I think you're misunderstanding month, what I'm saying. Two months. I inherently think months? that there's a very big. Bye, there's a very big issue, and it's extremely limited in what you can do with it to to interact with it. Um. Okay, hold on. Let's see. We gotta do this smaller here. How long are you gonna keep summoning for? One month? Two months? It was here, right? Yep. Eight months? Waste your money. Bye, Felicia. Limp Cockhead has just subscribed. Nice. It's awesome. Uh, where did we have down here? Oh, the time was up here. Yeah, six thirty-six. Yep. Then we had. On yep. one thousand two hundred thirteen. Right we have in the bottom is the biome, right? There we go. I think that was that, that was it, right? 6.36 daytime. Actually, does this show game time real? How long are you going to keep summoning for? Right One there, month? okay. Two months? Close. Eight months? Waste your money. Bye, Felicia. The unique Foxy has just okay. subscribed. Hey, Esau, what's up? How's it going? Is it still... Okay, I think we got that fixed up. Is that, is that what it was before, I think, maybe? Welcome. Stav Klein has just subscribed. I think we're back to where we were. It's interesting, though. I didn't realize your journey map setting... It might be because we're on a different world that put the same copy. Day job underscore 49 Maybe. has just subscribed. I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Oh, this moved everything in the way that we asked it to be moved. That's actually really cool. Okay, I didn't realize that it was going to do that in my existing world. How long I haven't paid attention. So the ordering of JEI is changed. Two months? Eight months? Waste your money. Bye, okay, and there's a Darkcraft update. Rats cool. Has just or subscribed. Forcecraft update. Okay. Mm, let's see here. Where is... Where is this room? Put some mysterious time into Isaac due to the new... Yeah, there the expansion pack is really, really good. I heard it's tough, but very good. Added charging. Start to progress bar on the infuser. One month, Transmutation now uses sword force first months, and durability after. Force bow finally has durability. Bye, cool, okay. Mouse cup has just subscribed. <laughs> Ant Rat, thanks for the gift and sub to Mouse Cup. Thank you very, 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 very much for that. Thank you. They add water to the bed. You gotta add water and you gotta blow into it. <sighs> really, a lot. And then it will finally turn into a real bed. And then I can, I can finally get some rest. <laughs> It's like shrinky dinks. You gotta put it. You gotta put it in the uh, in the sink, and after a while, it'll start to grow bigger. I saw those at the store the other day. Those are the best. Those shrinky dinks were in the 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 oven. Those are the ones that shrank. The other ones, the ones that got bigger. What are the one? There's the shrinky dink you put in the oven, and they make it smaller. Which I never understood that concept. I don't understand. Why would you want to make it smaller? And then there's the ones that you put in the sink, and they get bigger because they're what are they? Little sponges, something like that. Which reminds me, you ever seen the uh, the underwear that comes in a little little capsule? You have to you have to uh, you put it in water and it grows into full size underwear. I don't know if y'all have ever seen that before. <laughs> Except it it doesn't really work. <laughs> As in cloth kind of wear? Yeah, it's like cloth underwear that you just wear. Yeah, you put them in the water and they're supposed to expand. Yeah, it was just like regular tidy whitey underwear. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Mojang Studios. Were they plastic? No, they were cloth. 
not plastic, plastic underwear. That seems uncomfortable. I mean, I wouldn't wear underwear. I, I guess you would bring it like on a camping trip, I suppose. I don't know. But I don't know what you would do on the way back since it's now it's full sized. Do you just like, do you, do you burn it? You eat it. That's what you do. You bring it with you in capsule form on your camping trips because it saves space. But then when you use full size, well, now you don't, now it's not full size. Or now it's not small anymore. So you have to do something. You do it, you eat it. <laughs> and then you've now continued to save space on the way back. Added charging. Okay. Oh, this is rough. I think it's also loading everything in at the moment. What's my, uh... Yeah. Leave no trace. It's a trail of underwear flowing. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with that? Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna put that and do that. Oh, that's already in there. Cool. And then I can charge this up, right? Do I have anything that's charged? This. Oh, nice. Look at that. It actually has a little timer. That's wonderful. It didn't do anything. <laughs> the force spell has durability, though. That's good. Okay. Oh, God. Hey, thanks, Chevy, for the 300 bits. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate you. Thank you very, very, very much. No items are needed to charge. No, I mean, but how do you... You have to make it so that it can be charged, right? Try to water you bigger issues than lack of underpants. That's true. You might need to... Oh, here it goes. Okay, I see. You have to do it with nothing in there. Oh, for some reason, I thought it was... Wasn't it Force Gems? Or force gems is to 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 give it charge back. Was it nothing to give it force? Oh, interesting. It says it has sixty-two ammo, but it doesn't use regular arrows. Why was the game upside down? Was it? Nothing to give force? I, for some reason, I thought I did. Okay. I, I, I misremembered. Um, this, uh, you, you might want to look at this. Is that it thinks it has 62 ammo, even though it technically can't use that. What's up, Dark MPM? How's it going? It's not my birthday. Is there a list of integrations? Honestly, that's the only thing I think we have turned on right now. What mod adds the ammo counter? Uh, that's a great question. I have no idea. I never bothered to look. Um, is it? Oh, you know what? It might be the tooltip mod. <sighs> Is we have a tooltip mod? I can't remember now. No, the cat's gone. She's well. She's actually her food just got. She's just got her food, so she's probably eating right now. What is the mod that gives the? Uh, what's the mod that gives the tooltips? It was um, the tooltip mod is doing it wrong. Is it the? Hold on. Called. Where do I find this stupid mod here? If you drop a piece of cobblestone, iron is similar to the smeltery from the opening. Does it smelt it? Uh, it, yeah, I'll put it in the smeltery, and if it can smelt, then it'll smelt it. If not, it'll just sit in there. If, what do you know? Do you are you saying that because you were looking at it, or are you just with the the tooltip spot? What the heck is the name of the tooltip spot?
Oh, is it Mod Name Tooltip? Is that the name of it? Here it is. Is that the one? Is it the one? Uh, find a folder. Ammo. Find. No. I don't, is it mod name tooltip? Mod name tooltip mod. Your call is important to us, but you are currently held in a queue. Please press one to leave a message. Two to hold, and one of our staff will answer as soon as possible. Or press three to get ignored and cut off for no reason. Wait, I want to press two. Is this the one? No. I do, but none of the cats are at their cameras because they're both eating. They they literally just got food like in the last minute. Uh, hold on. Let's get down to the bottom which mod this is. Your cat is the star of your show. Your cat's name is Romeo. Oh my, is this your cat right here? Oh my God, that's the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Oh. oh. All right, hold on a second. You gotta turn it off. Is it my name tooltip? My name. Let's check it. Let's see. I don't know if it is. It might be something else. If you want a fan service, ten percent, ten percent of the rendering. That's a lot of red. It's a lot. It's a lot of rendering. It's ten percent. Vadis? I don't know. Mind you, I broke down some of the the higher th things, so that was what was left. Hey, Dead Pie, thanks for the raid, dude. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. What's going on? Hey, AK, how's, what's up? How's it going, Dead Pine? How are you? How's Minecraft? Are you playing? Uh, oh, I saw you're playing. Uh, you just installed a new pack the other night. I saw you on Twitter talking about it. How was the new pack? How goes your Tarkov runs lately as well? Dead Pine's a big celebrity. I saw him streaming to... What was it like? Some crazy amount of people. Like thousands and thousands of people showing off his Tarkov skills. Enigmatic is sick. That's right. Lots of people really enjoy those packs. How many masters do I need? Me, personally? I need all the nine that I have. Who plays Tarkov when you have MTG? That's also true. I wonder what my uh, my dailies are in Arena. I should check that out. I should see what my dailies are. Speaking of that, uh, 11 days until the new uh, set drops. I said five months. Five months away? Oh my gosh. How's the new Tarkov update? There's a one that just came out, new patch, just recently, right? We're gonna, geez, yes, hi. Oh, here's the cat that you all were looking for. Here's one of the cats that you were looking for. Hello. Well, she wanted yogurt. She probably thought it was ice cream. Yeah. doing the color challenges in MTG Arena, are you stuck with the deck it gives you? You mean the tutorial? Uh, I've not actually tried editing the tutorial decks to, to use in the, uh, the tutorial phases before. Usually because I just end up building my own decks uh, outside of that. I'm getting big-headed in MTG. I, I, oh, dead, I don't think I told Deadpine the, the, the silly story. But <laughs> was it six months ago? This is back, this is back in the, the previous rotation. I had a, I had I had an Ajari uh uh, uh or a Johnny deck that would usually end my game with like 50, 60, 70 health and and all of my creatures were getting plus one plus ones and or or giving me health and it would just like synergize and it was a pretty good deck and I had like all the Ajani pride mates and I had uh uh what else did I have 
Uh, the or the orders that would give you plus one health when you cast a new creature, and then creatures that cast a new one one every time I get health. It was like some crazy, crazy, crazy deck. It was it was it was white green deck. It was fun and it was really. I would I would win like, and I'm not joking. By the way, I would just play a standard match. And I, I'm not joking. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to seem like I'm better than I am, Dead Pine, because you're here. But I would win most of my matches, like a very high percentage. I would win every so often. I get a uh, somebody else who would just like completely destroyed me. But um, but a lot of good games. Uh, so, anyways, I was like, let me try ranked. I never played ranked before that. I mean, let me give a shot in ranked, right? I go from winning most of my games to absolutely being decimated with absolute no chance. No chance. Whoever this person was in ranked, they were the greatest magic player I've ever seen. And this deck was completely wrecked. And I, and I felt really bad and I stopped playing for the day. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then the new rotation came and two thirds of my deck are now out of rotation. So I can't, uh, unfortunately, I had to build a new one. They got rid of Pride Mates. Well, I can't find them. I don't think Pride Mates are around anymore. And all the Ajani's are gone from so far. So currently I have a white I have a white deck that is creature synergizing, you know, just giving each other extra health and by mid game I should be sitting on a fifteen fifteen or a twenty twenty creature. Um but if I don't get what I need mid game, then I'm completely left behind uh on the ability to uh, to defend against the other player's larger creatures. So there's a lot of room I need to fix. I need to fix, like, late as a middle game. Because if I can't get what I need to buff my creatures, I'm completely done. It has to... deck has to pull exactly in the right order. Or the... Uh, I have to get... I have to get a certain... certain cards in the very beginning, or else the entire deck doesn't work. Which is not a great... <laughs> which is not a great deck. <laughs> red decks are red decks are just constantly spawning like multiple like the the thing that I currently have an issue with is is large amounts of creatures too. So like I get a lot of red decks and those red decks will just completely just there's just too many of them and they don't even have to be tough creatures. They could just be one ones or two twos. Um so I have to fix that deck out. I'm also at the mercy of not having a lot of cards at the point, so I'm still still pretty low when it comes to trying to get the, the deck I want with what I have. Uh, why did I restart this game? I restarted for something. Oh, the tooltip thing. It's not that mod, by the way. We're seeing if that mod was the issue. It's not that mod. What's adding the, uh, the ammo tooltip, then? Colored tooltips. That should just color them, but... I had a number of wild cards, um, luckily. So I'm just trying to figure out what to... I always feel like when I when I use them, I'm like, ah, do I really want to use it? What if I find something cooler? But if I don't use them, they end up just sitting there. <laughs> so I, I, um... I don't like to look up other people's decks. Like, I'm not a big... I'm not, like, a big, like, let me see what the, the best deck is, and let's, like, download it. I like to actually, like, look myself and put something together. I feel like it's it's a lot more fun that way. The other thing is, uh, uh, typhoid rats are literally my nemesis right now. Typhoid rats are like the worst. Uh, colored tooltip shouldn't be. Let's check that though, just in case. Who else could be adding this? Maybe it's artifacts. Hmm. Let's check it out. I don't think it's colored tooltips. Oh, here she comes. Right, you can just hold on to your wild cards, never get any. Or you could use them up and then just get more as you go. Is this a ghost light story? This is not a ghost light story. This actually happened just like the ghost light, though. And, and it was a different place. It was in a game. Ghost light was in real life. Nothing, not even the same thing at all. These are very different things. That's a cat's, that's a cat's fur.
Say hello to everybody. Everybody, you keep your, your bow tie. Play a lot of commanders. You can be creative with your decks and not worry about the best standard decks are. Find it impressive you're able to keep going and talking as much as you on stream. Me? I mean, to be fair, you get you. Get, I think a lot of people get used to it, right? When I started streaming many years ago, I too would get tired, and I used to when I started my first few streams, I would like sh I would be shaking. I was so scared, and I would shake. And then after you do it for a while, it's been 84 years. <laughs> I've been streaming for how many years? Seven years in August. To be seven years of streaming in August. Full time. How long is Dead Pine? How long have you been streaming? What's what what's your anniversary coming up for your stream? How how many years has it been for you? It's been a long time for Dead Pine as well. Is this the is this the one? No, it's not. What the heck is this ammo tool tip coming from? It's gotta be one of these like random has all kinds of weird stuff mods. Eight years in November. That's a long time. You started before me. Uh you're about yeah, you're like a year and a year and a few months there. I didn't realize you were that um that much more. I thought I thought we had started around the same time, but you're a year ahead of me. Oh, but you weren't doing full time. Okay, gotcha. Five years full time, really? So back we used to play on like servers together and whatnot, and that was interesting. So you were still part time streaming at that point. What else do we have here? You're in college the first few years. I didn't realize that. Interesting. I didn't. I don't think I knew about that. Is it artifacts that's doing this? Are we going to have to keep going until we figure it out? All right, let's try this next mod. Hours wise, it was full time. You were just doing, uh, but you were, it wasn't the only thing that you were doing. I gotcha. That was a long time ago. Holy crap. That was a really long time ago. I've moved from four states. I've moved four states, or I lived in four different states. In the time that I've been streaming. <laughs> Is it possible to search all the language files from all the mods to find the bow tooltip? I have... I would imagine they'd be in the jar file. I'm just trying to think of... Well, I think of what it is is like one of these random artifacts like... Throws in every random... Is it cyclic? I don't know. We should ask the dev of cyclic. You went officially full pine when you or full full pine? You went full pine when you moved in with Lady Pine? <laughs> you went full pine. <laughs> I can't speak. I had such terrible, terrible language skills. <laughs> oh my god. This poor cat has to sit here and listen to me all day. Better than going full dead? Yeah, don't go full dead. Full pine is fine. <laughs> oh, dude. The longer I stream, the stupider I get. I swear to God. It's a thing. It's like you stream. You stream and you just event you just slowly just lose intelligence, I'm telling you. Oh, you like the bow tie? Here, show everybody your bow tie. Hey. She's got a little bow tie. It's the most adorable thing. Streaming just like sucks out. It's everything. It's all. It's probably like the habits. It's probably um, uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's weird. It's just like this thing. There was a there was a thread on Twitter like not that long ago. It was a sacral was talking about or some. I can't remember who was uh who started it, the conversation, but uh, it's not that. But it was essentially that. 
a number of streamers have all independently realized they're just becoming stupider as the time goes. <laughs> the more years you have, the worse off you are. You gotta be like, you gotta, um, you gotta do those mind, those mind games. You know those games that you do when you get older? That you're supposed to, you're supposed to work out your brain? Is it my birthday yet, Shaggy Wolf? It's not my birthday, no! <laughs> Alright, so it's not artifacts, chat. What could it be? We had to do, you had to do brain training. Builders additions, checklists, chunk loaders, click machine, cobble for days, COFH, maybe it's COFH. What am I fixing? We're trying to find a tooltip thing here. I'm not really fixing anything, I'm just looking for um, a potential issue. Has my birthday already passed in the year 2021? I'm not going to tell you any of that. That's none of your business! Oh, Patchouli can get out of here. Take out notes. What the heck is more overlays? Oh, that's the light level thing. All right, Deb Pine. Hey, enjoy your walk. Man, I can't wait till I can get out and like do more walking around and stuff. Have a great, have a great day. Thanks for that raid. Thank you again. We can turn off hats for now, too. We'll figure this out one of these days. One of these days. How long are you gonna keep summon for? Hey, Dark Two Fiend, months? thank you for the Two 14 months. months. Eight months. Thank you. Waste your money. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dark Fiend 009 has just subscribed. Oh, right. Love watching you, Dev Packs. Thank you very Happy much. Happy Easter if you celebrate. Happy Easter to you. Happy Easter. You wanna make it a true remaster of Skyfire? Why don't you consider adding Go Prone to allow us to go prone and make doorways in one by one? You can. You don't. Um. You don't actually need a mod for that, though. You can just use trap doors. Was that the uh, was that the one that we needed to get rid of? We can get rid of X and the Hilo too, can't we? And X compressing. That should be it. Ah, uh, you don't need a mod to go prone. You can you can do that. There's there's multiple ways of putting your player into prone. Uh, where is that? Okay. Where's, oh, did the kitten cam turn up? Oh, there she is. Oh, she's actually in her bed. She's, she's also cleaning herself. Proning with trapdoors is vanilla now. It's been vanilla since they added, um, it's going prone, right? Or what, 113, I think. Having a tree grow on top of you forces you into prone. There's a few things that actually force you down into prone. As a non-medical professional, I imagine that your constant elevated stress from fear of playing marbles, chat in general, and reduced kidney function. I don't have reduced kidney function. My kidney function just fine. Well, technically, it's above my 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 creatinine levels are above normal, but that's to be expected, and it's not that high. I have kidney problems. I have stress, though. I'll admit to that. My fear of playing marbles. I uh, that's fine. Actually, just that's we can just start a new world. I don't really care, honestly, at this point. Uh, ammo. Let's do this for the time being. I don't really need it to be in that world. Is a large forehead a medical condition? It, I don't have. You know, my forehead's only like three and a half. Um. Oh, I know why. We have to turn off the data packs here. We need to replace marbles with MTG. I'll replace marbles with taking a nap. Um. Real quick though, let me do this. Let me turn off the one that's gonna load that that resource pack or the data packs because it's gonna break everything. It'll just be easier to not worry about that. Yeah, play with your own marbles, chat. I'll just tell me if you want or not. Oh. Would you like a you want me to help you? Did I get it? Did I get the itch? Did I scratch the itch? Is it good? Are you good? Did I scratch? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get ya? She's like ready for a nap and I keep petting her and waking her up. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, see, there she goes. See, she's ready for a nap. It's nap time. Look at that. This looks great, doesn't it? Create new world. Ammo. Some guy named Dark Ghost who just won the Grand Prix marbles I was playing. Yes, probably for the best. What? I need to get this. Sounds like I'm making, like, weird no noises over here. Do I have 700 FPS right now? That's crazy. Dude, what mod is this? I want to know now. Hmm. What could it be? Angel block, apotheosis, attain drops, block diversity, builder's additions, CC tweak, chance cubes, checklist, chunk loaders, hook machine, cobble for days, code chicken, lib, collective. Compressium, construction wand. I'm going to laugh if it's like a mod that specifically does that. Crumbs, cucumber. Oh, you know what? I wonder if it's the, pre that's the <laughs> pretzel. I wonder if it's cucumber and um, pickle tweaks. That adds some, some uh, random tweaks. Or supplementaries. All right, let's check those. Pickle tweaks, cucumber, and supplementaries. It's kind of a lie to birthday stream. It's not your birthday. Who says my birthday stream? Did Dead Pine tell you that? Listen, Dead Pine's a big liar. Don't listen to Dead Pine. Oh, yeah, that's all bad. Look at all that. That's, uh... Oh, yeah, Mystical Agriculture relies on that. Let me look at pickle tweaks here. It's either pickle tweaks or I bet you it's the other mod that we disabled. Um, is the tooltip about vanilla style bows from Tinker's Construct that doesn't even have bows in the first place? I, I don't think that. I don't see how that would be an issue. Is it in pickle tweaks? That's the that one would make a lot of sense. It is a bunch of it is a bunch of random tweaks and items. Pickle tweaks is a tooltip event that checks shootable item. Oh, okay, but it doesn't check the ammo for particularly. So this should be gone then. So. Can I turn it off? I wonder if you can, um, it's always your birthday and you're jealous. You can make a living on the income from those gifts. It's always pickle twigs. It's always pickle twigs. Dang it, Blake. Yeah, there it is. Um, can we turn it off at the very least? Blake should... Use ammo predicates. I don't know what that even means, but do you want me to, like, say that? Hey, Blake, can you use ammo predicates? I guess that would be the tool information. me to say like hey do you want to can you use hey blake um can you use ammo predicates for your tool tips on bows i have absolutely no idea what that means by the way <laughs> <laughs> This is on Pickle Tweaks, in case you are not aware. <laughs> All right, maybe let's see. Okay. Um, your face is a tooltip. It's literally not. That's a that's it's it's verifiably false. Blake responded with the words "doo doo," so I I don't really know what that means, but it's probably something. 
Are you enjoying Skybound 4? Nice. You shame to say that only today did you realize his beard is why Dark goes on team coarse hair. <sighs> All right. Your face is a tooltip. It's not a particularly useful one. Wow. Like this new texture pack? You enjoying that? It's pretty good, huh? Uh, oh, I forgot there's a thermal, uh, there's actually a thermal expansion, um, uh, module for X the Hilo that's officially released, not the one that's off the GitHub. This is what someone in my chat said. Anyways, <laughs> oh, he's busy. Okay. Bo uses the arrows predicates that checks if an item is an arrow item or not. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Um, I would assume that's a tooltip, though, right? How long you keep hey, Flux Ragnarok, they're the 37 Two months. months. Eight months? Waste your Thank money. you very, very, Not very, me. very much for that. Let me get Flux this update. Ragnarok has just subscribed. Thank you. Welcome back. Thank you for that. You override the game? Yeah, I got you. I got you. Okay. We'll see. We'll see if he's able to change it. If not, we can always disable the tooltips or just not worry about it. We'll see. Um... Let's see. We need uh, uh, X to Hilo, right? This is the one right here. Thermal add-on. Yeah, install that one. This mod provides an alternative way to get ores with RF. Oh, like how? Just place a block on the floor and supply with RF. It will start dropping ore powder. Oh. If worse comes to worse, remove pickle tweaks. I don't know if we can remove pickle tweaks. Is that actually required for mystical agriculture? I mean, but that's pretty worse right there. We're we're locked in. We can't get out. We gotta remove that. Oh. Oh, that's right. Okay. Remove mystical agriculture because of that one tooltip. Do you think that's necessary? Um, are we going to use pretty pipes or not? I don't think we need pretty pipes. Well, maybe we will. I don't know. We'll see. I, I forgot that we had that mod in the bag. <laughs> I Greg tech. Oh, we'll replace magical crops then. I think people in chat are being, um, what's the word? Sarcastic. I think they're being sarcastic, Freefall. I don't think people are actually suggest <laughs> suggesting that. Just add tinkers. I already did add tinkers like two months ago. You don't like pretty pipes. Well, then don't use them. You ain't you added tinkers. Trophy. I've been using tinkers since like February. Is that project E? I don't. Is that even out for one? It probably is out for one sixteen five. Yes, you just do what Mister Bicycle said. I don't make enough. I don't make enough. I don't have a big enough salary for this. My salary is not high enough for any of this. I don't, I need, I'm going to, I'm going to need to make way more to put up with you people. I'm pretty sure I figured out why my intelligence level is dropping on a daily basis. <laughs> I think, I, I think I found it. I think I found why it's happening. Trophy kill. Thank you for the 100 salary boost. Also, compensation for that hilarious pun earlier. Oh, thank you very much for paying me for the puns that I have to read. How do you measure intelligence level? Uh, with one of those, um, 
measuring cups that I use for uh, oil and water when I'm when I'm baking. Thank you for the hundred bits. I need to start selling lanyards. I don't want to sell lanyards. Lanyards are dumb. Mm, Remove all the mods, and there will be no issues. What about vanilla issues? Had resource chickens, cows, pigs, trees, crops. Sky Factory Four will have squid. Yeah, that's what we were planning on doing. They're gonna have wings though. Can they fly? You people, aka chat, as your salary income, better start being nice to us or else. Listen, hey, hmm, <sighs> hmm. A button for you? There's a button somewhere around here. The whistles got woo. I got a button somewhere for you. Do I have a button for you? What is this one? I'm a computer. Stop all the downloads. I need a button for you. How do I how do I get a button for somebody like you? What do I need to does this button work? Oh no. no. None of these buttons work. I'm gonna get a button for you specifically. I'm gonna get a button specifically for you and your look at this is the bunny ranch. Don't worry. I'll have a response for you later. Oh, she's sleeping. Hey, Lena, what's up? How's it going? You got turbo, but specifically selected the default emoticons. What are we talking about? That's not the bunny ranch you used. <laughs> He's got the bunny ears. He's talking about the same thing. <laughs> oh, it's a dude up top. That's not good. Oh, I forgot to put torches up there, apparently. Well, rip that guy. Apparently, I didn't put uh, torches up here. All right. Might consider doing that. Get out of here. That's getting real bad. The, it's, what's interesting is the FPS is actually worse today than it was yesterday. We didn't do a whole lot at the end of yesterday's stream. So there's no reason as to why it should be so uh, so crazy. I wonder if I just need to do a quick... Uh, actually, hold on a second. Hmm. Weird. There's like... Yester after yesterday's stream, it wasn't this bad. And then today, we started up, and it was clearly a big difference. So something is... Something is worse right now. Causing the FPS to be much, much lower. Hold on a second. Are Lang files in JSON now? What? I don't think so. Hmm. Hmm. Are they length files or in JSON now? Oh. Is it all the people? <laughs> My FPS went down when I removed that lantern. Put it back! Put it back! Is it the masher? No, I mean, to be honest with you, the masher is 10%. And that's only after I removed, like, three of the biggest offenders. So, I doubt it's the masher, because that was actually, in the grand scheme of things, probably, like, less than 3%. But the biggest concern that I have is it was not this bad last night, but today it is. So, it's just strange that there's a gigantic gap of FPS. <laughs> I, I doubt it's the mashers, though. There's, like, something... Hmm. Did I find the Lang? What are you... What are you looking for, Necron? I... What are you... What are you looking for? For whatever it was. If I find the Lang... What was I... I wasn't looking for Lang. I'm... Yeah, I'm gonna go about to go look at the mob farm, but I need to get some drawer upgrades, because there might be a bunch of items in the ground, although the entity count is not that high. I'm not looking for a lang. I don't know. I was looking for a specific config option. 
for a tooltip. Yeah, we figured that out. It was it was pickle tweaks. Scott Lang. Oh, lag. Did I find the lag? Yeah, it's a it's a number of things. Uh, storage. Well, yeah, you were here when we figured it out. Were Were you here when we figured that out? Maybe it was the compressed drawers were the biggest thing, and then after that, it was, um, well, not forgotten, but. No, this is all fine over here, huh? And they drop. They're not on the ground that long. Yeah, you were here when we figured it out. That thing had, like, really sharp teeth. Did you see that? Some sharp teeth in that thing. I'm gonna get knocked off by Pufferfish. Here it comes. Oh, here, here's one right here. I'm gonna get knocked off by it. Don't, swear to God, don't do it. Hate these things. Here's another one. Don't do it. Ah! <laughs> this is the time. The time is now. What is that? That's a hat. <gasps> hey, I got a fro hat. What is that? That's so much worse than it was ye was yesterday. Do I have this hat? Come here. Do I have that hat? Uh, apparently, I do have that hat. Make it your paw is on my mouse pad. Like, you're on the mouse pad. Can you? I, I know you're you're grumpy, but you're literally on the mouse pad. <laughs> like, you have a whole bed. It's bigger than you are, and yet you still hang off the bed. <laughs> Hmm. I mean, other than these arrows, but no, there's not a whole lot of um, not a whole lot going on down here. We can make this a bit more optimized, but I don't think we're gonna get our FPS back. Even when we're down here, look, it's still it's still three times the FPS than upstairs. So I don't I don't think that's what it is. Oh, I didn't want that to go that way. No, it's just weird, though. It's just, what's weird is that it wasn't like this yesterday, so I'm just confused about how all of a sudden it's just like, the game's just like, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be good anymore. I mean, you could move everything to digital storage, though, too. All right, whatever. Okay. Anyways, um, oh, these are all. We got way more force gems now too. It'll be finished when it's finished. I'm not doing any auto crafting. I mean, the system is hooked up for sure. I mean, we've already looked. We've already profiled this as well. It's it's drawers, but specifically when we when we break these uh, compacting drawers. Uh, when you break these compacting drawers, the FPS shoots up. Like, we figured out that's what it is. That's, like, up to 30% of the rendering is what is what's going to that. Yeah, before you got here, Vadis, we, we spent a good chunk of time just, like, profiling everything. Uh, it's 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 actually funny, because I, uh, I, I removed all of these wooden drawers, and it didn't make much of a change. But when as soon as I removed these compacting drawers, it started shooting up. Um, so we know that that's a big part of it. Up uh, 20 to 30 percent of the rendering goes to that. Um, hmm. What got me into making mod packs? I started playing mod, mod packs that I really liked and wanted to make my own. What is that? Is he about to kill that thing? No, it's okay that you missed it. I'm just, I'm just telling you, we, we went through and I'm just telling you that we went through and we basically we dug further into it. So what we did was we removed the smeltery and I removed all of the drawers right here and then I profiled again. The next the next thing on the list. Hey Miss Harley Quinn. Yeah, Miss Harley Quinn, what's going on? Um after the smeltery and the drawers were gone, it's the crucibles. The mob masters. 
like low on the list. Move to the drawers of the nether? I mean, I'll probably just end up making digital storage, to be honest with you. Uh, what else was it? But yeah, we've, we've, we, we dug into it a bunch. Our issues right now are strictly rendering, though. Our mean tick time is 14 milliseconds and our TPS is 20. And in seven played days, or seven days of play time into the world is pretty impressive, to be honest with you, that it's 14. With the amount of junk that's going on. Oh, test racks are a small portion of that. You know what's actually the next biggest thing? It's these. These ender tanks. Which, that might be a good reason to not use ender tanks. And to use the storage system with refined storage. I'm sure that these squid just dropping and dropping items aren't helping, though. <laughs> I'm sure that's not helping the case. As it's all doing, yeah. All right, so we do need to get more stores, though, don't we? Yeah, there's nothing backed up here, really, is there? Me, a robot? Yeah, I was, I was, I was built. It's made. <laughs> it's all I really wouldn't hear, though, so we should be alright. It's just like I said, it just suddenly dropped that much, and we really haven't done a ton. Um, but what we can do here is probably... Actually, we can get rid of these drawers. We don't even need these. You have to log in to even use the app. Oh, like log in with Minecraft? Usually it just requires you to log in when you need to play. That's it. Uh, what is this guy doing? What's that Fallon? How's it going? This will give us like a 5 to, what, 5 to 10 FPS boost by doing that? Kind of. Kind of. That's a little better. Yeah. What do you need? Why are you following me? Oh my god. Oh my god. Is that... This is broken? Are you broken? Oh. <laughs> Hi. No, now she wants pets. Now she's staring at me like, give me more. Sorry, this cat demands that I give her pets. <laughs> Aww. Be a big... Oh, yeah? Oh, she doesn't like that. <laughs> like, as soon as you start touching my belly. All right, how many... Uh, oh, we got more diamonds. Let's, uh... Speaking of lag issues... Oh, wait, hold on. We're going to do something else, weren't we? We're going to set this up. Do we want to do liquid storage, though? Let's see here. We have pattern space. You're pushing the... You're moving the chair. 
You're, you keep moving the chair. You stop spinning the chair. I'm not. You're pushing the chair this way. It's spinning. Uh, all right. We need drives, right? We're fine. We need, we need, uh, what do they call them? Liquid drive. Now the chair's going the other way. What the heck? No, now it's going the other way. <laughs> Chat, is my floor not straight? Was there an earthquake? Did my floor get moved? All right, we need fluid drives. Yeah, fluid storage. Fluid storage. How does the fluid storage work? Is it one fluid per drive? You think I had an earthquake? That makes sense. 64K fluid disc, right? You know, oh, you don't know how to make a bucket, though. All right, let's do all this. Learn how to make a bucket. Oh, there's no drives in here. All right. All right, make a bucket. Make the rest of that. Make a bunch of those. Bunch of those. They refer to earth ash as an earthquake? No, I'm, no I did not. <laughs> what? What's this pack dropping? When it's finished. I think we'll need another crafter. Do we have one more spot? Nope. I guess I should put the monitor... Well, actually, you can make another monitor down there, right? Or just move this one for now. We don't need this one to be up here anyways. I'm usually just, like, looking at it from here. There we go. Those upgrades are pretty good, though. Moving through these pretty fast. We can also make this a bit faster. Okay, so after we make that, you need the 4096K drive. Oops. And then uh, the crafter. Okay, that one goes there. And this one's going to go here? So now we should be able to auto craft that. What's the uh do we need a fluid disk drive too? I can't remember how this works. I think it's just a regular drive, is it not? So put that for the drive bay there and then give me the uh the fluid disk drive. How much for the uh 4096k? I wonder. I need 2600 sand. I mean, using RS add-ons? Ah, uh, no. Are there pedestals? No. We need a lot of glass, apparently. How much sand do we have? Ah, uh, we still don't have that much. We can make uh, the smaller drive, though, can't we? It's a good day to sort by quantity. 64K there. Let's make this one. Just make more sand. Yeah, we just got to figure out how I want to do it. And then we can get down to that. I'm going to have to just create a, a method to make sand. We're not making it fast enough, I guess. Hey, Wendy. It's great. How are you? How will you get turtles? Uh, Use bait. And spawn them? 64K is 64 buckets, I would assume. So we need to now input. We'll still have to use these, though, won't we? Hmm. I don't have a magnet. I would like to have a magnet. And the grinder core makes sand. Um, Yeah, we can make sand. We have a number of machines. I just don't know which one yet. I'm not really ready to do that. You're fully vaccinated? Nice. Very nice. Congrats. How does this work? Oh, like that. Oh, like that.
Wait, what? Oh, I see. So if we want to insert latex into this drive, I would need to have an importer of some kind, right? Is it just, uh, is there a liquid importer or is it just the same importer? There's also the fluid monitor as well, as well, right? Importer. Yeah, it's an importer. It's just set. It's the same item. It's just different setting for it. Right? There's a fluid grid as well. I just want a grid too. What do you need for the fluid grid though itself? Why does it do that? Yeah, but I don't want it. Oh, it's just the advanced processor and the bucket. Okay, but where's like the base rest? Oh, here it is. It's that first one. Start that. Why am I getting? Oh, the magnet. <laughs> Why am I getting all this random junk? Oh, I see. All right, fluid grid. Good. Awesome. So now we want to import into the system. So we'll start off by doing the latex. put this right here uh we have we can set this up here I, well actually let's do the bucket or the the tank first there give you that hook this up i need to get rid of this there goes the whole system and then fluid mode right uh fluids there I think that tank is 64,000. So for these recipes, we actually then have to set them to use the exact recipes and not what we were doing before, right? Uh, so we go to industrial foregoing. So that's efficiency. And then this one is speed. I think the biggest issue here, though, is now there's going to be... It's all full of latex. Uh, I guess this will allow it to be the exact amount. Oh, my one. This one. All right, put that there. Let's see if this works. So we want to make the upgrade, yeah? Start. That's probably a better system. The only issue is that we still, the reason why we're doing it this way is because the inner tanks are being a little bit more laggy on the rendering, but uh, we still have to use them or we'd have to input into the refined storage system from all the way over here. So we'd have to either run a cable over here. Or we have to do it wirelessly. Hmm. Or, I wonder if we could do a Tesseract. It's in the Tesseract over there. Or I can just run a cable. Actually, hold on. Where's the cable go? Oh, it goes that way. The opposite direction? You can just run cables the entire way. This only uses 173? Oh, I thought this was going to be like, like way more. Oh, cables don't require power. Didn't they used to require power, like, years ago? I thought, like, every cable was, like, one or, you know, two or something like that. 
All right, add on speed, add on efficiency. Years ago, but it's not years ago. Right. What? What's the point of that? What? <laughs> and power requirements previously, right? On the cables? Yeah. Okay. I'm not making this up. All right, we need efficiency and we need speed. That's efficiency tier two. Speed tier two. Oh, this is machine. Am I losing my memory? No, I swear to God, I remember that. How did I, did I lose my memory? I just said a thing I remembered. That's not too bad. It used to be that you would have so many cables and it would draw off your power. I mean, that's actually not a bad change. I was just like preparing for that to be a thing. There's a config option for that? Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. I don't mind the change. I was just ready for the uh, the cables to start drawing insane amounts of power. How are we doing on... Uh, oh, we're not doing well on that at all. Hey, Squeaky, what's up? These are all one, 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 one. Yep. Can we... Uh, well, we need to get a bunch of trees, but... If I don't want to use this anymore, let's take this out of the equation for the moment. Hook that directly in. Okay. My FPS went down. 38? Holy wow. How am I going to play like this? This is ridiculous. I can barely even see the game. Just clear that out. Hello? Uh, is it empty? Oh, I think... Oh! It doesn't completely uh, empty it out visually. Yeah, she's sleeping. She's been grumpy. She's been really grouchy. It's probably because she is on like some new diet, so she's getting slightly less food overall. But she's just grouchy. Hey, Postal! Super grouchy cat. So if we're going to make... Uh... We're going to need a drive for the... Um... Mm. Hmm. There's other ones that require pink slime, right? What's up, Pulimic? How's it going? Let's see. What do we need for this? Pink slime ingots. Infinity backpack. Uh, saw. Oh, the advanced machine frame. We will definitely need that recipe. Now, how does this... um? Hi, people who said hi to chat from chat. Hi. Hey. Hey. We want that one. Let's go to that one. This is a recipe that we're going to need. Yep. That's a rough recipe, huh? So this is going to require a second dissolution chamber. Or no, no, no. It'll require the same one. It's just, it's just going to be a little bit of a pain in case it somehow gets filled up with extra liquid that we don't need, but that should be okay. That should probably put some... some that should probably put something... Oh, you know what? That's fine. If I fall... I'll just... I'll just... I'll just bounce on this thing. I think Vadis wants me to get rid of all these mob mashers. Maybe he's have to actually, like, fix all that stuff. Um... You know what? We actually have the refined storage system coming down here. We could just import directly into the system if we get another drive. And we could do the same thing with experience. But the problem with the experience is that we have so much of it. 
So we can do that for both the um we can we can bring in experience. What else? The pink slime for sure. Is this still running? This is running. And sand. That's a really big enchantment. Okay. So let's grab this. That is uh is that a thousand buckets? Something like that. This is also a lot of buckets. Give me that. So we can actually just send that. We can actually bring we can actually get this too. And what we could do is just have this come off the uh the system instead. I could do external, external storage in the tanks. I could, but if I'm specifically trying to get rid of uh, things that are bringing my rendering down because tanks are doing that, then me keeping them in a disc would be the better option. Which is why we're doing all of this in the first place. Um, do I want to keep... Where do I want to put this, though? Why do we have this over here, though? Like, how is this being powered again? Oh, the Tesseract. So there's no point to that. Hmm. I think the cat just, like, jumped in her sleep. Okay, we're going to need a few drives. Let's, um... Hmm. Let's import these first. Let's get some importers down here. It's okay, Kitty. Don't worry. It's not real one in. They have the 100 bits. The Switch has something against cats. Other their cheer modes are cats, but yet they have dogs. They clearly do not like cats. How could you not like a cat? Look at this cat. Say, look at me and how cute I am. And then show everybody your bow tie. Where's your bow tie? <laughs> Say, look at me. Where's my emote? Watch, oh, she gets really upset. She's like, don't touch me in the belly. No belly pets? Sorry. You're mildly allergic, allergic to cat species? That's unfortunate. They're too adorable. I'm sorry that you have to deal with that. Um, we could bring the cable over... Oh, we could go under. The problem is that we're at Y1 right now because I didn't have any foresight. Is this the new cat? No. Oh, uh, no, we've had this cat. I just didn't have a camera for, for her. We've, they say we've had this cat for a while. How am I going to do this? We could just import directly from it. Well, we still need to come from here, though, don't we? Might need to bring cables. We can bring cables under. Mm. Mr. Cats, you want to borrow these cats? We also need drives, too, don't we? Okay. You can borrow Mika. She sleeps upside down. I think she's she's got some she's like broken or something. She's got she's got some she's got some weird issues. Look at her. She's clearly she's clearly got something wrong with her. She needs to be rebooted. Hello. <laughs> Ow! No biting. <laughs> now she wants to play. Now she wants to play. I know. I cannot play with you right now. I just played with you. We just played. We can't. No, I just played. We just played. Ah, uh, we have XP. Where is the other oh, tank right there? Right, let's do XP. Double kitty cams, I know. Is she fat? Are you fat? She didn't respond. She's got a little extra weight to her. 
This one doesn't mind belly rubs, but she's very particular about it. Whereas the other cats, you can give her belly rubs. Here, watch this. This cat, Mika does not like belly rubs. Kitten, though. Watch, watch. <laughs> she loves it, see? And Mika, well, it depends. She's very she's very particular. There's belly pet times and there's non-belly pet times. And the majority of times for her are non-belly pet times. Uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Ashley like, kicked my chair and scared the heck out of me. <laughs> Chad, I think we need to make more fluid drives, but um, we need sand... Generation. I'm trying to figure out what the best method of sand generation. We could do the, uh, mm, I, I think what we could do is instead of generating sand on demand, we could just generate sand. So, for example, we could do this and then we can void the rest in case we get more. It's no pet sign. Oh, she's like in one. Yeah, she's in a. She's in that mood. She's in a. She's in a. Please leave me alone. I want to get some sleep, and you keep bothering me. Kind of mood. Okay. Yeah, partially domesticated feral tomcat who adores belly rubs. It's so rare though, but it's adorable, right? Instead of generating sand, we can generate sand. I think is that what I said. <laughs> What I meant to say is, on demand, we can just generate it, which I have an idea for that, but I'm going to go get a, a Coca-Cola, take a quick stretch break. Uh, in the meantime, hopefully she doesn't go anywhere, but um, it's your toy. She doesn't like toys very much. I will be right back, but enjoy this cat. Oh my god, this cat's too much. It's too much. <laughs> Every time I throw the cat cam up full screen, I swear to god, somebody else follows. This is the way, apparently. This is the way to do it. Is that right? You always, I put the cat cam full screen and I pet her. So she's super adorable. Oh, an axolotl cam? That'd be awesome. I've not watched the axolotls before. It'd be fun to see them. Also, what's up, Pagan? How are you? Oh my god, it's Demlu!
The only downside about cats is they get up and move around, so it's always hard to have the cam be available when they are here. Oh my god, it's Hater! How's it going? All right, drives. We're doing drives, right? We want to do a pink slime and an experience drive. So let's get all these set up. This is going to be a lot, though. We're going to need a big drive for this. You forgot to say happy birthday? It's okay. You don't need to. It's not my birthday. <laughs> Remember for the uplift test? Nice. When does it come in? The, the one thing about the uplift desk they had that the uh, the fully desk did not have was the um, the cool, like, phone app. Is it all the tanks or just ender tanks? Uh, ender tanks were on the the, top, the biggest one, but the other tanks all showed up, which is to be expected. So, um, I don't expect to get rid of all the lag, but this also might be nicer to just put everything in a drive because um, recipes will be easier for automation. Couple weeks. That's not bad. Hey, Mr. Embers. Ender tanks is definitely like four, at least four times higher than the next one. All oh, right, that's right. Uplift has a crossbar, but Uplift doesn't only have a crossbar. It is a hammock. You can buy a hammock. <laughs> you can buy a hammock, and then you can you can sleep under your desk. <laughs> so there you go. Listen, I understand that you're grumpy because I'm touching your tail, but you're putting your tail in my space. Okay? All right. So we're clear. She's like wait, she's like whipping her tail because she's grumpy. But the problem is though, you're in my space. This is my space. This is your space. We have our we have our own space. It's not all your space. At least if you're going to sleep in your office, you might as well do it in a hammock, right? What's the one that we have? 64K? What's it going to cost to make this, I wonder? It's my space. Yeah, she's very, she's very grouchy right now. It's true, you don't want to sleep on your floor. We can make that. Okay, I think we're going to use uh, Forcecraft to automate this. At least it just tests things out, right? So we need a furnace for that? Do we not have a force furnace? Force furnace and the grinding core, yeah? It will just like constantly make it. What do I need to grind? Should get her some uplifted space so she can sit a bit higher. I was actually um, considering buying a cat tree that, uh, here, I don't know how much, I don't, where's my mouse? Where'd you put my mouse? Oh, right here. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, uh, you kind of see it. There's a table right here. I was considering just moving the table and getting a cat tree that's about where her height is, if not taller, and then she can like see everything. And then she has like a cat tree and not my desk. And I can get my my space back to like I don't know three to four feet, something like that. Because the other cat has this little tiny. I don't see. It. Yeah, she's got this little short thing. That's like a foot and a half off the ground. But Mika likes to sit. Mika likes to sit up high. Will the cat tree be made of cats? There's a did you ever play Salt and Sanctuary? There's a there's a boss called the Tree of Men. And and that's what it's made out of. A bunch of a bunch of guys like hanging off of it. When you hit it, they just they f fly off. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. Mufasa or Mika is something like that. Everything she's touching and wants to be, she sees, is hers. She, if she doesn't even know it exists, it's still hers. Uh, is that drive done? Is it done? Oh, yeah. How do I set this? Do I need to... How do I... How do I, uh, turn this to be only... Only the flute I want? 
Is there a drive partitioner item? Do you want a custom cat tree? Yeah, 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 I'll totally make one. I'm probably just going to order one. I've been thinking about doing it because, honestly, her being at my desk is as adorable as it is. It's it's She's taking up a big portion of my desk <laughs> to the point where I actually have to move stuff off the desk. She's on top of, like, electronics. She used to just sleep on it without a bed. I gave her a bed so she was at least comfortable. How do I partition just what I want? Disk manipulator? Yeah, sorry, it's her sorry. It's her desk. I'm using a part of her desk. Storage housing? Oh. Oh. <laughs> what is this job that it's doing? I'm confused. Disk manipulator. What the heck is this thing? Modify the contents of a... D right, but can I... Okay, if I want you just to be experienced, do I just do... No. Fluids. How do you set this to be? Insert into network. Oh, okay. I know what this is. This is okay. okay. This is not what I'm looking for. Um, this is a uh, yeah. Okay. So how do I partition a disk? What is the item name for this? Interface fluid interface. Fluid storage, crafter, crafting manager, controllers, all the grids, network receivers, detectors, security managers, disk manipulators, crafters, crafting manager. Can you not? What is this? What was the two? What was the two to the left of the disk drive? Security manager and the wireless transmitter. Is that is that the one you're looking for? Or this one? Machine casing and a cable. So I can't tell certain fluids to go... Well, I don't understand what this up here... Let me see something. I know there's a way of... Well, I know there's a way of doing it in, like, like the AE mods, but I, I've never tried doing it in this one. How's it going, Mr. Wiggly? You should have a meme, Sakura? Sakura, I live in an apartment, and I don't have any... I have barely enough tools to, like, hammer a nail into the wall somewhere, which I wouldn't do because, again, I live in an apartment. <laughs> if I could make something, if I had a garage and all that space, it'd be kind of fun. Can I do that, though? No. Oh, my bad. What is that pulling in? You can only partition the storage block or the entire drive, which I've done not correctly here. <laughs> so it's the entire drive. So you put this here, and now it's partitioned, but I put that in late too late. To get some friends with some tools to make my own. If, you, if you've ever seen something I've made on my own, you would be very... You would, you would, you would be sad. It would make you sad. I'm not good at making things. 
So this is going to insert it back into if we have storage, which I need to figure out where I can put storage. Um, it would be exporter, importer, exporter. What's up, Mjolnir's Revenge? Happy Easter. You're good at making mod packs. I'm, I'm not, though. You guys keep saying that I'm not. Did I buy lots of candy? I actually don't like candy, to be honest with you. So, no. I did not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Now, out of curiosity, will you... You won't do anything yet. Okay. I have to set you. You won't do anything until I set you. Okay. Um, I need to get some latex uh, to put in here. Actually, can you... You do this, right? Oh, I thought you could pull from here. Oh, you can't. You just have to click on it. And then I have to turn this off for the moment. What's up, Dark Gem? Hacker space. I don't know what that I have no idea what that is. Um I mean honestly, I probably would just Oh yeah, I was trying to insert that back into the system. Oh now it has Yeah. What is, it do what is it doing? This is a 64K drive we want. Seventeen point eight. 17.7. Okay, it is. That's just slow. Is it just slow? Today's your birthday? Why do you think I don't care? Happy birthday! I hope you have a great birthday. Local hackers or makers get together and collaborate on projects. Oh, nice. I mean, honestly, I might just order something off Amazon. It's usually just quicker, and it doesn't come with the added bonus of splinters and uh, falling apart and damaging my cat when it breaks. <laughs> I definitely don't have a satisfaction of making my own things when it comes to, like, construction, you know? Those are, that definitely is not a... That's that... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> When it comes to doing it, like all that do-it-yourself stuff, I'm not really a big, I'm not really a big, like, ah, I got to make it myself. Although if somebody made me one, I'd like, I'd commit, I would rather commission somebody to make one than to make it myself. I guess that's, that's more of a thing. Alt space Seattle that I could check out. Yeah, but then I have to go like make it. And then again, what if the cat falls off and she like has some kind of an injury? Well, then it's clearly your fault, and I'm going to have to get a lawyer. So you better lawyer up, Sacra. <laughs> All right. Get that in there. All right. Now, this should only insert experience, theoretically. Let's turn this back on and see what works. I think it filled this one up too. So it is the sort. That's so annoying though. I have to have an entire drive just for that one thing. Hmm. And also, you're very right. It is very slow, isn't it? Do I need to make? Do you need to make it for me? Yeah, well, I mean, listen. I just don't want to make my own cat tree. <laughs> I don't really have much of a desire. I just said, there's a lot of things I would do. Making my own cat tree, not really at the top of my list. What do the speed upgrades in this mod require? It's a speed upgrade they would need, right? There's fortune, silk touch, interesting. There's a stack upgrade, there's a crafting upgrade, there's a range up speed upgrade. 
Um, oh, so there's an upgrade. There's a base upgrade thing here. So you need one of these. Okay. Did we already use all those patterns? Man. I have not used AE for 116, so I have no idea what shape it is in. To be honest with you, I couldn't give you uh, any feedback on it. Have you heard have you heard that it's not working correctly? I'm surprised it usually comes out. I mean, honestly, AE usually has great ports. I usually have great luck with them. So, a speed upgrade, what else would you need for what else would we use? Range upgrade, probably not. Crafting upgrade. Crafting upgrade is for crafting speed, right? Do we need stack upgrades um, for other stuff? Probably not for this, though. I thought AE 116 was okay. Some items missing. Yeah, they generally have a good... They generally port well. I'm not... I've never... What if I should care about doing that? Right, you want a crafting upgrade, so crafting just generally goes faster, right? Like, like for these. We want to put them in here, and these recipes will go quicker. Does that increase the, um... The power that they're using? Crafting upgrades like to keep an interface. I thought they. I thought that's how that worked. I thought it basically makes these work faster. Oh no 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 no! I know what the crafting upgrade is. Oh 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 oh! I remember now. Actually, yes. Hold on. So, crafting upgrade. Right, right, right. So it's um. So you put it on like a storage chest, and it will craft the item depicted in the crafting upgrade. It'll craft it and put it into that inventory. Right, essentially. So instead of just dropping a raw resource in, you can tell it, no, no, craft this crafting table, and it just keeps making those and going, right? I tried to add them next to the highlight to check cable compatibility, but it doesn't download because some hard coded and I can't get them get them to dev. Oh. How's the out of curiosity, how's the Tinker's stuff coming along? We need speed for this though, right? We just put four speed in here? Yeah. And is a stack upgrade going to help? But you need the pattern for whatever you're trying to craft already set up. Right. You need a pattern, and then you can say, crafting upgrade here, and then it just crafts that thing into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that now. Um, What, uh... Would this take four speed upgrades? Is that the fastest we can do for here? We find out. I'm actually a big fan of the AE2 crafting. Some people hate that system. I very much like it. You think stack upgrades might be... To get more crafters. I don't have enough. Oh, we got one more spot. Hold on. We're starting to really eat down... Eat, or eat away all the resources. Are you still not? Are you still working on making those, huh? Okay. Is it just speed upgrades? Stack upgrades are for moving items around. I don't mind channels. Oh my bad. Where did I? Where the heck did they just put those speed up? They just dropped them back in? Uh. Did I? Did I thought I made eight speed upgrades. Or, yeah, did I make more speed upgrades? Did I make both stack and speed upgrades? 
Oh, they're made of the speed upgrades. My bad. I wasn't paying close enough attention. Oh, right, right, right. Thanks. Never mind. I forgot. We made the speed ones and it used it in the stack upgrades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. I wasn't paying attention. I, for some reason, my brain thought those were just the base recipe for just regular upgrades. Do I need to... Hmm. It shouldn't have any issues. This should be plugged in. Is that cool down for the cat? It is, yeah. Yeah, I put it on 10 minutes. Um, oh, does the priority need to be higher? Is that what? Well, no, because there's nowhere else for it to go. Interesting. These are all the speed upgrades, yeah. It doesn't need to have anything in here. Oh, you know what? I don't think it can actually pull from this tank, can it? Wasn't there a problem with this particular tank? Um, it just... Hold on, let me see something. Wasn't... I think he was working on something, wasn't he? Oh, no, no, no. It's not that. That was a tank in a GUI. This is a different tank that normally works too so why isn't this working is it this is that the oh we had it on black is blacklist mode is what's on initially isn't that what it is we have to change it to whitelist mode and then that's probably why this one is also because we didn't change it it's set to be on blacklist it's set to disallow initially you get to set it to that to allow and also filter it that's why i didn't i, I didn't realize that Right, 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 right. That's why. So this tank should be fine then. Actually, both of these tanks should be fine. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, there it goes. I, I forgot the drives. All the all the refined storage stuff is, is set to uh, blacklist first. We did it! It's just one of those things, I guess, right? There's an XP solidifier speed upgrade. Interesting. Interesting. Let me see something really fast. We might actually be, um, we might be in trouble because I don't think there's anywhere for this XP to go. Or it might be filling up. Oh no, we have this tank, don't we? That's right, we have a while. I forgot we had the tank. We do need to start importing this back into the system. And the pink slime as well. We'll have to make a drive for this and then figure out how we can just export directly out. Um, oh, Mr. Wiggly. I, uh, I sent your message. It was very helpful. Um, I don't know. So yesterday at 1.56 my time. So about, actually just about 24 hours ago. You sent me the update for train HTML. I don't know if I, I don't know if I upgraded that one. Let me try, let me try, um, your, your latest file here. I don't know if I got the new, newest file. We had a hype train this morning, didn't we, Chad? That was like level four, level five. 2.04 PM. No, I was using that one from yesterday. Okay. Yeah. I've got the latest one. Interesting. I did notice at the very beginning, like train level one or two, it, I didn't see the mouse, but... It did come out, like, late level 3 or level 4. It seemed like the mouse was hiding a little bit more. So I'll have to, like... What's today? Sunday? We'll have to see how it plays out. And then I'll give you some feedback. My my days off are usually Tuesday and Wednesday, so those are good days I can, like, chat. Oh. It looks like King Lemming discovered the, uh... The lemonade stuff. Mm. 
Have you tried pressing eight when in your inventory? Is it eight they have to press to get those in there? Hopefully get that broke barrel inserting. Oh, the refined pipes things? Is that a refined pipe issue or is that... Because didn't the dev initially say it was refined pipes and not the barrels? Although the pipes work fine with most other things. You want to send this back. Is it X to Hylos side? Okay. That would be great. That's like a big... I, so I had to turn off refined pipes uh, item types because of that bug. That's like a significant issue. Let's get sand beam made. Let's move on to sand real fast. Mechanism is similar issue. Okay. Go back and learn the VOD. It, yeah, I looked up and we were like, I can't remember, like level one or level two in the hype train. And it wasn't out yet. And I noticed, my, my, my thought was, um, uh, it usually, it seems like it might want to come out a little sooner, I suppose. But outside of that, it seems to be fine. It knocks over. The mouse comes out. He seems to be having a good time. <gasps> I don't have this hat. This is a new hat. All right, where's this uh, going to go? We can probably automate over here. And if we do this, we can actually bring a cable over and we can finally set all this stuff up to just go straight into the system. For all this automation. Um, or... Well, I want to use the dark craft stuff, right? So we'll just do that. How much space do we need? We'll put it right here. So we're going to have to insert golden power sources. This might be slow. Yeah, let's let's bring over a um Do you want to use networking just to test it out or do I want to bring a cable over? We're going to have to hook a lot of things up anyways. Where's the closest cable set up? I've killed many dolphins in my life, yeah. <laughs> That's my bed. That's my bed, sir! Do I want to bring a cable over? I actually don't mind cables everywhere. I'm a big cable fan. Why do you follow me? You have a home with people that love you. And I am definitely not one of those people. <laughs> We could just, we could bring it under. We could do that. Just bring it straight across. Okay, let's try that out first. Uh, would something like this. I think we should move all the crucibles away too. Uh, okay. Let's go up and then we'll continue along the, the wall there. We'll do that like a little service area. What do we want to do on the other side? This is where we were, right? This is the service area over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the version, get your set to 700 points, but it's halfway poking out the cup. Interesting. It might be the version. I, the, whatever the latest one he sent me yesterday, that's the one I loaded up. I'm, I'm, I'm like... 99.9% .9 certain I loaded that one up. Um, but we can play around with it more. I had, uh, Blargus was trying to figure out how it worked yesterday, but I wasn't at my PC to follow up, so maybe we'll end up having, um, the ability to move it over into our own app as well. go this way but that might take me really chatting with Blargus and, and, sh and talking to him about the system in terms of what would need to happen anyways uh which will probably won't happen until I get some time to really sit down and, and chat about it for a while and then maybe we could do some cool stuff ah oh, dang it 
There we go. It would take multiple minutes. Right. I didn't have multiple minutes yesterday, so that's why I respond because I wasn't on my computer. I was trying to, like, I was trying to uh, put sheets in the bed, and the cat was, like, running under the sheets because for some reason, when I put sheets in my bed, uh, kitten runs on top of the bed, and then she, like, tries to get under the sheets. And then when you poke her, she gets all mad. Like, why would you, why you dare poke me when I'm under the sheets? As if, as if she doesn't understand what the... It's so weird. Like, she wants to go run under the sheets when I'm making the... I don't understand. <laughs> and then when you touch her, she's like, Meh! And you're like, but you just ran under here. That's your fault. I'm trying to make the bed. And I don't know. It's so funny, too, because every time I'll go to change the sheets, and, well, now we have, like, a brand new bed. So it's like... It's so it's 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 so white. It's so brand new and white, right? There's no there's no stains or dirt or anything on there. So so whenever I take the sheets off the bed to go put them into the uh, washing machine, she immediately runs onto the bed and bringing all her cat dirt and cat litter on there, roll roll rolling around. She also loves. If, if we take clothes out of the dryer, so they're pretty warm, so they're warm and they smell good, I'll dump them on top of the bed, or I'll dump them on the couch to fold them or whatever. She immediately runs on top and just gets in the clothes. I was trying, what was it yesterday? I was looking up uh, why cats need. There's like 17 different theories about it. Nobody knows why. This room sucks. We should put a big a big door on this and never look in this room. Right, it's cuz they're it's just cuz they're cats. They need to need. Okay, so we need a grid over there. Yep. Right, they're making biscuits. Kitten was making the most aggressive biscuits last night. She was really going at it. They need to need. You think I, I, I always wonder if it's okay. what if cats were just it's super intelligent and they're just screwing with all of us? They're just screwing with all of us. They know. They know what they're doing. The kitten snuggles on the side of his bed when while needing. Oh my god. Ours ours will just they'll like phase out. And they'll just start doing it, you know? And they'll just phase, just phase out. They're just staring at nothing. And they'll just do it. Sometimes Mika, when she's feeling really, she's like she wants attention, she'll get on my chest. I'll be sitting on the couch watching TV. She'll be on my chest and she's just doing it in my chest with her claws. <laughs> uh, let's put this over here. But the FPS is great over here. Because we're going to come over here anyways, right? And then Mr. Bicycle can oh yeah, Mr. Bicycle can see uh the test. Should we run this under the floor? I don't wanna No, let's do the lazy way. Let's do the lazy way. As long as it works. This is remember, this is the person that you guys want me to build a cat tree. Look at this. Cats are mean, aren't they? They're grouchy. They're mean. Yeah. All of the above. Uh, let's see. How do we want to do this? Let's put it here. What are you looking at? All of the above. Yes. So we could just insert. It's because they're needy. Right. Cats are needy. <laughs> um, okay. I got to remember how this works now. That grid can go back one. All right. Fine. I'm going to move this back. Oh, because you want it. Yeah, but then it's going to be kind of weird. You know what I miss about AE2? The flat panels. I like the panels. Uh, I miss that a lot. So we want to do, let's put this here. That's output, right? We can auto output into a chest. 
So give me a chest. Fuel goes in the side. Input goes in the top. So an exporter into the top. And we're going to make... Uh, did this keep the upgrade into it? Oh, it doesn't keep the upgrade? You don't get the upgrade core when you break the furnace. Is that... Should we... Should that be a thing? Was that a thing? That seems like a nice quality of life change, doesn't it? What is this black hole? Is this... Is there anything in this one? I'm just carrying this around. There's nothing in it. We don't need that. I'll just put that away for now. And that for now, too. Um... So we need the grinding core, which we don't have currently. Okay. And how do you make that? Upgrade core and flint. Okay. I I feel like we... It might just drop it inside or drop it completely. What did it do in the original? Although, even if it doesn't drop in the original, should we just make that a quality of life change? You can't remove it. Yeah, once you slide it in, you can't take it out. It's locked in. But at the very least, if you break the machine, you want to move it, and you got to make it again. At least just... Well, but then you're going to be able to... Because it drops out. So it's just stay in the furnace. Right? Because the point isn't... You want to drop out the core because you can switch it out. You can get around the mechanic. The mechanic is it's, once it's locked in, it's locked in. So the furnace theoretically could hold it when you break the furnace. Or because you can you can take it out by clicking it out. You can you can delete it. So there's a way of removing it that way. Okay. Hold on. Let me uh can we have the furnace keep the upgrade core inside when broken? It should, it's a QOL feature that makes things a little nicer to play with. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that changes the spirit of it. Because the idea is that once the core is locked in, it's locked in. And to, to remove it, you have to delete it. But if you break the machine because you want to move it, then it'd be nice to still have the core in there. You just move the machine like a block. If I want to move this over here, I've lost my core. What are you doing? Blagrest! Blagrest, one of your dolphins is stuck in this barrel. Can you do something about this? You're lazy and don't want to cook tonight. What's for dinner? All right. When's the last time you... What did you have for takeout last time? What's the last thing you had for takeout? He's not stuck. He wants to be there. Does he? Because I'm pretty sure he's going to die pretty soon. <laughs> he had pizza and Chinese. Ooh, it was pretty good. What's the last time he had Thai food? Thai food's pretty good. You know what's also good? It's Greek. A little Greek food there? Ooh. Don't tell the dolphin how to live his sh very short life. Yeah, but his short life is very short because of you. Baked potato is pretty good. At least you'd make just big bunch of baked potatoes, a little cheese on there, all the extra stuff, and just psh, big plate. It's also probably not very good. If he fits, he sits. You're not into formal dinners? So we have to do exports or importer from here, right? Uh, and fuel. We can have fuel here now. And then cobblestone? No, we need gravel. How much gravel we... Oh. <laughs> okay, we've got lots of gravel. We're uh, we're doing good. Does this work in the way that I think it will work? Get ribs. I haven't had ribs in a long time. I, like, I used to love ribs when I lived down south. Oh, that makes flint.
Oh, yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Okay. All right, well, that's actually that's that's better. That's one less step, right? Dude, White Castle's awesome, but it does require pants. You're right. I haven't had White Castle. I think the the closest White Castle is probably across the country. For oh, is there one in Colorado? Maybe a White Castle in Colorado. <laughs> so we need to do what here? Oh, I just hook it up at this point, right? Taco Bell is good too. I haven't had Taco Bell in a long time. Taco Bell is like the only fast food I can actually enjoy without getting sick. Are you gonna do an early access? No, Honest, honestly, I'm not really. Uh, I already have um, a couple of people that are testing for me on servers. In terms of early access, you know what happens? Do you know, do you know how early access with people works? By the way, you say that. Let me tell you how this all plays out. Hardly anybody actually does any reporting, especially streamers. Good, that's working. Taco Bell's, when it comes to fast food, when it comes to fast food, Taco Bell is the only one I can eat without getting sick. Filter is still gravel. All right. Um... You can sign You have to like make a very, very specific. You need to do this thing. Streamers are the worst early access people. They don't ever report. They just want to play the pack. I've watched streamers play, and they just they'll they'll have a bug that happens, and sometimes they know it's a bug, and they just they just ignore it, or they don't know it's a bug. It it hardly works out in in the, in its favor. It just ends up being people want to play it early, or they want to stream it early. So I learned that many, 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 many years ago. Hey, welcome back, Demlin. Meanwhile, uh, golden power source. So we need to get this set up so we can automate uh, Domino's. I don't know what it is. Domino's is does not have good wings, but something about their wings is really tasty. I don't know what it is. It might be the sauce they use. Something about those wings is they're really bad. Like they're really, really bad. But something, it's like. There's like crack in there or something. I don't know what it is. I, it's they're not good, but for some reason they are good. Oh, the cheesy bread! Oh my god, that cheesy bread! So we used to uh, Sunday nights we used to watch Game of Thrones. I'd come home and uh, we'd order some Domino's because there was not enough time to make dinner. So we'd order Domino's, cheesy bread, and the uh, chicken. Uh, there's the little chicken, uh, not tenders, little chicken bites or whatever. And they use the same sauce. It was really good. And it was so bad, but it was good. <laughs> you did not take my advice on what to ask early access streamers about the pack. Wait, did you did not take my advice on what to ask early access streamers about the pack? What to ask about your pack? Wait, what? I must have missed that part. People who don't report bugs are people who report bugs in Twitch chat. What drives me the most nuts, Mr. Eric? I mean, you've been here long enough to have seen this happen, right? When a streamer plays a pack and then they their chat brigades my chat to let me know about a bug the streamer found. But the problem is, though, that they don't have any actual information. And then I end up sitting here for 45 minutes, an hour, two hours, trying to replicate this problem because nobody can have anything that's actually helpful. They're just like, such and such thing happened. But it's never the streamer. And it drives me nuts. Every time. <laughs> Sometimes they'll have clips. But even with a clip, even with a clip, it's not always the best clip to figure it out. Right? Because there's even more information. But it's, it just drives me nuts. Because a lot of times they don't have clips. But they but when they do have clips, it's a little bit better. What's the best way to report a bug? So if we open a pack up, we have an issue tracker, for example. Um, oh, we either have an issue tracker. Or we have, uh, like, a Discord room set up. So, for example... 
Mm. Oh, here we go. Give an official issue tracker. You just fill in your information. If you crash, you have your spot for your log. You just say what happened. You say what the versions were so that we know what to do. And then people can actually like communicate with you and then you can actually figure the bug out. So that way, the biggest, the biggest problem with most bug reporting is if you don't have the information and somebody says, uh, when I place down block A, it crashes my game, right? So then somebody, if somebody just said that, I, c I go in and I'll place down the block and it won't crash my game in many cases. And then now, because they won't give me any more information, now it's my job to try and replicate what their situation was. Which is why we asked for that information. Is this still, uh... Oh, okay. I need to go puts. Hmm. We might need a tree farm specifically for the, uh... The force, the force stuff. But real quick before I do that, let's go get a whole bunch of these. So the command in game to simplify the reporting process. We did have that at some point. So D Gen Death Row used to have the um, a little box on the side. It would open up and you could submit a a, re a bug report. But I remember there was some weirdness with it. Something we had to disable it for. We testing out right now. We're going through refined storage. Uh, we also spent a good chunk of the morning looking at some rendering, some rendering lag. As in, did they place block and sand, dirt, plank? Right, like all of the above. Like, what it? What, did you have this going on? Are you? You know, what's your system? What is all these things that could be very helpful? Yeah. Because the last thing we want to do is sit down and spend two hours trying to track down your bug. When you could just have given us one more piece of information, that probably would have just led us to the solution much faster. And since most people do, most people work on these packs as a hobby, um, that are helping out with them, it's not really something that they need to be spending all their day on. I'm a, I'm a little bit different, but because I'm not doing the pack dev as a hobby, so to speak, so I can... You know, I can actually uh, spend a bit more time on it, but I still don't want to sit here spending hours trying to figure out how to replicate your bug. Uh, so yeah, oh, that's right. Uh, so yeah, we had a thing that was able to kind of pull that information. Flyrus, it hasn't been moved out of 112, though. And Gen Death Row, well, he did the Stardew Valley stuff. I know it's very, very busy. Um, I mean... I could ask if he wants to update the mod. I just don't want to bother him because I, I don't... I know he's extremely busy. He's got lots of stuff going on. Like lots of family stuff going on. So he's... he's uh, I don't want to... I don't want to bother him. But you're right. Having something that automatically, like... You, know, you can just push this button. It's like, push button. Push this button. And then it will send the information, or you can you can include the file. It generates a file, and then you can include that file, and it will be like... In the file, it says the mod pack version or something. And then at the very least, it collects some of the information that you would anonymously have anyways in a crash log. Uh, I don't know if it's open source. It's called Mod Pack Utilities. Let's see. Eighty-two million downloads. MP utils. This is also the one that had added a bunch of the hand and in, in inventory item ID commands. Uh oh. Uh, I might actually have the ability to. <laughs> uh, I might have the ability to actually do something with that. Hey, look who's, look who's out here. Apparently this is also uh, partially a project that I... Oh, there you go. Well, there you go. 
Did I remodel stuff and outdated mod? They remodel stuff and outdated mods. What do you mean remodel it? <laughs> if a mod was... Did he figure this out? Oh. Well, he's not as smart as I thought he was. <laughs> he would... Are they multiplying? How did this one get down here? What's going on with these? I need to put a big fence. They need to have some kind of a wall. I need to keep them in check. Oh, Tinker's updated officially to 116. Any mod that's in this pack was officially updated or created. Um, because the mod devs have to do that. It's not something I can particularly I, I could if I was to code something, which I'm not a programmer. So usually it's a it's a mod dev that would do that. But Tinker's also has officially um oh right. Tinker's is also officially updated. Uh as of the first. I guess we should I guess we should do this, huh? Wait, that's weird. Cause there's no drawer space, that's why. This has nowhere to go, that's why. When a mommy dolphin and a daddy dolphin love each other very much. Yeah, but as a villager first of all, what? There's a villager. <laughs> what if the dolphins and the villagers have to do? <laughs> What's going on? One well, thing you forgot to ask, how do you repair tools and tinkers? Uh, oh. Yeah. I'll show you. It takes a villager to raise a child. Uh, so... So either in your... Tinker station... Oh, maybe not. Sorry. It's uh, in the anvil. My bad. He changed that. That used to be both ways. Uh, you need the Tinker's anvil. Put the tool in the middle. Repair the thing right here. There you go. I forgot. He changed it. It used to be the station. It's just the anvil now. I thought you were talking about the dolphins. No, no, no. Those are just... I don't know how those get... I mean, they, I, I mean, I don't know. They could be doing something. That's about the villager just apparently just has now... Has a, has a friend that just showed up. Look. He's also jobless, by the way. Is obsidian? Oh no no no! It's the it's the my tool is made from an obsidian, um, uh, uh part. So that's what my repair my repair is uh, uh coming from. It's I think it's the head of the tool, right? So I would need to use slime steel for this. Um, slime steel. Yeah. So it's the ba It's the material. Does it not tell you anywhere? It used to tell you the repair material. I guess not. This one's a little bit weird that you have to know it's obsidian, I guess. Like seared stone for this one. Does it tell you? No, not anymore, I guess. It's the head the head material. Recapitating and adds an extra ability slot to your tool so you can upgrade it further. Yeah, so whatever you make the head, the tool head from is what you repair it with. Uh, they're going to be adding repair later on, he said, but not yet. This is kind of slow, isn't it? Yeah, those golems are probably meeting to kick me off and just take over the whole island. If they band together, they could probably do it. We probably want to insert fuel into here, right? Yeah, no sharpening kits yet. Eventually, though. It's funny, I never used sharpening kits. So I'm not used to having them. And since this is over here, we might as well just insert directly into the drives with the latex, right? Are we still not generating enough? Oh, no, I guess it just uses it fast enough, huh? I 
how much plastic are we looking at? 1.4k. Can we just stop this for now? Uh... Okay, we'll do that. That's still going to produce, though, isn't it? We don't need the autocraft. We need this to stop. Run with redstone signal. Okay, there we go. So that should uh, allow us to then set it to the system. This is a lot slower than I was expecting, too. These are all fully upgraded. Uh huh. Hmm. Yeah, we need to. Actually, hold on a second. Oh, actually, these will both run with that one signal, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Cool. That should stop both of them. And this is just going to sit here and wait. There you go. We should be all off then. Yeah, so the only thing we need to do is just then route the uh, latex into the system. Hmm. We need to import into here, though. Or export into here. So you export with uh, one of these into the side and then hook that up. Okay, so that'll be full. We just now need to like make more of those, but we're gonna run out. We don't have uh we don't have indefinite golden power sources. Uh, let's put a tank as a buffer over here. Well, no, because we want to not have tanks, though. I guess just some kind of... Well, do we really want to do that? We might just... Actually, we just import from here. Can we, can we hook this up to the cable? Uh, maybe. Fluids. Can you do that? I feel like you can turn this around the outside. I feel like you can totally do this. Maybe. Oh my god, they're all passed out. It's like having children, but they sleep way more, so like that's they're better than children. <laughs> You have to spend money on candy and running them around to get them tired. Let me see something here. So, hmm, and they're not as expensive as children, right? <laughs> you think I have to use a fluid interface for that? Yeah, because I'm trying to render anything. That's the biggest thing. We might just have to use the interface because I don't think that pipe can hook directly up, right? That's true. I do, I, the cat trees. Cat trees are expensive. You ever seen how expensive cat trees are? So I bought a cat tree. It was like 40 bucks. However many months ago. But the problem was it's like the base isn't big enough. It's not heavy enough. So it's like constantly teetering. And the cats have jumped up and knocked the whole thing over before. So apparently you need to buy or get like weights on the bottom. Cats do grow on trees. Yeah. You didn't know that? Yeah, because it's not heavy and the base is like not big. So, I mean, it's a nice cat tree besides that. 
I also custom I modded my my cat tree. I got some of that that clawing rope, you know. And I wrapped it around all the the little pillars, so they can use it as a claw tree too, which they do. You put magnets in it. You want an over-engineered cat tree? I was yeah. I mean, that sounds fine, but what if I just bought one that's like a little bit more expensive, that's a bit more reliable? They always feel bad for the cats too because they, when it falls over, they like they, their trust of the cat tree stops for like a good twenty-five minutes. There's that whole I trusted you to not fall over thing, and then that that's over with, and then twenty-five minutes later they forgot that happened, and they go back up on it. Yeah, one for sixty bucks. Yeah, I don't think you have to spend like two, three hundred dollars, right? Screw it to the wall. I'm trying to screw anything to the wall, but I might have to do something like that. I didn't want to have to. All right, so fluid inter fluid interface. Give me one of those now. Oh, we're missing the export. We don't want to make the exporter. That's probably useful anyways, right? You want a cat tree that allows the cats to access the inside as well. Like, the wall? The inside of the walls? Like, in between the drywall? So they can go... They can go and, like, explore between... They can probably find their way through the ducts and all the pipes and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> they can go in there and can fix all the stuff. They can fix everything for me because they're back there and they're very intelligent, right? So they'll know. All right, now how does this, uh, how does this work? That's going to import into there. Latex. Ah. Now, do I need to import from here, right? Schedule 40 pipes, so approximately 10 to 12 inches inside if you recall. Oh, I see what you're saying. That seems that seems pretty complex. I I just you know what I really want? I want a cat bed like she has right now, but not on my desk. That's that's the only really the requirements are, are that. Okay, now I need to use the importer. Or no. Oh, the drive is full. I forgot about that. The drive is full. We need more, we need more storage for our latex. Or is he to use it? All right, hold on a second. Let's go fix that up. I keep forgetting the drive. There's nothing in it. We can make another smaller drive in the meantime. Since we're still trying to get the sand production up. Where am I going down here? Yeah. Okay, what, what drives can we make right now? I think we have the second 1024. That should be enough, right? Yeah, we can make that. We'll just wait. Make a hover cat bed with the right rare earth magnets. No idea how expensive that would be if there could be any potential medical issues for those with certain devices. You're able to save money by getting an expensive rare cobalt, ardite, like rare metal cat bed that could be dangerous to all of us. What if I just paid like 60 bucks on Amazon to get the thing I need? <laughs> Maybe, I think Amazon might have something. I <laughs> I'm sure that what your ideas are great. I'm sure they're wonderful. I'm just saying that it might be maybe not the most safe, the most safe thing. I love watching the crafting monitor. What I don't wa love watching is the fact that we've not divided up some of these uh, patterns because this is really, we need one more furnace, I believe. We get one more furnace here. And then we can divide that up to do the job a bit quicker. So let's try a couple things here. Just sky Why goes the easy road up the mountain when you can Skyrim all the way up? 
All right, what can we make with what can we make with a redstone furnace automatically? It might be it'd be nice to actually aut automate this whole thing, right? I don't think we have anything set up except this, right? It's seven foot call. I don't need seven feet. I need like three, three, four feet, something like that. Something, something around there. It's a bit overkill, I think. I don't think we need that many. You gotta find Wayfair. What the heck is Wayfair? Twelve feet tall. I didn't think my ceiling. I don't even know how much tall my ceilings are. I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it might be too tall. You want her own desk? Oh, what if I just? What if she just took this desk over and I just went somewhere else? <laughs> what, what if I just? What if I just move to a different room so she can have her own room? We make copper gears yet? I don't think we can. Oh my bad. It meant it's more than a shopping option. Oh, what what is Wayfair? I don't know what Wayfair is. Is that like a store for cats? At least three three tall, so you don't need to worry about too tall. You guys are the best at coming up with ideas. Really. You, you definitely are. You guys are the greatest. What else? This thing. Oh, yeah, one of these tin gears. Man, this is like the... This should help us make machines faster, too. Made to build a cat house out of Legos? You know you can, like, donate your old Lego bricks and Lego will, like, repurpose them? What, are you getting paid for these ideas? Oh, yeah, checks in the mail. Wayfair is an aggregator for furniture. Oh. I didn't know that. Oh, any bricks? Apparently, we don't want to make bricks. Legos. Dude, Legos are expensive. Like, you get Legos as a kid, if you're lucky. Right? And then you grow up, and you're like, now nah, I can buy my own Legos. And then you realize, dude, these are expensive. I don't want to buy my own Legos. <laughs> hey, Mr. Sackvik. This one. And if we do that, we're gonna need to upgrade it too, right? We're gonna have to get one of these, uh, where is it over here? Here? Yeah, one of these. That's gonna be a while. I'll tell you what, you get paid when I get paid. Like two weeks. <laughs> what the Lego Boba Fett helmet though? They have a they have a helmet for that? I didn't know they had it. I saw that they have uh his ship. They have slave one. You pay for the Lego name? Is there really anything that's at that quality, though? What else is there? What else is there that has the cool stuff like... I guess they have it all pre-built. Pre you could probably build... Like, I want a cool Star Destroyer. Can I get that with someone, someone else? I mean, they're the only ones that can make certain things, right? Like, not everybody can make... Everybody can make, like, Star Wars stuff. And a crafter, right? Get a 3D printer? Don't those, uh... Those also cost a little bit of money. But you gotta buy all, buy all the stuff. You gotta buy the plastic. I would assume the plastic smells because it's, like, melted. You probably get some kind of thing from that. Star Wars is licensed to Lego. Right, so you can't get, like, Star Wars, like, already ready-to-go stuff from anywhere, anyone else. Right? Um, or the other brands that they have. You have to, like, make your own plans, right? Resin is cheap. Oh, crap. What? Oh. That was your thing that you made? Is pot plants? When <laughs> is this necessary? Oh, this is necessary at least to connect to one of these, right? Yeah. What is that, Shimwood? Oh, your your helmet? How much does that thing cost? Self-watering pot plants. I mean, are you really having pot plants that aren't self-watering? I mean, really. Oh, that's not bad. 
How small is that, though? It's like half the size of that guy's head, but there's no reference of a banana, so I can't really tell. <laughs> so you want to take uh, at least two of these and spread them out. There we go. That was, should be that should be a little bit nicer. Your tail is on my mouse pad. Like your your tail is just coming out of my mouse pad right now. Can you move your tail back? Wow, did you just try to hit me? Really? What if I boost your nose? You keep for? Hey, One Tech month? PK, Two they're the 55 months. months. Waste your money. Thank you. Bye, Felicia. Tech PK has just Aww. subscribed. Darko B day underscore TK Darko B day underscore HF. What? Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much for the 55 months and the wonderful tier three sub. How's it going? How's it going? Look at this adorable cat. It's too adorable. Way too adorable. Um, 3D printed a full paladin gear from WoW for gaming convention. I wonder how long it took to make that. Because 3D printing could take a while, right? What are you doing? 55 months. Not even only not even that. You're 55 months as a tier three. You're like you're like five times. You're five times more. What are we? What are you doing? <laughs> I guess we don't need another one of these, right? You're winning. Yes, that's what it is. That's that's this is clearly winning. All right. So next we need. Uh, oh, we need to make the drives, but I wanted to upgrade this so we didn't have to. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mhm. There it goes. Now. What if I wanted to put a name over these? You can't really name these, can you? Three months to print it? Oh my gosh. Pink Slime was the next one, right? So so we need to drive Bay for Pink Slime now. a little bit tedious this way, I think. But what are you going to do, I guess, right? All right, drive uh, or uh, fluid. I guess it's, it's whatever. Ah, uh, quartz is the next... Uh, quartz is the next thing that we don't have enough of then. Quartz is... Not easily automated. Oh, right. That's how you get into mystical agriculture. That's where that comes into play. Mm hmm. We could just sieve. We'd have to start importing the soul sand. We might. Oh, we might benefit from making a sieve setup that's only uh, soul sand or something like that. How much soul sand are we sitting on? A thousand. Um, okay. We could also just insert it into here and just start going through all of our, all of our soul sand. So just export out of the system into this, uh, into this chest. Basically. So something like, uh, here. Something like this, maybe? I believe that might work. Chat, look at this cat. Look at this cat. She's way too much. I literally can't, I can't handle this cat. We can just sit here and do this. We just sit here and do all this. Hey, is that Drew? How's it going, dude? Oh, thank you for the raid. That was my mouse making that. Dude, hi thank you for the raid. Thank you very, very much. I didn't catch that at first. My bad. How's it going? How's your stream? 
how do I run the... There he goes. There he goes. I know how to run the commands. How are you? It's good to see you. How's your stream today? What's that Jacoby game? You learned about tape? What kind of tape? Gaff tape? Scotch tape? Lots of different kinds? Nice. I have gaff tape. <laughs> this cat hair is stuck to it. <laughs> My gaff tape has cat hair all over it. Paper tape, gaff tape. Nice. I gotta buy a new roll of gaff tape. Actually, you just reminded me. I gotta buy a new roll. Mine's starting to run low. Sticky, st sticky stuff tape. Plumber's tape. Wait, what's plumber's tape? Is that the one you put around the, uh, the threading on the screws to hold it in place better? Keep it sealed? Painter's tape? It's a way to make the booting up process of Minecraft load better with several mods in it. Uh, that's a that's on Forge. So, like, for example, 116 is much faster because they redid the whole thing. Uh, other than that, hard drive speed is a big is a big part of it. The amount of RAM that you dedicate to CPU speed. Plumber's tape is also metal. Is it? Wait. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Is this called tape? I never realized that was called... I think I know what you're talking about. I didn't realize that was, a, that was uh, uh, considered tape. Jesus. <laughs> hey, unwillingly, thank you. Gifted one subs to viewers. Thank you very much. Thanks for that gifted sub. Oh, nice trucking gutted sub. Nice. Very cool. Your chat is red now. Well, tell the red shirts coming in. That was really loud. It's really loud for me more so than you. I've gone back and watched streams. It's way louder for me. So if you think that's loud, imagine it like 10 times. That's that's my whole stream. That's basically the entire stream is me getting scared from uh, notifications. That's great. It might, you know, maybe one of these days I'll turn it down. <laughs> maybe I'll turn it down one of these days. And then, you know, I won't complain about it so much. Also, where are my cables? I think I used them all. I guess I'll just make a bunch of these. Are you going to be taking part in the uh, marathon stuff's coming up? I'm going to turn it down. Well, I keep saying I'm going to do that, and that was like five years ago. and I haven't done anything since, so at this point, if I change it, then it's going to ruin the whole stream. It's got an energy production mod in 116.5. Ah, uh, power, power, P-O-W-A-H is a good one. People seem to like that. Yeah, hopefully. Nice. I got to get in touch to see if they need some help. Oh, that's an import, my bad. I need an exporter. You think that's like my defining... That's 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 the, that's what defines the brand, is the loud noises? If I don't do that, who even am I? I tossed the cables off the platform. D did I? Did I actually do that? Chat, we got to see if we can get Bentley on a team with me so we can just sit there and just argue the whole time. <laughs> just two guys arguing about everything. Is this working? I chucked them into the void. Oh, one well, month, two months, rip. eight months. Hey, Jacoby Game, thank you very much. Jacoby Game has just subscribed. Thank you. What are you doing? I was just waiting for something. Thank you very much. Thanks for that. Two months of support. Welcome back. You'd sub for that? Nice. You're already a sub. Uh, the Mind Crack Marathon. The Spring Marathon. I gotta check up on the uh, the details. I don't know very much at the moment. What are we waiting on? Are we waiting for something? Is that Lil Man but not banned? Oh my gosh. No machine found. Oh, wait, what? Oh! You gotta hook the sides up. Can we have chat be another one of your team members? Oh, you want me to have it set up so you can AFK play as my other, my uh, one of the other people? And then, uh, basically, so it'll be like a, so it'll basically be somebody who's not really playing. 
the dates and times are confirmed, but it's not true. Oh, the dates and time? Like, right, like, this, the, uh, the marathon itself, I guess, is... It's always going to be every, yeah, it's always a thing. But yeah, I, I I don't remember what the date and time was. I need to go and see. Or what they were proposed to be. I should go look that up. Chat's good at Minecraft. I watched chat try to do some AFK stuff. Why did you get Automodded? Oh, apparently Armo's name is in Automod. <laughs> hey! Mr. Wiggly, thank you very Mr. much Wiggly for the gifted, gifted sub. Subs to viewers. Thank you very, very, very much. Thanks for doing that. Armo, you, Armo can't be in Twitch. Armo's banned. Sorry. Auto modded, apparently. Uh, Mindcrack Marathon. Mind, Mindcrack does a uh, spring. It's usually a remote marathon, I guess. Or is it usually remote? I know it's remote now because of the circumstances. And then a, uh, a fall marathon to uh, help raise money for extra life. The cup fell over. And so far they've raised like $1.2 million over the last uh, four or five years for extra life. It's awesome. A lot of really cool people come together, raise a bunch of great money for charity. Hey, Violent Midget, thanks for the 100 bits. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, what were we waiting on? Those the finish? Yeah. Oh, those are still not going. Did I do this the wrong way? No. Does this know that it can do its job? Oh, I made it. Just got stuck or something. Let me show him. But yeah, so it looked like that 100 bits brought it out of the cup, I guess. I believe it, it's like a tad bit behind Mr. Wiggly, but I just assume it's a normal thing. The I want to the in person, in person is a lot of fun. I very 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 much. So. I was talking to Michael about this, is that I'm such like I'm such a weird person, like when it's a remote one, I always feel so awkward. I feel like an awkward person normally, anyways. But when it's in when it's in person, it's always a fun time. I always love interacting with everybody. Um, in my own like antisocial way, or helping out. I'm a big like I, I like I I'm less about like being on camera and more so being like behind camera and helping out with some of the production and whatnot, or helping to uh, move sets or plug things in or whatnot, which is a lot of fun for me because I don't get to really do a lot of that normally. Hey, Kim. Uh, I need to put a soul stand in here, right? The last one was like trying to get VR set up. I, I remember, remember when we could not figure out. I said, Chad, you're right. It was a TV studio, wasn't it, in Chicago? Um, it was, I think it was a TV studio or it was some kind of studio that, um, um, just I think they do 24, like regular TV, 24 something FPS, something like that. Um, so, anyways, all of their computers were not set to the normal 60 FPS refresh rate that you usually have when you buy a computer or 60 FPS or higher, depending on if you have a certain monitor or whatnot. Anyways, so we're trying to play VR and we couldn't figure out why every VR game was stuck at like super low FPS. And the problem with VR at lower than like 90 FPS is it actually makes you sick. Uh, so VR is really important that you have high refresh rate because it makes people even more sick faster. So we couldn't figure it out. So, like, finally, we figured out the issue with everything was that uh, because they have their entire studio set to 24 FPS, because that's what they edit in for TV, all of the monitors in this entire place had to be turned up to 60 FPS. We screwed with all their computers. <laughs> so hopefully they fixed it by the time we left. I think we might have sent it back, or I told the, the person that they had the computer that we used. We probably destroyed the whole studio. That was the other the other issue was uh what was he had 1080i or something like that. So it was kind of a weird transition to get everything ready for Twitch. But luckily we got there. We had gotten there in enough time to I guess figure it out, right?
Okay, this is all working there. Is this going to go through all that really fast? Yeah, that's going like through hundreds. You let the waffle iron there that year? Oh, no. Dude, Fallout VR? I remember. I waited weeks for that. I waited weeks for Fallout VR. I was so excited for it. And then it came out. It was just so bad. It was not a good VR port. It was the, it was, you had to, you had to go into the INI files. You had to make changes there. You had to get other mods. It was so, so awful. Are you going to actually go grab your waffle iron? It's that important of a waffle iron to you, huh? <laughs> that's, that's the thing. When I go to Chicago, I need that waffle iron. I'm, I'm not going to buy another one. That's the one. That's, that's the waffle iron. Please, Skin Egg has just subscribed. Hey, thank you for giving a gift sub to Drew. Thank you. I don't she can hear me. She's like five feet away from me. You figure the FPS issue out? Yeah. There's a bunch of stuff that's rendering in the game that's just dragging it down. Uh, thirty percent of it is storage drawers. And the other, the other seventy percent or so is divided up between tanks. The mob farm. Uh, the crucibles for lava. Skyrim VR was good because they had to make it work on the PlayStation, right? Whereas, like, Fallout 4, it was, I think, PC only, so they probably just didn't care. Honestly. Skyrim VR was, like, meant to run so... And such a uh, uh, lower end. We need to go back here. Oh, right. We were going to make more drives. Oh, right. Skyrim VR is a really cool mod. Um, what is it for? Uh, for spell casting. So instead of so the bad thing about the Bethesda like VR games is they just like converted them into VR. You can walk around, but you still had to like interact in the exact same way. You couldn't pick things up, right? So, so uh, there's a mod for Skyrim VR that you can like move your hand to do certain movements, and it will cast a spell. Otherwise, you'd have to open up the menu, pick the spell, and do all that, like, tedious stuff. Did they put Fallout 4 VR on consoles, or just Fallout 4 itself? There was another weird thing, too. It was, um... With Fallout VR, you could not bring a gun with a, uh, a sight on it up to your face... Uh, at first, I think they were all just turned off. And then they up, they finally, if people complained enough, they finally updated it. So when you brought the gun up, it would black out everything around it and only show you what's inside of the site. Because they didn't have the, they didn't have the ability to basically render both what's in the site and in your world. It would have, it would have, uh, it wasn't set up for that. Oh, yeah, a lot of people didn't want to use the Oculus Quest for that. Yeah, people didn't want to have to connect it with Facebook. Or What was the question? If you get banned from Facebook, are you going to get banned from your Oculus Quest? Which I don't know if I ever saw. I don't know if that was ever, like, answered. Hey, soccer, what's up? We were just talking about you. Oh, you're talking about Fallout 4 itself. Yeah. Gloves in VR? I don't know. I would assume so. Yeah, we always talk about you, soccer, because you're awesome. We need fluid drives. Fluid drives. There we go. So this should bring in pink slime now, right? Yeah, hardware ban from the quest if you get banned. Is that really what happens? People were, like, asking about that. And I was, oh, I've been wondering. You literally get, you actually get banned? What? So what if you get wrongfully banned? What if something happens that's not your fault that you didn't do? So you just get banned from a piece of hardware that you have that you spent some money on? Although the, the Oculus was, um, it's awesome. That's the one that's like fully wireless too. Can I go in here? Yeah.
How much is in here? 16,000. Okay, we can load this one up too. It's a really cool headset. I tried somebody else that I know has one. I tried it out. It's really neat. Yeah, bam, the service is just the hardware is useless without it. Right, so you're basically unable to use it unless you were to uh like mod it in a way, right? You just bring it with you. Because it's small, right? It's just the headset and the controllers, that's basically it. And you can just play without much stuff to bring along. Yeah. The Vive Wireless with the $350 accessory. Is it is that still good? Because I remember back in the day it was like super high CPU usage for the the wireless adapter for the Vive. You let their Facebook accounts closed? Couldn't use your Oculus, didn't get a response. So you have to have a Facebook... Like, if you delete your Facebook account, which you don't want to use it anymore, you cannot use the service. Nobody admits they deserve their ban. Nobody ever deserves a ban. Of course, nobody ever deserves a ban. C clearly, if you ask them, why did you get banned? I didn't do anything. I saw your chat logs. You were saying some pretty nasty stuff. Oh, that wasn't me. Are you sure? Chat, that's like school. When I used to teach school, that was like every day. Somebody would come in and be like, I got detention. I'm like, what'd you do? I didn't do anything. He asked the teacher in the previous class. Yeah, they got up and they punched the kid. Oh, okay, because they said they didn't do anything. <laughs> you got banned from Hypixel? What? You ever played on him? You got banned? Soccer, how could you? How could you? Your games are connected to your Facebook accounts. So your account gets suspended because you post, uh, right? If you post things like a protest or something like that, it doesn't matter. You, you can just right. You could you can't play. Just shut off. That seems to be. But I know people who have told me they've gotten some people have reported them. Um, I mean, not saying every ban is like meaningless. Like not like you like not like people aren't banned. People are not always banned for a good reason. Sometimes it happens that you get reported, something gets misinterpreted, or you didn't do anything that deserves the ban. Like, it happens, right? People get unfairly banned from everything. There's just too many people um, these days. But then you can't play your quest. Hmm. There's Facebook jail where you're blocked from posting, but you aren't banned. Oh, they put you, like, in a... They put you in the corner? You get banned from some Minecraft servers for using a VPN? Why does that matter, I wonder? Is that so that they uh, have a way of... Wait, but how are they going to ban... They're going to ban your UUID, I guess, right? Hmm. Facebook doesn't care if you get banned. Do they have a reason to care? What's the Forcecraft mod? It's a reverse engineering of Darkcraft. Do I have a British cat? Are you British? Are you British? She won't answer me, I don't know. <laughs> Hi. How do I know? How do I tell? You want tea? Would you like some tea? She's got a bow tie. She's too posh to answer. She must be British. 30% <laughs> of the stream is you annoying your cats when they sleep. To be fair, there's 70s them annoying me while I try to get work done. Got to use the USB port. You need a USB plug? Are you, are you, are you, is your charge out? Do you need more battery? She's completely gone right now. She's just like, she's sitting here like half awake. You got banned because they thought your account was compromised, but it was not. Dude, the Valve Index looks awesome. So uh, before I had to come home from uh, streaming from the office, Devin had gotten uh, the uh, the Index, and he needed some help setting it up. So um, I remember putting it on to make sure things were going well and using the controls real quick, and man, they were really cool. It looked great. It looked really, really good. Oh, we got to get another one of these. Actually, no, we don't.
Hold on a second. We don't need that, actually. Black hole. Oh, this one. It's so weird that so many people are getting banned from Hypixel without even playing on it. I wonder if I'm banned. Give me this false ban. It's stored in your next ban means you are perma banned. What? Uh, uh. 3080, yeah. I will, when I, so I upgraded my graphics card and one of the first things I tried was VR and, and, and man, it plays really, 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 really nicely. It is wonderful. It also is hilarious to still see 100% GPU usage when you load something up. Hey, Aramil, enjoyed your ban. You think I'm definitely banned? That's fair. That's fair. How do I make this? Is this the one that we need for... No, no, no. We need this big unit right here. But we can't make this... Oh, this is just pink slime. Interesting. Simple machine frame. We can make that one. Okay, hold on. What do we have recipes for, by the way? The advanced machine frame. We gotta make this thing. Oh, wait, but I don't need that, though. Why does Hypixel not have Technic servers? Technic servers. What the heck's a Technic server? Like the, the launcher? Does this take oak? Well, it's, oh, here we go. Is that oak? Yeah. But no, I want you to move. But I want you to be. Okay, I'll just put it. I'll just put the oak in myself. All right, good. I can get rid of this one though, right? How's the pack going? It's great. Is it released soon? When it's ready. You didn't realize you weren't following. You weren't following the stream? How dare you? Oh my, you're banned. That's it. We're giving bands out apparently. Everybody's getting one. You get one next. The cat, the cat can't even stand. Look at this cat. She's so disappointed. Tell, tell Drew how disappointed you are. Tell Drew. <laughs> Why do you need to wait for a 3080? Oh, because nobody can get them. Well, it depends, right? You got to like really, really, you got to really be on top of the uh, stores. What happened to the under dark dimension? It's currently being worked on. Yeah, she's, she does not want to be... Uh, Bothered. She's trying to take a nap. Uh, symbol machine frame, right? The Underdark? Don't call it that. It's kind of a weird name. I don't want anybody to be under me. Dude, I joined the EVGA queue back in November, whenever it first started, and I still have not heard from them. And it, I wondered, I've been wondering if they, like, kicked me out of the queue. You're currently doing Twilight Force and Septag and you're lost in the maze? Just punch through the walls. Have you tried that? We can't, we gotta make these too, don't we? Have you tried punching the walls? I, I do wonder, I was in the queue. It was real weird. I was talking to somebody else about this. That I joined the queue and I still haven't heard. So I wonder if I got removed from the queue or I didn't, like, maybe my, maybe I joined too late, but this is back, like, originally. So I was just, I have no idea what happened to my queue spot. Divin 970? Yeah, so, like, Fallout 4 VR, right? I think that one required, like, at least a 10 series. It was crazy. So some of those, but that's not really a VR game. A lot of the v, actual VR games at least are, at least they're somewhat optimized, right? They're not trying to convert some like crazy game into VR. So at the very least, a lot of the stuff that's made for it doesn't require anything crazy. Although it is very nice when you can, when you can load it up. The problem with graphics cards right now is that even, even graphics cards that are, um, 
the last two generations are still hard to get. They're very expensive and they're just very difficult. To the point where people are celebrating the fact that they've seen 1060s show up. And for only 300 bucks. It's been, it's been really rough um, for most graphics cards these days. Why'd you get banned from the queue? I didn't do anything to get banned from the queue. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Why'd you think that? Oh, he never writes scraps for this, huh? Hmm. Well, how much does it cost? If you were if you were to be able to buy like let's say let's say you wanted to buy a twenty eighty right now. Or a ten eighty or twenty eighty. Cause like a 3080 costs 700 bucks, something like that, about 700 US dollars. I can't remember the exact price. Are we still looking at 12 to 1300 dollars for a 1080 or a 2080? If you wanted to go with that, right? If you were like, if you're buying new. Where did I learn to play? I've been doing this for seven years. Almost seven years now. <laughs> well, even if you're going to get go AMD, though, even AMD uh, GPUs are, are not easy to get. There's a silicon shortage, which is making things difficult. Um, enough that uh, chat can correct me if I'm wrong. There's, there's enough of a silicon shortage that it's affecting car manufacturers. It's not just... It's not just GPUs at this point. It's like hitting actual car manufacturers and other. It said, hello, Mrs. Cat. <laughs> All electronic to this point. So anything that requires uh, uh, silicon. Is it, gonna, is it looking to be going to 2022? Does Ash know if your cat is British? Is this cat British? Does she look British? You said she's she's no. Eighteen hundred dollars a new egg for a twenty eighty. Right. So at this point, you gotta pay eighteen hundred dollars, or I guess just wait. I mean, if if yours works, you don't need a new one. That's a rough buy. I mean, if you were able to find one for really cheap, then you could be like, that's a different story. But man, that's one, just one. Yeah, so they're all over the place for pricing. It's crazy. So yes, the answer is that electronics in general are, are suffering. There's a shortage of silicon. So there's a bit of a, uh, it's a bit rough. But you have to, you have to really be on the lookout. Do you take milk with your tea? She's like, she just like moved her eyes a little bit when I said that. Hey, Kudan, what's up? How are all these doing, by the way? Is this still going? They're currently on September 21st in the queue. The EVGA queue, it is April 4th. They're on the September 21st part of the queue. Oh, that's probably why I haven't heard. I think I signed mine, I signed up November, I think. She rolled her eyes at me, yeah. So yeah, I think I think that's why. <laughs> but yeah, I don't blame you for waiting. Trying to get trying to get older generations are still expensive. They have 1080s and 2080s are still really expensive if you're able to get one. The only reason I was able to get a new GPU, honestly, was because uh, me and some other people were like constantly checking the store. And the amount of times that one would come available. And just by the time that I clicked on the link, they were already gone. It was insane how difficult it was. And that was just constantly checking. Um, and I, f I got really lucky and was able to find one. But um, two seconds later, it probably would have been gone. Uh, how are we doing in sand, by the way? Are you, are you gonna leave? What are you doing? Oh, is it time to turn around? 
Oh, is it turnaround time? You knocked your toy over. You knocked your toy over. What are you doing? What the heck is this thing? What is this? What is this toy? Chat, what is this thing? Is this like a chicken? What is this? I don't understand what this thing is. Is it a unicorn? What is this? It's a chicken? Is it a, it's a chick, is it? Oh, okay. I think I, I kind of see it. It's garbage. Wow. <laughs> you like your chicken? There you go. There you go. Enjoy your chicken. Either way, you need a computer. Pre-builds might be a good find. Although people do buy, buy uh, pre-builds and then they rip the GPU out and sell the rest. Did we get that black hole unit, by the way? We did not. What are we waiting on? Oh, did we order the wrong one? We need this one, right? Oh, we need the, the nether, right? Uh, how are we going to automate that? She got the unhappy, uh, oh, the whip, the whip tail there. Yeah, because she wants to sleep, but keep bothering her. Um, so, <sighs> netherite is not easy. <laughs> Cats are six and seven years old. Netherite's not easy. Is that the only way to crush another rack? Okay, that's also a problem. That needs to be fixed. I didn't realize that that was the only way. So there's no... So wait, Xna Hilo has thermal compatibility, right? I feel like Xna Hilo should add in that. On behalf of thermal, right? Or I guess thermal could also do it. Maybe they can ask King Lemming if he would be willing to add that in, if we made the recipes for it. If I made some JSONs, would you add X Nahilo compat to your to thermal expansion? What would we need to add though? Because this is something that thermal would need to add. Oh, get these out of here. Oh. That that was bad. All right, get rid of these. We would need to add what what in X Nihilo needs to be like crushed up. So this. That. Hey Sarah, what's up? How's it going? This all of these do, right? Is this us, or is... I think this is something that we did. So it'd be all of these plus the dust JSON, right? That thermal would have to add. Okay. Let's let's make this be a thing. So this is just... This is not that bad. Um, okay. Uh, and stone, andesite, diorite, all this wonderful stuff. Sky is up. My loud neighbors with very loud, heavy feet are up, too. How am I? I'm good. We're going to see if we can, um... Uh, these are pulverizer recipes... Hold on a second. Uh, granite, diorite, and a site. What is this song? Dust. Oh, uh, sand into dust, right? This one might be a little bit weirder, but... Because I think he has a different recipe, doesn't he? All of these blocks have crushed... 
versions. What kind of tents are in this mod pack? Like the tent that you sleep in when you go camping? And how many? There's at least 17 tents. Uh, PDT inventory? I'll do this one manually. I usually ask Mutter if he can, uh, lend a hand, but this is probably fine just for us to do. I don't need that one. All right, let's make some JSONs. This would be, uh, Global Data Pack, Sky Factory 1. Can he do it? I mean, I'll give it to you. Di okay, hold on. I need to figure out, uh... All right, hold on, Mutter. I guess while you're, we can, I guess, work independently, right? Hold on a second. You know how to set up CCI? Um, There's an in-game. Are you using the in-game one? Or are you using the, the file? Oh, the in-game one. Okay. So basically, uh, what would be the most helpful thing? giving you one to look at maybe maybe giving you one to kind of like reference okay hold your hold on just a second let me get mutter set up with this and then i'll i'll give you like i got like a file that might be like a good like reference you, you'll have oh my phone died you'll have to like obviously change information oh the cactus got unplugged too hold on one second <laughs> Sorry, the cat just got unplugged. <laughs> I moved the cat bed away from the wall, and she's like, Mer! Mer! every time I like hit light, like lightly tap it. Oh, she cares. You just can't hear her. All right, uh, I'll get you set up with some CCI examples. We do two things first, though. I'm good on Synthwave for the day. I've been listening to Synthwave for like all day. What do we, what do we got here? Let's get some, uh, let's get some a bit more upbeat. There you go. I want some chiptune stuff. Sure. Okay. We need to do, did we put these into the thermal folders? Yes. Okay. I need to edit this for Mutter, though. It won't be exactly like this, right? This is... I think we use this exactly like... Okay, this is the result. This only needs to have one result, right? experience so this will be the input it needs to be item on both modded tnt actually thermal does uh have modded tnt actually one's like a lightning version one's like a fire version one's uh what else there's some interesting tnt they added like a whole bunch was there in sky there wasn't in sky Factory one no We need to check to see what recipes for granted there are. What's what is that list? Why are there dupes? Oh, why are there dupes? Wait, why did it what is that? Yeah, what is that list? Why is the other record there twice? What? Dude, Anna Managuchi got added to Pretzel not that long ago. It's like a, it's like last week, I think. 
What is that list? Hold on, let me edit this list. That list got all messed up. There. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's weird. Is there nuclear energy? There's not, no. All right, that's the updated list. Let's just go uh, top, top is the result. Bottom is the uh, input. Although, actually, Mutter, don't do sand and dust. I already did those. Those ones are good. Let me fix that for you. I already have a recipe for this. That one's also going to be a little bit more complicated. Anyways, that one's like this. Does, uh, dude, this is a good tune. Okay, what does granite do? Do any of these have pulverized recipes? That one does that. Oh, okay. The issue is going to... So the issue here is going to override that, right? Where's my bunny outfit? Uh, do, Am I supposed to be... What? Well, I don't... Nobody sent me one. I was told I had a hot dog outfit coming in the mail. Why am I wearing this human suit? Do they do live shows? No. Oh. Donnie Darko tonight. I haven't seen that movie in like Many years. So Endstone does not. Netherrack does not, right? But Andesite, Diorite, and Granite all do. I didn't know they did live shows. That's awesome. I kind of want to go see them now. I wonder if they're going to be in Seattle. We'll have to override here. This might be something that, um, this might be something that the ex Nihilo devs have to do. Is there another egg block that smokes? I think there's a smoking block, right? Oh, let me get you an update. Uh, give me an example file, by the way. We used, uh, we used CCI in, um, crack pack, didn't we? Although I think I, I think I didn't ship it with CCI's customization, did I? I have, I have like a, an old one in here somewhere. Hold on. I had an old version of CCI. I had an old version of Crack Pack 3, and in that there was... There is no Thumbcraft. Nope. This one's Crack Pack 3 CCI. Now, where does it save that file information and config, right? Yep, here it is. All right, hold on one second. Let me see what's... I don't know what's in this file, so hold on a second. Have I gotten the gaudy prom suit? No, I haven't seen that one, actually. I've been seeing a lot of other random stuff. I finally got my sushi outfit. Hold on one second. Let me see. What is this? Okay, okay, okay. All right. Do you want me to show you how to go through this? Do you know how to get the... Okay, hold on a second. Let me see what's in this file. Or do you want me to just give you the file? What's the best way? Okay, here's what you need to do. And just so you're aware, there's a link up here that should walk you through the process as well. But basically, in the content creator integration .cfg file... I'll give you the file too. 
But you got to put in, obviously, your streamer name. Don't worry about any of this stuff. This is your socket API token for, uh, I, oh, do you use Streamlabs? I'm not sure what you use. I'm not sure what service you use, but um, you would need your socket API token. It would be Streamlabs token, this one right here. Socket API tokens for Streamlabs. And then it tells you how to get it. In Streamlabs, you go, it's like dashboard settings, API settings, API tokens, and your socket API token. Don't show that to anybody, by the way. Um, and then Twitch chats. This is what channel you want to listen to. This one right here. That's how you set up the file to connect to your chat. So that's how it connects to your chat. That's that's the part where the, that now it's making a connection. And then, then you're ready to actually have rewards. So here is this file. I mean, honestly, the, uh, my bad. Honestly, the, um, uh, setup is all described anyways. So if you get off track, you can read through the documents here. Uh, all right. What else do we have? Then we have we got here then we have the actual rewards now one second where do the rewards go is that in that same folder again i don't remember what any of this stuff has in it so give me a second to confirm is it just the config file It also tells you how to set up with channel points. It shows it walks you through the process of how to like enable it with certain channel points and it'll listen for th certain things or whatnot. Stream element stream labs. That file has to be the file that it just gave you. That's a CFG file. Dot CFG. It's um, you don't have to you don't have to make a new file. Uh, here I'll show you. When you go into the config folder, in configs content creator integration. There's a content creator integration.cfg file. That's the file I just gave you in that pastebin. You don't have to make anything new. Just that's what mine is, so you can reference it. Just go into this file and add the entries for your own personal file or your own personal stream and then save it. Um, and then we have where is the actual redemptions though? Like where are those at? Oh, it does tumble files now. That's fine. This is just a, a different type of file. That's fine. Just go into that file. I would imagine that file is still there. It's called content creator integration dot tumble. Is this Tiasco? Is it good to Yeah, yeah, d yeah. It's a, it's just a different file extension. It's this. It's it's the same. Just just save within that file. You don't need to change any file uh, extensions. Um, where is the uh? Where's the CCI redemptions though? Because we have it in this pack. Or in that folder. It's in the default folder. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. This is it. This file is safe, I believe, right? Yep. So this is going to be a bit more confusing than if you use the in-game version. But basically all the files are, are, are as such, right? So you have your name for the reward and your conditions. The condition is like, what needs to happen... Um, 
the amounts, whether it's a sub, a tip, and all those things. You set the conditions, and then you have the outcomes after that. And then you set to spawn something in. You want to give an effect and all that kind of stuff. It should have a big drop down menu to kind of set those up. Um, or the walkthrough on the document should give you a bunch of ideas. I was using a to do list. Oh, it's probably using GitHub projects. So the documents and then the drop down menu should have a lot of examples, and you just fill in how much or what kind of sub and all that kind of stuff. And honestly, it's very, very powerful uh, once you get the hang of it. It's just the learning curve is a little bit higher, but it's very, very powerful because it can be any of the things. You can make it be, like I said earlier, tips, bits, subs, channel points. This is what he saw. This is this GitHub project. So if you have a GitHub repo, you'll have projects and you can create a project and it's basically a Trello board within GitHub. But the, the bonus to this is you can actually reference, you can actually reference um, issues from mods. So like this one actually has uh, an issue from within GitHub and it actually will show uh, whether that issue is still open and things like that. Yeah, GitHub projects is great for that. The integration between GitHub is, uh, is the biggest positive of that. Uh, I can give you this file. It won't work necessarily, uh, for you. It might work, but I'll give it to you anyways. Um, this also requires some mods that you probably don't have. <laughs> By the way, for this CCI, streamlabs.json file, I'll give this to you, though. And you can kind of peruse through it. The problem, the only problem that's going to happen is if it tries to run an event, for example, with like, this is a chance cube. So it requires to have chance cubes installed and biomes of plenty. And any time that you see... Like, oh, they're like the rats mod. Like, this is an effect the rats mod gives. Right? So, like... But it's still set up. So, like, 2,500 to 49.99 bits. It will say a chat message. Hey, Dark Ghost, oh, whoever in chat just cheered this amount. And then it'll run... It'll run whatever we set here. So this will summon a bat, essentially, with effects on it. And this will do, like, a wizardry uh, sound. Because it can run a sound as well. That might be helpful, hopefully. But if you get really annoyed because you don't want to do it, <laughs> then you can use crowd control. Okay, why do you have the pulverizer thing? Uh, get rid of this. This. Don't save that. Get rid of that. And this. Okay. Remove all the stuff you don't you don't have. Basically, yeah, basically. Or you know, if you wanted to check check it out, you can download the Crack Pack Three, uh, mod pack, and then just like load it into there and just see and kind of play with it. You know. But I don't know. I was I like the con the configurability of like CCI is, is 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 much 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 nicer once you get the hang of it. What's up, Shaz of Fire? How are you? Uh, we go to the global data pack, Sky Factory One data. Can we put this? I guess we'll put this in our own recipes. Thermal. Pulverizer. Is that how you spell pulverizer? Pulverizer. Yeah. Thank you, Mutter. So there's a difference between Visual Studio Code and Sublime. Uh, uh, preferences and certain plugins. Depends on what you're talking about specifically, though. Like, what kind of project? If it's for making a mod pack, like what I'm doing, it's a preference thing, personally. You had a pulverizer folder in recipes. Did I? 
Oh, we should move that to organize this better. So many things you learn about streaming setups. Yeah, but you're like, but you do odd, but you do video though, isn't that? That's your like your thing. I'd be so I would like I I would kill to have the knowledge that you have. I'm always I'm also always down to like help people out. So if you ever have any questions, Drew, you feel free to ask. I mean, I don't know very much, but I always like to at least share my experience. Um. So. The only thing we need to do in these is add a conditional on the software side. That's one of those things where when you get into it, there's just so much that it's hard to, to know which, which software for broadcasting to go with necessarily or what integrations or plugins and things like that. Oh, no worries, Gluttonous. Hopefully you can get something set up. Um, what we need to add in here, though, is a conditional. You also have a good set of people. Some of the Minecraft folks are all, I've been doing it long enough that they can probably give lots of good advice too, right? This one says min 500. Yeah, that means minimum 500. So 500 and above. So what you want to probably do is set a min and a max. So if like, let's say you want something to happen only at 488 bits. You set the min to 488, set the max to 488. So that way it'll happen at that number. Um, if you were to set min at 4888, but not a max, it'll happen at 488 and above no matter what, right? So you got to set your mins and maxes and all that. Uh, oh yeah, the file, yeah, the file names is, yeah, we didn't really, that's fine for here. I still need to do a conditional on these, don't I? Which I need to figure out where that would go. We have conditionals, don't we, at some point, somewhere? Oh, right, but what's the mod conditional? Where do we use that? We, has, we use it in somewhere, I know. I think it's forge tags workbenches. Oh, that's different though. Uh, we might have an uh, example mod though, right? That's crack pack three. We don't need that one. <laughs> this is the right one. Did you miss? Yeah, I think I think I might have uh, caught you up, Glennis. Let me know if you missed anything else. Who has uh, a bunch of conditional recipes? Thermal expansion does, right? Nice to find. Yeah, here we go. Conditions. Forge mod loaded create. There it is. Okay. Easy enough. I'm only adding these now because I'm going to send these over to King Lemming. Can that go there? And it needs to be, um, what's the mod ID? Is it X to high, low, a sequential? Here it is right there. Yep. Okay. That one's good. Same with that one. Oh, we never did experience for this one, did we? Are they conditioned? Because I'm sending it to King Lemming. So that he 
can use it and put it into thermal. And uh, so when you do that, if he puts it into thermal, then it will load up conditionally if the mod is uh, affects the high is loaded. So I'm giving I'm, I'm I'm creating JSONs for thermal so that if he wants to use them, so other people can get the recipes. <laughs> Let me uh, double check though, cause uh... why do you get XP from pulverizer? Because that's how the mod does it. Not for everything, but you do you do get pulverizer XP actually. So like for example, here, that's that's actually a common thing. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, either mod could add it, X to Hilo could add it, the conditional would go back to thermal, thermal can add it. Honestly, um, either one, they could both add it. Thermal already, if you notice here, thermal already goes out of its way to, oh, my bad. Uh, hold on a second. Where'd it go? I'll run file. I lost it. There we go. If you look here in thermals recipes, you have uh, recipes here. This is the compatibility folder. So they actually have at least planned or set up to support recipes from all of these mods. So they're already doing it. Mm -mm. Uh, recipes, thermal. Uh, the only thing we need to worry about is, uh, I want to confirm though. What is the recipe for crushing gra uh, cobblestone into gravel though? What do they use? What do they use now for the XP amount? Cause he's going to want to, he's going to probably want that to be as close to the, uh, the norm as possible. Cause that thermal expansion, right? Right there. Yeah. Data, thermal, recipes. He might just also change it to machine pulverizer. Pulverizer, cobblestone, right? Yeah. So if he's giving 0.1 experience for those, he might just do the same thing to make it consistent with what he's already doing. Okay. He's also probably not going to want all of those either. All right, let me send these over to King Lemming, and if he wants to use them, cool. If not, whatever. We'll at least have it set up for our pack. Okay, now to see if these actually worked. Reload. I got a thousand FPS. Did you see that? I got a thousand and twenty FPS over here. All right, how do you make this? In the pulverizer. How do you make this? Also the pulverizer. Now here's the real question. We're overriding, aren't we? So we're gonna actually what are we gonna get? What will we get? Oh, we should remove all these creative items, too. What's up, Damien? How's it going? Uh, I need a creative battery. Is this going to do what I hope it does? Yes. Good. Good. This should still work. I guess that means we should also set these up in any other machine that has a similar a similar style of processing. Okay, so that's set up there. What else grinds? 
For Sky Blast, they use Hammer and Crush Cabal in early game. Yep, and we have that. Do you know how the mad sounds come from? Will it crash? I don't know if it's necessarily going to crash. It just might give you an error and not play something. It just might not do it. For sounds, though, just FYI, if you're looking for sounds, if you do, uh, let me see if I remember, play sound. Uh, yeah, you can see this. All right, so there's a wonderful thing. I don't, I don't know what you know, so if I say something that you already know, just let me know. But um, in-game, if you type in slash play sound, you can use tab autocomplete, right? And then you go to here. These should be all of the sounds in the game. And then you, uh, so that's the name of the sound. That's the idea of the sound, right? And then you want to play, these are all the ways to play it. So you can say ambient, uh, at you, and then it plays it at you, which is probably what you want to do. Like, if you want to have a sound being played at, at your, you as the player, um, you can set it to also just play for everybody if you really wanted to, but at you. Uh, but that's how you get the ID for the sound. So I think the sound that you have is like um, like the wizardry. It's like wizardry or something like that, right? So this way you can just see all of the sounds. This is all the IDs. And then ambient at your name. Not everything is not everything is a great sound, but you can probably do that to, to kind of go and, and find something unique. In one sixteen, in one six four X the high low, yeah, but X the high low and one sixteen five isn't built off of the original X the high low. It's built off of the one ten version of X the high low. Uh, let's see what else they have. Oh yeah, that one's kind of fast and low, so you can't really hear it. But yeah, that's a good way to find all of the. All of the different sounds in the game kind of thing. It might be helpful. It's a good feature. Yeah, but the problem is, though, that entire system of how it used to convert witch water with mycelium is completely different. It doesn't require blocks around it. It's not a range. It's directly under it. The system is the system has been changed. Whether it's a good system or doesn't doesn't matter. It's this doesn't none of these blocks matter except the one directly below it. That was changed, which I I don't necessarily agree with that change, but because you can't speed it up. But um, hey, Argus, what's up? Uh, but yeah, uh, tab auto complete is really good. You can also do for effect, like for example, there's some of those potion effects, right? If you do slash effect give, and then your player name, and then these are all, these are all of the effects in the game. Magnet, absorption, bad omen, bleeding, night vision. So do you night vision. If you do that, it'll be quick though. So then you can set uh, after that. It's the seconds, so three hundred seconds, and then the amplifier. So like if it's a it's a strength one or strength two potion or strength ten. And then whether you're not you want to hide or we want to show or hide the particles. So if I don't want to see these particles in front of me, you, you do false. And and mind you, all this stuff it shows you the little it gives you the little information about um whether or not or what's what information it needs. If I did this, but now I hit the particles, so it should get yeah, it gets rid of them. How do you automate soul sand and extra high if you don't have any item transfer mods? You 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 probably don't. Minecraft versions is 116.5. Uh, let's see here. So that's effect. That's how you figure out all the effects and the IDs. Uh, it's spawning in items or whatnot, or if you want to summon something, it's summon, and then that's what this is the list of the 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 things you can see. There's like an eye, which probably doesn't show anything. Let's see. Or you can just do cow, for example. Minecraft. Summon Minecraft cow. And you get a cow. But again, though, all of these are, like, tab autocomplete. So you can just, like, go in, do slash summon, and then you can scroll down the list. And these are everything that you can summon in the game. Uh, not everything is a valid thing that you can spawn. Some of these are just, like, mod 
specific entities that require you to actually use the mod. But like bats, bees. And that would get you through that file probably pretty well because that most of those are you're going to be a summon. They're going to be uh, uh, an effect or a sound, right? So that, that might get you um, pretty far along. And the game, like I said, t tells you most of your information. What else uh, grinds, by the way? Though the grinder. We might want to, we might want to do that too. The grinder recipes. You can make dust in the grinder, right? Oh, you can't. Ooh. Okay. Monitor, I have another request. To Kitty, you're taking up my mouse pen. I can't move my mouse. You're on my mouse pen. Thank you. This one's pretty simple. Uh oh, this one also would need sand to dust though, I think. We actually we have a thing for sand in here. Doesn't it have a doesn't plane grinder have a recipe for sand? Maybe not. Oh, I don't think it does. No. Okay. But it does need sand and dust. Uh, right here. PDT hot bar. Okay. All right. Whatever mutters around and able to see that all right so that should add it to the pulverizers now we can automate it via machine there is no seg mill unfortunately i think it's the only grinders that we really have is the manual grinder and then the actual the thermal grinder because sky fat or uh x the high low all right what is the mod name ender io it's not out yet and if it will be out i have no idea Right, kitty cat? You're, once again, you're on my mouse pad. Once again, you are literally leaning onto my mouse. Look at all this. Is this your cat hair? Is that yours? Is this your cat hair? I don't want your cat hairs. Keep your cat hairs on you. <laughs> oh, it crashed. Chat, we crashed. I need to get up. I haven't drank any water today. I just realized. I need to go use some. I need to go use some water and get some bathroom. Hey, Grenzen, happy Easter. I'll be right back, chat. Uh, I'll be right back. I need to get some uh, water and use the bathroom. So you, which look at this cat right here. Here, look at this cat. You gonna use the mouse? There you go. She's using the mouse. I'll be back.
Did I wake you up? Oh, I'm sorry. Go back to sleep. <laughs> you still have the mouse? Can I have the mouse back? Thank you. Hey, Arsky, thanks for the 100 bits. Proof that cats are trying to hack computers to solidify their rule over Earth. <laughs> Thank you. For the 100 bits. You trying to take over everything? You trying to take over the stream? You trying to take over the planet? Wow. Nice. Oh, that was fast. All right, so here's the grinder recipes. Show and folder. Awesome. All right. So these can get thrown in. Where's the folder that we had all this stuff in? Mods right there, right? Yep. Just let the cats do it. Honestly, you guys do all the work. I'll just go take a nap. Let me know if you need something. Okay, there's one. Uh, let's see here. This is going to go in plain grinder. Should we set this up in our own name folder? I feel like we should. I think I am simply to keep these separate from the mod's own overwrite files here. All right, there we go. But both cat cam channel point option. Oh, right. Yeah. You know what? Here, let's do that right now. Actually, I just forgot to do that. Here, let's, let's set that up really fast. I have to delete one because I think we're at the uh, the max. Uh, we can get rid of this right here. Actually, hold on. Before I do that, let's change the information of that one. What is the ID for that one? I don't think anybody knows. It's a rhetorical question. Uh, let's see here. Client app integrations. Risk of rain events. That one is spawn a wisp. Is that right? Spawn a wisp. Or you just do this too. Okay, I just need the ID of that. Let's see here. Twitch.tv slash Tarkosto. All right, where's the uh, channel points, spawn wisp? All right, give me that ID. All right. That ID is, uh, is that 4D4E, I think? Okay. Yep, that's the one. Okay, cool. All right, so we need to now is go backwards to integrations. We get an OBS events. Why these don't show up as JSON automatically is beyond me. The easiest way is to set up a second condition, I think, right? Or we should set up, should we set up, oh, man. I can do it where I combine them or I can just add an existing channel point redemption. Can these have, these could have multiple channel point redemptions, right? This is cat cam. Oh, this is, this is Mika, Mika cam. And this is kitten cam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we do this. Right? You drop this in here. All right. And then I got to change all this stuff. Hey, enjoy your band horse key. All right, put that there. Oh, it's going to rain, Chad. Put that there. And that should be a valid JSON. Okay. So now, if you run that... Whatever it says, spawn a wisp. Oh yeah, that works there. I see that now. I need to rename it. The bands—they're like ten minutes. It's only ten minutes. Okay, now I gotta rename all this stuff here. Uh, both cats. See both cat cams. So what do we do normally? It's eight hundred. 1600 Did you get a discount? Two-for-one deal, chat? 
fifteen ninety nine. There's your discount. You get a discount because you did two. Oh, let me let me get a good picture. Your your little paws in my way. I can't. Oof. Your tiny little cat paws in my mouse pad area. All right, hold on. Oh, here we go. Okay. I gotta find an emote for this or a picture. Um, you know what? Let's use that one. Wonderful. <laughs> That's the best emo. It should just be that. Cat is saying it should be cheaper. Is that what you're saying? How much cheaper? Yes, she told me she wants it to be cheaper. You're right. Let me make it cheaper because she asked. Fifteen fifty. <laughs> we used Darko Dog for the other ones already. We have we already had that twice. So I was trying to use one that's a little bit a little bit different. That's like really bright. Look how bright that is. Jesus. Uh, you don't need to enter text. Skip reward, request queue. All right, save. There you go. There is your both cat cams at once. There's your two for one deal. Oh. How's the game? How's the game holding up? Drag a dog with a top hat. I don't have one with a top hat, though. <laughs> I don't have a random top hat to throw on. It's kind of too much. What time is it? 3.50? Oh, God. It's really late. All right. We were automating stuff for the pulverizer. Oh, the uh, netherrack. So the only way to get netherrack. Hey, dark fan, how are you? You are around. Oh, we make it this way. Oh, that way too. This is like the way. We do need more storage disks though too, yeah. Hey, Protodroid, how's it going? We need more disks, but we also need to automate uh, redstone into netherrack. I'm trying to think how we can do this. Get some Uber Dad duties. Hopefully everything is, uh, we get some time to relax, you know? We wonderful. Do we want to do... What are you doing up here, by the way? Do we want to do this? How do we want to do this? This can go away also. We don't need that. It might be wise to move the production of lava to somewhere else, like another dimension, and then send it back. didn't turn off the Mika cam? What do you mean? Oh, you mean when they usually, somebody runs it twice? I disabled that. On the beginning of the, uh, when you run it, 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 it turns it on. And when you, uh, when it, the timer's over, it turns it off instead of toggling it. Yeah, I changed this. So that's, uh, I was, I had my fun with that. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the nether. We're going to set up, uh, we're going to set up this. Yeah, so the way it works is really, really simply put. Um, channel points when run has a unique ID. And so we have a program that's listening for that, for channel point IDs, uh, subs, tips, any event essentially in Twitch and Streamlabs. So when you run it, I have a program that listens for that and then sends to OBS what it needs to do. It's a custom built application that we use in the stream. Uh, oh, right. So you probably don't. Okay, this is a. I'm actually trying to trying to talk to Good about this, but um, it's hard, it's tough to get uh, it's just tough to get him to check it out. But um, so this is also, by the way, I want would like to see if we could do something for the marathon. So we could do with channel points. We can change OBS, but for the last year minus the last month and a half because we've been working on this uh we also do integration with games so most games that you can mod or even not even that uh but just like games and it, it, it can be key bindings or anything but a lot of let's say modded modded games so like let's, let's see uh where's uh let me find this folder 
Okay. This is the list of games that we have currently. Seven Days to Die, Barrow Trauma, Craftopia, Human Fall Flat, Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. Uh, native Integrations is... Uh, I don't know if you saw the screen flip upside down for 300 bits. That's a native integration. So that's like doing something that Windows can do or a key binding type thing or flipping my mouse, my mouse buttons back and forth. Uh, OBS is the ones that can turn scenes on and move things around and whatnot. Um, I can make it so that chat can actually change my entire scene. So like in chat, if I put, um, uh, what the heck was it? Was it big chat? What's the, is it scene? What is it? Big cam or something like that? Well, let me see. What's it called? Where's the big, uh, scene full here it is okay so uh at the moment there's moderators moderators are set up to do this i could set it to, i could make it so a sub could do this but if i type this in the chat so so that is reading i was also reading chat messages too so i can set that up to be anything but it reads chat messages um to to change my obs so you so i could give chat the full control over the stream um But we have that. So we have OBS. Overcooked 2, Raft, RimWorld, Risk of Rain, Satisfactory, uh, Screen Flipper uh, as, a, as a different version of the screen flipping. Uh, Shipbreaker, Slime Rancher, Stardew Valley, Terraria, and Totally Reliable Delivery Service. So in all of these games, we can currently have any event do stuff in the game. So the funniest one... So, like, keep talking and nobody explodes. This is a really fun one. So, it was really, really basic. So, the game is essentially somebody's reading you instructions on how to defuse a bomb. And you had to sit there and, like, do all the modules. But chat could... Chat could... There's a little alarm clock on the, uh, on the desk. And chat could make that alarm clock go off with 500 bits or a sub. And then every time it goes off, you have to push the button to stop the alarm. Uh, the other one was, oh, check and turn the lights off in the room and you have to keep turning it back on like stuff like that. But other games, you can spawn in stuff. You can spawn in, um, you know, like in seven days to die, you can spawn in one of those, um, uh, supply crates or you can spawn in zombies and they got people's names above their heads. So you know, who's, who, who sub or who stuff did it. Uh, yeah, we also have lights too. Uh, so I was, I want, I would love to be able to use it for the marathon because it, one of the biggest things about the marathon is being able to have incentives for people to like go play on a server or they can put their money towards being in a drawing or something like that. Right. You can get like a, a blanket or whatever it is that's being given away. So these actually would give people direct control over affecting the game, which when there's like a hour two hour segment and like people want to play keep talking and nobody explodes then chat could screw with people who are playing it uh you know for the for the the marathon and it's basically anything that can be um anything that can be modded but even if it can't be modded we can do key bindings so like if a game can't be modded but you can throw something by hitting q Actually, is Blargris here? Let's see if Blargris is here. I think Blargris might be the only one. Are you around? I don't think Funway is set up with it right now. Uh, actually, I can set Funway up. Here, Funway in, a, in in like two seconds. Here, let's let's show. Uh, let's see here. This is really simple. This is how easy it is to set up. Well, the setup in terms of like the mod and the application and all that, it's a little bit tough, but once it's set up, this is how, I didn't know you were here, Jnaswix. Oh, your Blagris is already around. I'll give it to Funway. Funway will, Funway will enjoy this. He'll screw with me. If you throw something off the edge, though, I will, I will destroy you. Um, <laughs> uh, Oh, it's Q though. Oh, I have to have installed. You can, can you throw my item? 
You've been here this whole time? Well, everybody's always quiet. I don't go through the viewer list. Can you throw my... Oh, see, there you go. There you go. Here, do it again, Blurgers. <laughs> I was going to give this power to Funway Guy, but I don't know if I can trust Funway Guy because it's evil and he might throw my tools off the edge. So, yeah. That would be a lot of fun during a marathon, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, the jump. So, so right now, Bloggerist can completely... Well, Bloggerist can control my game. Because we have an AFK... Uh, we, so we have a module for the, um, for Minecraft or for, for games in general that you can actually let chat control everything. And so like, here, we'll do this. There you go. So there's a whole bunch of, uh, uh, commands that we've been working with that, uh, if I could just leave the stream and if I turn it on so that everybody could do it, then chat could basically control my player. Um, and then you can, like, open the inventory up, too. Am I the one who made Sky 54? Yeah. So, Blargus open the inventory up. But there's always a delay, so it's kind of weird. So, 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 you could play the game completely without me. Just leave. You just leave. <laughs> just leave and you just do it. Um... But yeah, I, should, I want to talk to Good about it because it'd be a lot of fun. Plus, we want to check it out. Um, we've been, I've been interested to see the application work on a bit larger scale. Alt F4. <laughs> can pan as well. It's cool though, right? So it's, it's crazy, crazy stuff. All kinds of crazy stuff. OBS, games, you name it. You could probably do it. Also, walk me off the edge if you wanted to. It's a bit weird when it goes so slow. Although, I think... Am I going to make a Sky Vendor 5? Someday. Blargus, I'm not going to let you walk me off the edge. Can you please not walk me... Okay, listen. <laughs> I don't want to walk off the edge. Minecraft is better. Minecraft like this is better with a controller because this is the biggest thing. When you do this, you have to move the mouse. Where a controller will lock it to the slots, and you can just move slots over. Whereas this is a bit weird. So, um, games with controllers and locking into slots are a lot easier to work with. But uh, I could set it up so that that chat could completely just just play, just do whatever they want. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> There's my backpack. There's a mod for playing Minecraft with a controller? Yeah, no, we already have it set up with that mod. Actually, I'll show you. Hold on a second. Uh, hold on. The backpack looks sus. We have an instance for AFKing set up. It's uh, down here, isn't it? This one? I can't remember what else we have to turn on. I think nothing else, right? I just have to just enable... Because this has a special mod for AFKing and a controller. But that should automatically... Everything should load up. So you can in certain cases. So uh, what we could do is... Because any uh, most sounds spawning... All of the things in Minecraft can be can be uh, uh, ran for everybody or for certain people. So, like, if we played in a server, uh, let's say we set up a a, a sub server, uh, and and uh, chat was subbing, and every time somebody subbed, it would throw you up in the air. We can make it so everybody can get thrown up in the air. So it's so it depends on the game. And it depends on how the mod is set up, but it could affect everybody or it could affect just you. I think this is set up with a controller. I gotta remember how this is set up. We need what do we need to do with this one, Blargus? 
I should just start, right? I should just start up with the controller support. What's up, Harvester? So our latest, the latest uh, venture that we've been checking out is the AFK thing. Oh, there you go. Because I wanted to set up an AFK channel that runs after stream. And then people could just play and have fun. Like Twitch plays Pokemon, but this is able to be ran on mo more games. But the most funniest idea we've had, in my opinion, was when we when I when we realized that um so I could play any co-op game. So if I'm playing Sea of Thieves, I can load up on another computer an AFK account. So I could play Sea of Thieves co-op with chat. And then chat can like steer the boat or something. Uh or just cause mayhem. So like imagine playing a puzzle game with chat controlling the, the your co-op person. It sounds hor it sounds so sounds crazy. It sounds so <laughs> bad. <laughs> it sounds like a good time. But yeah, we can do it for chat messages, channel points, or you can do it for subs, donation, anything that throws an event. So like if it was like an extra life thing, I assume extra life uh tips or donations all trigger uh have an event, right? So like so if that event is happens, then we can just grab that and uh, play it in game. An offline dungeon crawler game where the chat controls it. Right. So, so anything that basically has the ability to be played, uh, easier the better, controller the better. Actually, any any game, honestly. But the thing that makes it easier, in my opinion, is the easier the controls, the better. That's why we had to install this for uh, this controller mod. Which is a lot of fun. Hey, imaginary friend Jack. Thank you for that raid, dude. How's it going? How's your stream today? This blogger is to open up the uh I don't know why the panning isn't working. Do you open up the inventory? So you can see how much easier the inventory movement is. With the controller. You also have to turn on things like auto jump in Minecraft because you can get stuck underwater really fast. What even button is the inventory with the controller? Um, uh, I don't know. I don't have a controller on me. <laughs> is it Y? A, B? It may be Y. It's the top one, right? Apparently, it's not any of those. There's some other overlays you probably can't see. There's a control overlay. It might it might be that um I haven't loaded up the correct event list because I don't think my event lists are merged. So I think it's the old AFK stuff but not the 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 uh the actual latest. So I think the event files are in there separately but not completely merged. I need to, I need to merge them up so we can actually do that, but I didn't want to turn it on so chat could constantly control my game. When I'm actually trying to play the game. Uh, let me do this real fast. I'll merge them up. Uh... Let's see. This is the one we're on now. Hey, Bang Games. What's up? How's it going? What is the latest? I, it's, I believe it's AFK. Events AFK. I think that's what it is, right? How goes the dev? It's good. We made a few. Uh, I'm I'm glad we were play testing because I ended up finding a uh, a, a uh, automation issue where you could only do something by hand. So play testing has been some good stuff. We're also having fun with the uh, this integration thing here. I think it's this one. So let's do this. Yeah, I did not think there's no machine to do it. Okay, this might work now if it loads it in. This might be the one. 
I have to get the other computer set up, though, so I can have the AFK stuff going. Maybe. Is that not the right one? Is it need a, do I need to restart it? Well, it's locked onto the screen. I can't remember. Do we need to restart when we change the event file? Or maybe we just need to actually go in and, like, um, update everything. Or at least have a way to select the events, right? <laughs> Bombcat cam goes out of the yellow frame. Does it? Oh, they both do that. I th well, they're, I think they both are supposed to do that. One might be a little more visible than the other. That's because the, uh, the frames are slightly inside of the, uh, the image on purpose. You mean to bring it in a little closer to the, the middle? My cam does that, too. Yeah, it looks like it's not working for that one, Largus, which is fine. It's just to show you cams and streams. Does that mean you can write them off? Is there vet bills as expense? Is that how that works? Yeah, I'll have to look into it later for why the events aren't working. But uh, anyways. Anyways. That is, uh, that is some of the stuff that we can do. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy the integration stuff. It makes it a little bit more unique. Yeah, so what it's all all it's doing is it's the same as me going into OBS in the source list and just clicking on show and hide. It's, it's basically just doing that. Use a negative number on the crop to fix that. No, 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 no. Oh, no, I did that on purpose. Are you talking about the the outline being slightly inside? No, I did that on purpose though. Because Bane Games really loves it. <laughs> so, yeah, it's the same as me just going uh, hide. Just that. Chat can change the whole scene, though. I can uh, check and mute my mic or mute a sound source, unmute a sound source. You can actually move to an entire scene. You can uh, turn sources on within scenes. Um, yeah, so my, this scene has my alerts. Did you mute me? Oh, maybe you muted me. I don't, I don't I didn't catch it. Um, so yeah, I have I have a bunch of actually in my playing game scene. If you go back to that one. I'm oh, meeting okay, meeting work good. A mute would drive you nuts. You know, chat would just do it during your joke, right? Why well, doesn't know the name of it, do you? It's scene game, I think, isn't it? You better put it back! What's up, BeefQL? There you go. Uh, in this scene, I have... The alerts. The bongo cat. My camera. The advertisement slideshow. Each cat has a camera. The game capture. The wallpaper in the back. And... Cruise control with a tr hype train thing. So there's like 10, 10 sources in this scene. Did you see, uh, by the way, that that um, OBS is implementing in their next their next uh, update? Transitions for individual sources. Bring back Ash. She went to she went to hide out in the bedroom. I think she was she wasn't feeling well. She knew the joke was coming in. I actually do, yeah, so I use, uh, my camera is actually a scene that I reference. Yeah, so my camera is actually a, a scene itself. Uh, for me, so like for when I'm in this scene right here, this is just the camera unfiltered, basically. I didn't want to have a, I don't want to have a border around it. 
But for here, I don't need to be so wide. There's no reason for me to be that wide, right? But I wanted a border. So the real way to do this with stream effects, uh, which is an OBS plugin, is to have two scenes. So one scene is called full cam, no effects. And there's another one that's full cam with effects. And then I just set that up. So now when I want to have this, this with the border in a scene, I just add a source that is this scene. And when I want to have no camera uh, border, I just add a source that is that other scene. That way I can have the camera dynamically change horizontally, but also add that, that border just to make it look a little bit, a little bit nicer, I suppose. Why is this crashing all of a sudden? Yeah, transitions for sources. So, you know, like when you go to, uh, well, this, that little animation or fading in and out or this one here. Oh yeah, that one doesn't really work. Anyways, uh, so all those, all those transitions, you could then have source fade in, slide in and out, all those things. Yeah. Why is it crashing suddenly out of nowhere? What do we do? What did I do? Did I break it? Is my game broken? Uh-oh. I tried to launch it four times now. So yeah, there's a plug. Actually, you know, it's funny is that uh, XSplit, this is one of those things where XSplit has it by default. Also, this border on the camera is also a default XSplit feature. Yeah, I so I, I I do I also prefer a mixer so I can just turn things without having to do something in a program. Like I, I very much so like having a physical mixer to change volumes. It's for me it's a lot faster to just to do that than it is in uh whatever game or whatever it is I'm using. Hey glitchy rose. I would much rather have that so I can do so I can do this. And music's the same thing. I can just sit here and especially when there's some songs that are just a bit louder. Mixers are too advanced. Listen, all you gotta do is you just gotta go up and down. That's it. Don't forget to turn it on when you need it. If you can get the up and down part, you got the whole thing covered. That's what I that's what I use BFQ on. That's how I have my my transitions, the way they animate from one to the other. That's uh I'm using move, which allows you to do Yeah, you see how it it goes from this scene and I kind of animate into this spot. I lost you. A lot of the mixers that you need are going to be either too many inputs outputs or not enough, yeah. <laughs> It's especially for broadcasting. The thing about uh, also with uh, uh, broadcasting too is that the best, in my opinion, the best mixers are going to be mixers that you can have each individual channel on the board be an audio device. That way you can set music to be one channel. You can set the game to another channel. And then you can route that all individually through your uh, your videos, which is really, really, really convenient. Having unused IOs means you can grow into it. That's true, but there's not, honestly, in some cases, having eight XLR inputs in a, in a mixer is not really probably not going to get used. <laughs> probably not going to get used, but, you know, maybe you could. I don't know if I would ever grow into eight XLR inputs, for example, but... um. It's hard to find a good mixer with uh like multiple audio devices set up. Right, I have in my setup, I have not only the mixer, but I also have each computer has an extra sound card in it. For that particular purpose. And it's it's actually annoying. Is <laughs> what it is. You plug your USB microphone into the computer. Listen. It puts the lotion on skin, all right? 
or else he's going to get the hose again. The Go XLR is nice, except that it is limiting when you do want to have more inputs. I wish the Go XLR had at least one more microphone input and at least a couple more line ins or outs. It pets the cats or it gets the Durko cat again. It's hard to find the the Go XLR is the what I do not like about the Go XLR is is that I do not like the uh, microphone preamp. I've been looking for I think the Zoom podcaster boards are are pretty pretty uh pretty good for having a separate device per channel. Um, but there's not really a lot out there that is made that works well for streamers. It's kind of hard to find that that feature set that you you want. It's still it's still kind of like a bit more of having multiple devices pick up some of those uh those jobs essentially. Uh we need to make a pull rug. Especially if you want to have a if you have two PCs, for example, um and you want to have push to talk You don't want to have to push the talk on your streaming PC because you have to have push the talk on a different device or a different keyboard or something like that, right? So you want to be able to do push the talk in your um, on your gaming PC, but then you also don't want to have like your game sounds and all the alerts go through there. So like the uh, the routing through that, it's always fun to mess with. I don't think it's, I don't think the preamp sounds good, BFQL. It has nothing to do with the power though. I mean, it has phantom power. Um and whatnot. I don't think the preamp sounds very good. I just I just don't like it's it's lack the lack of warmth. Um, it just has a very digital sounding preamp to me. Um, what is the feature set for streamers? Um, two XLR inputs, at least. Uh, a handful of inputs and outputs for, uh, like line ins and line outs. Each of those things being their own devices. Uh, the, uh, the preamp, actually the preamp on my Yamaha MG10 XUF board is great. It sounds really, really nice. And it actually drives this microphone without a cloud lifter. How many devices do I need? Listen, there's clearly... A lot going on over here. <laughs> I have a lot going on. You ever seen this room? There's a lot of stuff. I got a lot of stuff. The, the, the Yamaha mixer has a great preamp. It sounds very nice. It has a very warm sound to it. And I very much like it. That's that. So that would be like a, a preference for me, I suppose. Um, or an old tube or an old tube preamp. Did I put the pole threads in there? Oh, I didn't put the thing in there. Uh, you know, I'm going to build my own board stack, right? You think, I, I can't even build a cat tree. The, uh, the biggest thing, though, the, the biggest positive is that now, when how Twitch works and OBS is set up, you can set up multiple audio channels. So, for example, uh, anything on audio channel 6 doesn't go to the VOD. And the benefit to that is, if you want to play music, and you want to upload it to another service like YouTube, since Twitch and YouTube do not have the same audio licenses or uh, song licensing, uh, I can play something on Twitch that I have licenses for, but I can't play that on YouTube. So if I want to upload my streams to YouTube, I would have to upload them without music, unless I want to get copyright strikes and have demonetized. They want to be demonetized essentially for a video, um, if you care about that, or if you just want to stay clean and not worry about having to use something you don't have licensing for, right? So, um, uh, what I do is I, I everything you hear on stream with the music in the background, none of that. The music does not go to the the video, because I'm also recording video. 
And then that'll be completely clean in music. And then I can upload that. Um, or, even if you don't care about just uploading an entire VOD, and you want to, let's say when it's like a seven hour stream, and you want to chop it up into a 30 minute, uh, just a 30 minute segment of all the different good parts of the stream, then you're going to, naturally you're going to have a bunch of music that's just all over the place. Because you're not really, you're not editing the music in after. So what that does is lets you cut the, the spice of stream up, and then you can overlay music afterwards, and it sounds a lot better that way. Uh, so you need to be able to do is route your music into your board. Uh, it would be nice if you could hear it, but have OBS send that to channel six. Or, or, uh, or, or send it to the proper channels. So it only goes to this channel for OBS, but not this channel for the VOD. And then having the ability to have another audio device to kind of route it through is, is important for that. You stream marbles on its own channel so you can cut that out when you post to YouTube? I try to stream marbles on a different mental channel so that I don't have to physically or mentally be here uh, when it happens. Trying to get isolating ground and noise. Yeah, so XLR cables are great because you have to... Thanks, bloggers. Um, you guys, if they're not shielded well or if you have monitors or any other devices, you'll get a lot of interference. Um... Or using ground loop isolators or routing everything through uh, to clean the audio up. Yeah, that's also a, another big pain, which is fun. Uh, we need energy cables. Can we make these yet? Oh, we can't. Oh, not really. So all of my my uh, my input from the game is going through a ground loop isolator to clean it up, so you shouldn't hear any um, any noise on the on the signal. Hopefully, let's just do a stack, I guess. Right? Or right, that's fine. I don't trust myself to solder. But there's yeah there's there's ways around it yeah they can get cleaned up audio is audio is an interesting thing I personally prefer analog audio but the the issues is that when you're trying to do an analog like you're trying to use an analog board you just have the the limitation of trying to route things through separate channels like for the music that you are having to do some weird stuff with or have multiple sound cards. Remember, there was an issue with the Switch, too. The Switch is a, f a fun one. I found this one out. The Switch is a, the Switch uh, audio output is insanely noisy. It's so noisy. So, basically, <laughs> I remember this. My initial Switch um, capture was the Switch was going out via HDMI into the capture card. But I wanted to route it through the mixer for audio so I can control it on the board. But the only really way to do that what I had initially was that I just did a uh, an audio cable out of the switch from the top where you plug your headphones in into the board. It's extremely loud. It's so noisy. There's so much interference on that thing. Because if you need to turn it off, then you're going to get it worse. So you can run it through a ground loop isolator, or you have to run it through an HDMI uh, box that separates the audio from HDMI. So basically, you plug HDMI in and then out HDMI cable that goes to capture card, and then it it routes it out through like an RCA or uh, any other analog cable. Dude, the switch is so loud. It's not fun. <laughs> is the iPad the same with headphones? Yeah. So the fix for that is if you can, there's an HDMI audio uh, uh, separating box. And then, but the problem, the problems you ex get with that is. Um, uh, well, you have to worry about you're running analog now, so the noise potentially, or uh, you have to power those boxes individually. Or you could run it all through HDMI, but you, like I said, you still want to be able to route it through your mixer. So that's, that's where the issue is. You want to be able to hear it and control the volume. So, and I wish you could play the Switch in 
handheld mode and stream it, but it's not enough. There's not enough power to do it. It won't work. For like Mario Maker, Mario Maker, when you stream it, you have to do it with a controller, which is not as fun than when you do the touchpad. Like the touchpad part of that game, it makes it a lot easier. So it's a bit, it's a bit funky when you do some of that stuff. I wish I could make custom power cables or any kind of cable. I I cannot solder. I don't have the ability. I don't trust myself to do that. I feel like I would burn something down. <laughs> yeah, I feel like when I started streaming wireless, uh, wireless devices like mice and keyboards were at that tipping point. And now it's to the point where using a wireless mouse, it's very difficult to tell the difference, which is, which is really cool. So... It's making some progress. I'd be interested to, to just get rid of as many wires as I possibly can. You gonna solder my cables anytime you come over and solder me up? All right. You go at it. You come over here, you get your stuff set. You, you're, you're, you're free to do what you need to do. <laughs> I, I cannot stand the amount of dead wires that I have. There's just so many of them. That's true. Generic B can convince others. You graduated in electrical and computer engineering. You can't solder. Wait, hold on. Is that a true? Is that is that true? You graduated with electrical and computer engineering. That's a real. I don't even think I. I don't think I've ever known about the generic B lore. I don't think I know about that. I don't think I'm making it easy. Oh, we're missing another rock. I had no idea. Holy wow. Nice, but you don't know how to solder. Did they did they teach you? Was that a class that you had to take? You just, I would assume you just you just forgotten because you haven't practiced. Sitting your wireless mouse on a charging pan to keep it charged. I always forget to charge my mouse because I forget every time everything. That's the thing. As I try to buy cables that are close to length. I ran into some problems when I got a sit-stand desk, and I wanted the cable. I wanted the computers to be on the ground still, uh, so I needed to have enough slack for when the desk was up, but then also, you know, not pull out when the desk was going up and down. I ended up having to buy some really long cables for that, but then there's just like cable slack, and I don't want to have all the cables. And because of the slack, and some things have to be um, uh, stored the way they are, it's just a big mess behind the. Uh, behind the desk. So I just point my camera and not at the desk anymore. Uh, another rack. So we need to do... Or excuse me, that first. There, yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, we were going to move into the nether, weren't we? Okay, hold on a second. Well, the next week, it soldered a thousand cables for an install at a facility. When you, after you learn soldering, oh my god, that's the way to learn, I guess, huh? You were a webmaster. That was your first job. Webmaster. Wow. Do I have a bucket on me? I do. Yeah. Uh, oh, I need a cable. Give me, give me, or a tank actually. Give me a tank. Master of the webs, huh? I think, yeah, you told me the story of how you became a streamer. I remember that. You told me, you were telling me on your stream, because I realized I had never, I had never, um, learned about how Janera B became a big famous, well, at the time, YouTuber and then streamer. And he told me the whole story. He told me all the lore. Also, the fact that you have an insanely supportive partner, too. It's its really hard in those situations to have somebody who's like, is this what you want to do? Is this what you, be do you believe in this? And they're like, yeah. And they're like, all right, let's do it. Like that's, that right there is, is, uh, it makes a big, big difference. That's awesome to have. Oh my God. It's a lot of stuff. Okay. Believed it more than you. Yeah, it's 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 uh not everybody gets that right. 
Thank you, Blitzy, for the 300 bits. Thank you very much. No, I'm not saying that Ash doesn't do that. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that I know a lot of people who don't have that. Thank you, Blitzy, for the three. Oh, look, you get to see the screen upside down. Isn't this wonderful? This is actually upside down, by the way. It's not just upside down for you guys. This is upside down for me. Like, it physically turns the screen, well, not the monitor, but it turns the picture that my monitor has upside down. And because of this, my controls are backwards. So, like, right goes left, left goes right. <laughs> Spill a sit stand desk where the PC is in the tabletop. I was, people were telling me to put my, my computers on the, the desk. I didn't want to do that because it was just going to take up way too much space. But no, I'm not saying that Ash doesn't believe me. I'm just, I'm, what I'm saying is that I know a lot of people who do not have that. She's like, how far do you think this is going to go? And I was like, I, I don't know. I'm just having fun. Right. And then you get like, you know, there's somehow your ad money. You get like, thank you very much, Josh, for the, thank you for the 300. But yeah, somebody comes in here and physically turns the monitor around. Thank you. Thank you, Josh, for the 300 bits. Oh, and again, thank you, Josh, for 300 more bits. Oh, thanks for the 300 bits. Thank you, Josh, for the 300 bits. I want, thank you very, another 300 bits, Josh. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you for that. I appreciate that. Why am I even here? Oh, I know why. My drawer upgrade. Thank you. Remember that day we had flipped the screen upside down so much? In that my brain was still playing as if the controls were backwards, and it took me like, what did it take me the rest of the stream? Thank you, Josh, for the 300 bits. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Kev, thank you for the 300 bits as well. Thank you. It's very generous. Let's see. Thank you for the 300 bits. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. That's very kind of you. I appreciate that. Nice roll on the D20 there, huh? Did the mouse come out of the cup? Oh, there he is. Did I fix this? Oh, I did fix it. Look at that. The mouse came out of the cup. I finally got it set up to do this. Mr. Wiggly has been uh, throwing me test test scripts. Are these guys all done yet? Are they gotten all their stuff? Okay. Um, I need to build a uh, lava generator area. Maybe over here? Okay. Okay. Can I do this upside down? I don't. I think I can do this upside down. I'm not really sure, though. Did you know if you get these special glass... This is really hard. Do you know how hard this is? <laughs> Ant Rat. Oh, thanks for contributing. Thank you for the 300 bits. I can't wait till my screen flips back the right way in like 17 minutes. Thank you, Ant Rat. Thank you very much. You know, if you got these special glasses, turns the world upside down, you can get your brain used to it, flip everything the correct way in about a day, so you would have to remove the glasses again. It would take another day to get back to normal. Yeah, that's basically what happened to me that one day. Oh, thanks, Aunt Rat. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for the 300 bits. A servo motor and a gear that rotates your monitor? Yeah, that's totally what I want. Can Let's make that happen. I want my monitor to f actually flip upside down. Can we do it with my chair, too? Can you flip my chair around in a circle? The cats are gone. They get up and around this time they start like, oh god. This is when they get up and start roaming around. Um, when will this turn back around? We somehow need a display flip for the marathon. Oh god. The motor for the chair is going to take a wee bit of power. What are you saying about me? Are you saying something about me? I don't need that much power. I only, I'm not that, I'm not that 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 heavy. I'm a I'm a pretty lightweight. Is the mouse moving across the screen slowly? Thank you, Generic B, for the 300 bits. I appreciate that. I'll get you back one of these days. You know, I'll get you back. I'll get you back. I owe you for that wonderful joke that you told me. It was it was very nice. I like that joke that you told me. Oh, I need to get down there. Crap. I need to get down there because I can't reach. It's not me, it's the chair. <laughs> Can I go down here? Ugh. All right. This is so weird. It's like this is the floor, but it's no, it's not. It's not the floor at all. <laughs> a timer would be cool. What's that? Oh, a timer to know how long the screen is flipped for? Thank you, BeefQL, for the 300 bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. A timer for the flip? 
I never thought about that. That's actually, that, that might be a good idea to get that set up. Why, so you can do it right before it's about to flip back? Why is it upside down? Wait, what? Is it upside down? I've seen where they flip the drummer around. It's amazing. Oh my God. Wasn't that like, a, wasn't that like, who was that, Tommy Lee? Or, no, that was, who did that? I know what you're talking about. It's absolutely hilarious and crazy. It's so good. <laughs> Wait, so not do that? Can you imagine having a drum upside down? Why is it a handle? Which part? The, the flipping upside down? That's the custom application that Blargus has built. The mouse cup. The mouse cup is the cruise control thing, yeah. Everything, uh, the screen flip is, screen flip is the custom app that we have, uh, which that same application can do, um, uh, oh, we, I think, oh, we were showing it off just before you got here. So that application allows, when turned on, chat to control the game as well. So all of the movements in the game. So we can fully, like, AFK play Minecraft or... Um, do whatever. Any event we can have be whatever we want. And we can do mouse, we can do mouse buttons, keyboard buttons. We can do, uh, screen rotations. Turning the mouse sensitivity up and down. You know, all the really fun stuff. That, why is this still flipped? Is this still freaking flipped upside down? Blargris could, uh, oh, here, let's, we can do it probably this way. Blargris can throw my tool in the ground because, uh, right now, Blargris is the only one on the, uh, on the list. So right now, if Blargris does the command, exclamation point Q, if he's still around, he might have run away. Did he run away? Oh, he's not around. Well, he's not around. You just flipped your screen? Nice. Is it back to normal? If Blargus was around, he could run exclamation point Q, but he's busy. Dude, he's doing something. He's probably busy. <laughs> Where? How do I get off the screen? Here, I'll show you. You can't do it because you're not Blargus. You're here, let you do it. Can you do it? I don't think you're. I don't think you're on the list. Here, I'll have to do my phone. Where's my phone? Oh, my phone died. My phone died. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I'll do it. I'm wasting all your upside down time, so I'm sorry. Oh, it's my daily check-in for my my vaccine. Hold on. Chat. Watch me not watch me not be uh, on the list. Did you do it? Am I not even allowed on the list? Am I not? I'm not even on the list. Only Blargus is apparently on the list. <laughs> apparently, I'm not even on the list. I'm not cool enough. It didn't do it because I'm not even on my own list. I want to get into the club. I want to be a part of the party. How do I get in? Anyways, my vaccine thing. You got your vaccine tomorrow? Nice. I'm, apparently, I'm bad. I'm not on the list. Hold on a second, though. I just got my text message. It's time for my daily V safe check in. Oh, there he goes. Thanks for thanks. Thanks, Bargus. I appreciate that. Thank you for doing it. Did you see that? Hold on, chat. Hold on, chat. All right. <clears throat> here's my here's my daily my check in. How are you feeling today? Good, fair, or poor? It has like the faces too. Like good is a green face. I feel good today. Do I have a fever or have I felt feverish? I'm not poor, chat. <laughs> Have you had any of these symptoms today? Where you got the shot injection site? I have pain. There's no redness. There's no swelling. There's no itching. Uh, I have mild pain. 
have experienced any of these symptoms today, chills, headache, joint pains, muscle or body aches, fatigue or tiredness, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, rash, not including the immediate area around the injection site. Uh, I, do have the, I do have a headache again. It's pretty mild, though. I got the meat. Oh, I got the, uh, 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 the Pfizer. Do any of these symptoms or health conditions you reported today cause you to be unable to work? Yes. Be unable to do your normal activities? Yes. Get, a, get care from a doctor or healthcare professional? Is talking to Ash count? You think it's playing Minecraft upside down is why I got a headache? That might be it. Any, any flipped visuals? Any kind of visual impairment? I have none of these things. <laughs> Thanks for completing your check-in. How, how many days do I have to do this? How many days do I need to do that? Why, how long do they keep asking? Is it like a, is it until the next one and then all the way through those two weeks? Forever? Oh, okay. Well, that sounds fair. That's just, this is what I do now, huh? Is she working? Well, she wasn't really working. What? Wait, that's weird. Wait, why is this all oh, weird? Why did you guys bring, wait, why is this weird? Those are showing up as normal. Am I a beta tester for the vaccine? Yeah, they gave it to me because they know I probably have some decent feedback, you know, so. I tell my, I told, I told just, just stick me with it, you know, I'll tell you know if there's any issues. Yeah. Daily for a week and then weekly? Okay. That's not too bad, I guess. Crap. Thank you, Harvester. For the three. Thank you, Harvester, for the 300 bits. It's very kind. I appreciate that. After the first dose? And then they ask you again for the second dose, right? Oh, dang it. Look what I did. I use uh, the Sony Alpha 6000 camera for my uh, my webcam here, my face cam, and then um, for the cat cam, well, one of the cat cams, this one right here, which is hard to really see. I guess you can see the quality here. So this is the Sony Alpha 6000. You got yours two weeks ago? Nice. Hopefully you're feeling pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll do that right there. Uh, and mine is connected through a uh, capture card. I have an Elgato uh, PCIe capture card. Actually, hold on a second. Uh, yes. Yeah. This one's a capture card. The cat cam is actually set up through a USB capture card. Uh, their cam link. Which is... Have you seen the cam link? By the way? It's this. It's HDMI in on one side. USB 3.0 on the other side. It's literally the... This is for what the cam... I use is actually in uh, uh, capture card PCIe. Dude, this thing is freaking amazing. Let's see how fast it turns back on. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's frozen. Hold on. It's really, really, really nice. Jesus, Horsky, dude! Thank you for the, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the gifted, dude. Thank you for, what was I was saying? Thank you for Horsky the ten gifted, subs. gifted ten subs to viewers. Is there? Is my record broken, dude? Horsky, thank you. Holy crap! Thank you for the ten gifted subs. Thank you very, 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 very much for that. Thank you. Words are hard. They're very difficult. <laughs> dude, thank you very, very, very much. Thank you. Th thank you for the, thank you for the, thank you. <laughs> I know it's Twilight Force beta. No, I didn't know about that. Did not know about that. Horsky, thank you very, very much for that. I appreciate that, dude. Thank you for the support. Thank you. That's super generous of you. 
This is a symptom. Oh, should I put that on my my form that they asked me about for my vaccine? Should I should I go back and refill it out? It does seem to be something that's important. You know, the fact that I can't say words anymore. <laughs> should they know about that? I wonder if my headache is from my vaccine or if it's just that I have a headache all the time. I wonder. Was Twilight Force in Sky Factory 1? No, it was not. Uh, although it was out. It's not in the pack. Doing a baking stream? Doing SDI super small cans with removable lenses connected via quad black magic capture card. That sounds like a, 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 a multiple input capture card would be really, really, really cool for some of the stuff that I do. I, I have my setup is very nice, but having to have multiple capture devices is a bit of a is a, is is rough, especially when so I so um, because I'm sponsored by Corsair and Elgato. The cam link, for example, is they, they sent they sent those out to me. And I have two of them. And I found out that if your computer only has one USB device, you cannot have two cam links. So you have to buy a USB expansion card and then plug one cam link into that and the other into the actual motherboard. So for like limitations like that, I found it's a, it would be a little bit nicer to have a capture card with multiple inputs. Um, but that would be great. I didn't actually, I've never looked into that. So Black Magic actually, uh, has some really nice higher end capture cards. A USB router. No, 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 no. You cannot plug into the same USB root. Um, it, w it just won't work. So you have to have another um, device, or else it just won't work. Um, I think it's—I think both devices might not work. I can't remember how this, how that, um, how it was. I have to look back Welcome. into it. Daddy McDaddy Face has just subscribed. Thanks, Liv Face, for the gift and send to Daddy McDaddy Face. I <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. that's kind of you. Thank you. I wonder if Generic B gets weird sub names, too. What do you? What does Generic B get? Out of curiosity. Wait, what kind of stuff does, does, uh, does he have to put up with? <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize I had quad input uh, cars, though. That sounds really cool. That sounds like a really nice convenience thing if you try to go, especially for those, like, kitchen streams or whatnot, yeah? I need to go get some um, crucibles. Daddy McDaddy face. Thanks, thanks, Little Phoenix. Thank you very much for the gift sub. I need, uh, was it clay and bone meal, right? Oh, actually, what we could do is this. I have an idea. You think we're going to top last night's weirdness? Man, sometimes people get in this really How strange, very... For? One month? Two months? Mood? Eight months? Waste your money. Bye, Felicia. Thank you, Chevy, for the gifted sub. Has just subscribed. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. Thank you for the gifted sub. I don't... That, that's not... Let's not get into that whole thing. I don't really want to get gifted subs from, from usernames like that. I don't I really don't want that. You drank a ton of water and you took a ton of bathroom breaks after each break. Yo, oh my god. Are you serious, you never be? Don't take breaks. That'll teach you. Don't use the bathroom, right? Don't drink water and don't use the bathroom. Don't don't uh don't do those things and be fine. What is it? It's crucible? Let's do uh, porcelain clay. Like that, right? Do you have every incontinence medication sub to you? But wow, that's impressive. I don't think anybody else can. Uh, I don't think anybody else can claim that, can they? You might be the only one. Look, we can automate crucibles. Now. It's getting a little warm in here, isn't it? We can automate crucibles now. Aww. 
The camera prices are, yeah, that's, so I got lucky, uh, the, the Alpha 6000 I'm using for, um, my camera, I went to Fry's. Welcome. Hug me father has just subscribed. Thank you, Generic V, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for the gift that said to hug me father. Very awesome of you, thank you. Thank you, it's very, <laughs> thank you for taking part. You know, I thought maybe you'd get my back, but. <laughs> Fry's is dead now, yeah. Um, I bought mine open box at Fry's. Normally they are just with the camera itself, uh, like five or six hundred. Um, but if you get the two lens kit, it's eight or nine hundred, something like that. The Fry's had the camera with the two lenses that kit welcome for the price the of just, just the reg that's just the base camera and it was brand new and i was i was i was going there to buy a brand new camera and i was like yeah i, I i'll take that good chevy thank you for the gift that said to papa penguin 100 what happened to the previous ones welcome why do you have to me that he has just subscribed thank you for thank you chevy for the gift that said i appreciate that and anonymous thank you for the gift that said as well Thank you very, very much. You are all very strange people. You know that? You're all very strange people. <laughs> Orca accidents? Oh, the other 99 penguins? That's, an, that's an unfortunate thing. I'm so, sorry to hear that. Viagra has just subscribed. All right, dude. I don't know. Nope. Chat, I will end my stream. Thank you, Shadow Wolf, for the gifted sub. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. I will end my stream and leave. Elgato has just subscribed. Dark fan, don't encourage people. Don't encourage these people. Thank you, Anonymous, for the gifted sub to Elgato. I appreciate that, too. Thank you very, very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Is this done yet? Oh, not yet. Chat, I will pull this stream. I will pull this stream over. Wait, is that generic? Oh, that's generic B. That's not generic. B. That's generic B. That's that's the one. That's the one. That's the guy. Holy wow. Chat. I didn't have no idea. I had no idea we had such greatness upon us. Generic underscore B is actually here. And this generic guy. Does anybody? Nobody's gifted to marbles on stream. People have gifted marbles on stream. Isn't that their official account? That's the official one, isn't it? We have we've had like uh, <laughs> we have like dollar store version generic B over here, but now this is the real one. I bet you that generic B will play Marvel stranded deep. Underscore on underscore stream has just subscribed. Thank you, Venema, for the gifted sub to Marble on stream. Just the one Marble, though? What about Marbles? You can have the game. <laughs> Thank you, Venema, for the How gifted sub. Thank successful? you very one much. Month? Two months? To Marble months? on money. stream. Bye, Felicia. Thank you. Darkos Tof has just subscribed. Ooh, Dark Ghost. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Chevy, for gifting a sub to Darkosto AFK. Wow. Darko the Noob has just subscribed. Who? Darko the Noob? What? Who made that? Who made that? Thank you very much, Lynn Phoenix, for the gifted sub to Darko the Noob. Who made that? Which one of you made that? I know it's about me. One month? I know it's about me. Who is it? Your money. Bye, Felicia. Dark After Dark has just subscribed. Hey, thanks for giving a sub, Ant Rat, to my alternative channel, Dark After Dark. Thank you. Now I'm subbed to myself. Great. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you very much. Darko underscore the underscore cute underscore doggo has just subscribed. What? Darko the cute doggo? What the heck are these names going on? Kev, thank you for the gifted sub to Darko the cute doggo. Is that a satisfactory reference? Is that, is that from Satisfactory, probably? Hey, Generic B, have a great, great day. Thanks for hanging out. 
Might be back in time. Maybe. Oh, you mean for your favorite part of stream? Let's hope that you can somehow find it in your day to make it back. <laughs> Let's hope. You can only wish. As long as it's not dark with the. I'm not. No, I don't have any noodles for you. No, there's no noodles for you. I'm sorry. I ate all the noodles. Uh -oh. How long are you gonna keep subbing for? One month? Two months? Eight months? Waste your money. Bye, Felicia. Everyone has just subscribed. Everyone? No way. Everybody? What the heck is that noise? Oh, they're trying to shoot at me. Awful, awful. Thanks for the gift and sub to everyone. Thank you very much. Everyone has literally been. Nobody has to worry about subbing anymore. Thank you. Thank you. I'm rich now. Surprise when you end stream and host only Bentley. Is Bentley streaming? Oh, he's Sunday. He doesn't usually stream on Sundays, does he? Underscore underscore has just subscribed. Did it actually say underscore after it did the underscore part too? That's actually hilarious. Thank you, Aunt Rat, for the get the sub to underscore underscore. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. That's awesome. Booost has just subscribed. Who's Booost? I don't know any Booost. Oh, Boost. Thank you, Venema, for the gifted sub to to boost or boost. I don't know how they want to pronounce. There's no boosting. We're not boosting. Oh, I went too far. No boosting in marbles. I'm sorry. Boost. Boost has just subscribed. Uh, we need pipes and other stuff. Hold on. Yeah, Bailey doesn't stream on Sundays, is he? Oh, he might. Maybe, maybe he will. I don't know. Ramen is punk. Has just subscribed. Ramen is pretty pog. That's true. Ramen is pretty pog. Thanks, Harvester, for the gifted sub to Ramen is pog. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want. I haven't had like good ramen in a long time. You got to record today. Oh my God, there he is, right there. Bailey, by the way, I think uh, you might have misunderstood what I was asking for. Um, what I was asking for was this button but as a texture as a sprite sheet or as a texture sheet so like when i hover over it it changes so basically this you see how this one does that they're just that image i gave you was one on top of the other so it's the one when before you press it and it's the button that's shaded as if it is pressed like we did with these if that makes sense you don't have to make it now i mean you want to make it now it's fine but Welcome. I gave you the Tacos underscore our underscore life has just subscribed. I gave you the other one because it was showing you where they need to be on the sheet so that they line up properly. Lynn Phoenix, thank you very much for the gift sub to Tacos Our Life. Tacos are pretty awesome. I don't have tacos tonight for dinner, unfortunately. What do we have for dinner? It's like a rice chicken thing. It's like a rice chicken thing. I believe. Not tacos. Should I get tacos? Oh, by the way, I need to remember this because the schedule is now going to be a little bit different. I forgot yesterday, but it was yesterday they started later anyways. Uh, Ash's podcast is now on Saturday nights and not Sunday nights. And it starts at 530 still. So I can remember to end at 530 on Saturdays, not on Sundays. And she hadn't done it in like, she hasn't done the podcast because she's out of town and other stuff anyways. So I had forgotten and gotten out of the habit of remembering. So Saturday podcast, not Sundays. Make tacos out of the chicken and rice things. I mean, you can make tacos out of anything, really. I asked Bailey if I should add his face to this. I think he got mad at me. Uh-oh. Is it like a king thing or something? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why don't you make why don't you put his face in? That's great. Mute marbles is pog. I know it's pretty good, but now you don't have to worry about ending and muting. We can do 16 rounds of marbles now. Oh wait, hold on, I forgot. She has a podcast today. Sorry. Sorry, I forgot about that. Can't do it. I'm sorry. We all have to do like four rounds, maybe. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I think Pinball Wizard is a new map, though, chap. We're going to get this set up, and then we'll play marbles for the day. 
So close shot coming in to hang out for the last little bit. You can get your marbles fixed. <laughs> Let's make sure this uh, thing over here works, though. Chad, I got to grease up my mic stand. It's getting really uh, noisy, and it's also not moving very freely. It's making lots of weird noises, and I don't want people to think I'm making, like, body noises over here, you know? Oh, that was quick. Let's put some WD-40 on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to put Loctite on it. All right, hold on a second. We'll get that set up, too. Let me make sure it's my uh, Crucible thing. Here, let me get this uh, moved over, and then we'll we'll do the, the title screen thing. Lithium Grease. I don't even know if I have access to Lithium Grease. I'm, and I'm also embarrassed to say, I don't even know what the heck Lithium Grease is. I can imagine what it is. Oh, we're not friends on Discord? Oh, I'm surprised. Usually I'm friends with everybody. Um, especially the Minecraft folk, Minecraft folks, because we always uh, have to end up communicating. In oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I accept you. Okay. I, I also just love checking out new hardware. I'm like a big... Uh, I always let, I'll just go on and just like look up, you know, microphones, cameras, and things like that just to check things out. I love like the window shopping aspect of it. Thank you for sending that. Yeah, it'd be interesting to check out something that might make, uh, I've recently like taken my whole setup, uh, before I moved back home because of COVID, uh, and condensed a bunch of it, got a bunch of cables out of the way. Got rid of a bunch of the HDMI splitters and all that. And uh, looking for ways to have maybe a single device do what I have multiple devices for. Do I have the blue or red Loctite? Um, I don't, I think it's, I think it's blue. I can't remember. I think, I can't, I think it's blue. Uh, cobblestone. All right, so that should be good there. Let me get this uh, title screen thing fixed up. Uh, how big is this image too? How big is this image? Save image. Man. I think it's mine's blue. I can't remember. Okay, replace that image there. Show in folder. It's this one right here. Is this still the big size? Did you make it? Okay, what size are the what size are the individual ones? Are those eighty two by eighty two? Is the package blue? Or is it liquid blue? No, the package is red. I think the liquid is blue. The icons are eighty by eighty. Okay, I have to change that too. I think it's blue liquid. The package is red. It also smells horribly. It smells Loctite smells real bad. Chad, have you ever just smelled? <laughs> you ever just smelled Loctite? You should not. Don't do it. Is it in pack menu? Buttons, accessibility. Yeah, here it is. There. So these are 80 by... Uh, so the original texture... Okay, this is going to be really hard now. So this is the entire texture. This might be more work than I... I, I okay, hold on. Oh God, they smell different. Do they actually smell different? God, the blue one is awful. Um, so the actual image is, uh, oh God. Um, <laughs> my brain can't process this. Okay, hold on. The dimension of the image. Let's do this first, so I can save all. Get all this stuff out of here. Get the cl close that. No, I don't need that anymore. No, nope, don't get that anymore. I'm, I'm, I might not be able to. Ma I might have to handle this today. Actually, hold on. What size is the one you sent me? It's probably like I don't remember what the size was originally. You sent me like some eighty-two by eighty-two size. Okay, give me that. This is the original. Okay. So the image itself is 128 by 
just divide by zero and then just go do something else until somebody else does it. That's what the texture original size is. This is where, okay. This is where it's pulling from the texture sheet. And this is where it pulls from the texture sheet on mouse over. How many pixels in is <laughs> Cuz at 0 0 that's the top left of the image, right? 0 0 is the top left of the image. Oh, you can't see it cuz there's it's uh it's transparent. You're a mouse over. I might just end up having to do this after stream. Is it 5? Yeah. Bailey probably knows if he has it open. I might have to open this up in Photoshop. Or I'll just open it up, either way. Let's do this. Open with... Photoshop. You can't put bunny ears in that one? Is it because it doesn't fit, or because it's just, it's in the middle of the face? Okay, hold on. Where's the, uh... Oh, it doesn't render them. Oh, here we go. Need to add a layer. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's, oh, there's so much blank space. This is just the texture sprite. That we're using as a, um, or the texture sheet that we're using as an example. It's, it's eight in nine down. Okay. We just use one of the existing resource packs as the example and then just did that. Okay. So the height, the, 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 oh God. Is it that? This is probably going to be way longer to do than I thought, but let's really quick, let's see if that even does it. Yeah, I just used a uh, resource pack texture sheet for that particular icon, and then the custom icons got overlaid on top of those. I don't know if the... Uh, the originals textures for the game have that that much space. I haven't looked. Put the daddy in the basket. Is that me, but like old, but in a basket? Where's my body, though? Is it inside the basket? Is it going to work? I don't deserve a body. Do I need to earn it? Do you need to earn my body like your respect? Can you hurry up? I got, I got things to do. Oh my god, it, it kind of is almost... It's... That's... Honestly? That's pretty dang close for the first one, huh? That's not... I, let's just leave it like that. Just leave it like that. Does that mean we don't need to scale it then? I don't really know how this... Maybe maybe shadows... Hold on. I am calling on you, Captain Planet. Help. <laughs> so then when we hover on it, we need to move down that many pixels, right? Oh, God. How do, is there a way to just, like, count pixels? Oh, okay. How do I? <sighs> oh, I can just do that. 88. So 89, right? Sorry, the other way around. 89. Oh, that's it. 
the same. That's the same right there. So that would be 89. So the second one, this is 8. I should have left the reload button in so I have to reload the whole thing at the same time. But um, I think the scaling is also what's screwing with it. What happens if we don't scale the button? Just out of curiosity. Oh, God. Okay, let's see what that does. Good luck. Here's here's another take. Oh, get it. Don't worry. This is so dumb. <laughs> Did I save that file? Yeah, let's fade. Okay. This is, a, this is a fun struggle. I love it. To be fair, though, that first attempt was way closer than our first attempt last time we did this. I had, like, that same image, but it was, like, tiled across, like, 50 times. Change the width and the height of the white area size or keep snapping around. Change the width and height of the to the white area size. What do you mean? You mean the, um, the, uh, the blank space? Oh, yeah. That's what this is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The entire, uh, the full image, not just the buttons, the full image is 128 by 256. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, uh, do I have this pulled up here? Yeah, here we go. So this file, this PNG is 128 by 256. That's, that's, its, that's the original dimensions of the whole file. And then within that, I think we have to set where it's supposed to go, right? Okay, so the scaling clearly needs to be so so it does need to be scaled. So you went for too small, now it's too big. <sighs> no, it's okay. I want to do this. I want to do this. We do need to scale it though. But twenty five is too much. Maybe it's fifty percent. I don't know. Well, no, because the scaling would be making it all weird, wouldn't it? We'd have to. Oh, God. The scaling isn't going to be some simple, like, 50%. We might need to actually make it so the the entire sheet is easier to work with. All right. How, how, uh, how bad is this going to be? I might need to have Bentley alter this so that it's easier to work with because the biggest pain here is that uh, it's easy for a resource pack. You think it's 0.15625? Yeah, but the X and the Y, I think, are going to be different. I think X and Y are different because it's not a squared image, right? It's rectangular. And because of that, we can't scale it the same, which is going to be really, really bad. Is it starting? Uh, oh, here it is. It's at the end. You would still scale the same. You talking about me scaling the same? Like, is that an insult or are you trying to help me? <laughs> I don't know if you're insulting me or if you're trying to help me. Just make your own base game and define all the parameters the way you want them. You want to make a game? Does it make it easier if it was 180 by 160? Honestly, I don't know the answer to that. I, need, I can't. I don't have any brain powder. It's the end of it's the end of stream. <gasps> okay. Okay, okay, look, though, look at, look at the mouse over's working, though, isn't it? Look at how close that is. But the scaling, but 25% was, like, too small, wasn't it? 25% was too small. What's that? Oh, the cats are fighting. Go fight. Stop. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to scale this, though. I mean, we can go back to 33.333. I don't know. We'll try one more time, and we'll play Marble Strap. I'm going to try 3-3, three, three, and if it doesn't work, you're going to play Scavenger 3? How's that my pack? Is it terrible? Like I remember it being? Surprising <laughs> Let's try 33. And then if not, I'll fix it later. Then we'll play some marbles. Four rounds of marbles.
but you're right. It's probably gonna it's probably gonna stretch it and, and uh, squish it if it's not if it's not squared off. So might have to change the original image to be square. Uh, but I would have to if we did that, I'd have to go through and um, change the other options in here, right? So it might be a little bit more time. Five rounds. I didn't say five rounds. What? We'll do marbles, but with real cats. How about that? If you get it right, if I get it right, I got to then do eight rounds. Why do I wait? I do something good and I get, I get punished for it. Why would I get punished for doing something right? That's pretty good. That's pretty good right there. Look at that. That's pretty good. That's almost perfect. That's almost perfect. It's just like slightly, slightly. Outside. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. The top and left edge are too thick. No, 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 no. That's because the right and bottom are too thin because it's cutting it off. That's really close. That's really close. But unfortunately, it's marbles time. We'll have to fix it later. That was really close though, huh? So I guess you'll have to wait until next time to see the conclusion of whether or not I fix it. Is it though? It is though. I'll fix it. I'll fix it this time. I'm gonna play marbles. It's it's Sunday night, which means it's metal marbles. We play four rounds of marbles, and we listen to scuffed doom music the whole time. Uh, where's here is it? Yeah, let's do a prediction. If I place in the top 10 of the whole Grand Prix, if I place, if Dark Ghost, though, me, places top 10 in the Grand Prix, that's a prediction. Yes or no? Will I place top 10? Overall. All right. Chad, the game's not even open yet. Get a hold on a second. Um, This one. You can tell how little I play games anymore, Chad. <laughs> Usually marbles is like on the top of the list without cheating. I'm not going to cheat. You need to see how many are playing first. Probably more than 10, I would think. Don't have an epilepsy. Chat, by the way, there's a warning. You have to immediately discontinue use and consult anybody you need to. I'm not a doctor. This guy seems really mad. Is there a mod to see the prediction the way you want? Is there a mod here to do the prediction the way you want it? <laughs> what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Wait, hold on. What's in the store? <gasps> Dude, there's fries. There's a happy avocado. Marble the... Daddy has just subscribed. Thank you, Live Phoenix, for the gifted sub to Marble Daddy. Thank you very, very, very much. Did I tell Ash about marbles? Uh, no, let me send her a message. All right, send her a message about marbles. Uh, there's a puffer fish. Wait, where's Dark Fan? Dark Fan, wait! We have the perfect thing for Dark Fan! <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. It's a perfect. This is this is Dark Fan's favorite thing. All right. Um, I don't want to buy into this stuff. Viewers in your region can only predict without using any Darko tokens. Yeah, because your country won't let you gamble. That's why. All right. Uh, race. Well, we're playing marbles. Yeah. We play marbles every Sunday night while listening to metal music. That's like a that's like a tradition. It's a tradition. All right, we have not apparently played any of these. Oh god, I don't remember which ones we played or not. Uh Which ones have we not played? Oh, there's Pinball Wizard. Hey, which ones have we not played yet? 
Chat, look at Pinball Wizard, who made these maps, is in chat right now. A hero walks among us. Among us? Among us. Which is it we not play? House Retro Chase. Okay. Is there any other ones that we should play? I see him berserk. I don't think so. I don't think so. Futuristic chamber. Uh, zone retro chamber. Oh, this one right here. Yep. Okay. What else? Exploding retro doomsday. You want that one? Okay, we'll do exploding retro doomsday. You actually predicted yes. What do you accidentally? You have 200 tokens on me? 200k tokens? All right, one more. Pinball Wizard, you vote. Give me give me one more you want us to play. Give me one of your maps. We're all going to vote yes at the end, chat. You purposely predicted yes? You're going to lose. Vote two? Okay, we'll do two. All right, chat, here we go. Listen, marbles is easy. All you have to do is listen to the metal music, and then you just do exclamation point play in the chat. Oh my god, is that not? It's so yellow! Alright, Chad, exhibition point play! Well, that's awesome. What? How do I get one of those? Not is here. You saw it, not? Did you see not? How many people we got? 76 people. I don't know, Drew. It's gonna be rough. Also, the prediction is if I get top 10. There's quite a few people, by the way, in this whole race. It might be a little bit close, huh? Also, by the way, I'm a very slow marble roller. What bad things have happened? I, uh, we had to switch to this, but I was trying to figure out scaling with an image on a button on the title screen. It wasn't really going my way. All right, chat, 20 seconds on the clock. I have a weird image that is not a square and I need to scale it appropriately. And it's like 0 0.301 scaling or something. All right, check good luck. Here we go. I believe in all of you. You can do it. Let me win though. Seriously. Plargus is going to give me points of my own to win. We made a deal. So please let me win. You throw the game. Good luck. Who's in first place? Everybody is bunched up. Oh, dude, there's like set. Wait, did somebody fall off? Oh, wow. Everybody's all Everybody's all together. Oh, my God. I think I see like, is that Pinball Wizard? Pinball Wizard, you can't win your own map. That's not fair. That's not fair. I actually don't mind that everybody's all bunched up. It makes it a little bit, it makes it a little bit more interesting. I think Pentos actually is in first place. I'm Johnny Man, though. Pulls ahead. Well, this is the Hexblood's going backwards. Johnny Man pulls ahead. Where, where the heck? Did, oh, there you go. Potsaru trying to catch up. Sunset Whiskey's in there. I see Lothazar's name. Um, everybody just stopped. You're going backwards. TTV on TTV on TTV. Followed by Mutter. Mutter pulls ahead. What? Oh, my God. Mutter has pulled ahead. Mutter has one that's insane how did you do it mutter how did you do it out of nowhere out of nowhere mutter just comes in and bypasses everybody else up hex hex blood just fyi i think you're going backwards earlier you might need to go forwards next time uh-oh hunt clue you are you just keep getting knocked backwards You have control of your marble? No, it's all random. It's just your name. You'll don't worry. You'll make it. Feel, I thought you were stuck at first, but you just kept getting knocked back. Mutter, nice job! Congratulations, chat. Vote yes because Pinball Wizard makes awesome maps. You better vote yes. Seriously, Pinball Wizard's awesome. Vote yes. I was told if you don't vote yes, Pinball Wizard will come in 
find your name, and then your marble will always fly off the ramp every single time. That was pretty good. Bimbo Wizard has pretty good maps. Pretty, pretty good. All right. What's the next one? Here's your placements for that one. Butter, nice job. Dude, you got fifth on your own map? I don't think that's fair. I think you're cheating. Are you a cheater? <laughs> nice job, Munner. Why is um why are why are these numbers red out of curiosity? Yeah, you, you got robbed of fifth place. See? You could have been fifth. You could have been so much higher. Chad, is that a lot of people that hang out here? Wait, Sklane, I thought you didn't fall off. Did you, you, did you get thrown up in the air, went back down on the ramp, and then got thrown off the map again? How'd you do that? Red numbers mean no points out of energy. Oh. I, didn't, I thought you went up and landed again. All right, Chad, exclamation point play. Oops. Dude, that's awesome. Whose is that? Is that Harvester? Oh my god. Have we seen this one? I don't think we've seen this one. Wait, no, we have, probably. Have we? I say that every map, but then we've probably seen it like a thousand times. Oh, this is the one with the thing in the back. Hey, okay, why, out of curiosity, why is this back here? Is there a reason it's back there, or is that just because you just put it back there for looks? How many people got, 92? All right, chat, 20 seconds. Hold on, who's in? Who's already in the map? Oh, Hunt Clue. Bobble up. You, you guys are already in the map. Chat, you can't be inside of the map before it starts. If any of you people that are in the map win, you, you lose. You can't do that. That's unfair. You can't do that. You're already at an advantage. Look at everybody up top. I've seen somebody who's in the map win once. That right there, that evidence is enough to know it every time. <laughs> Obstacles are tied to track pieces. Oh. Wait, who's that? CB Jojo, I think, in first place. Is that Razor Ray on behind? Nice. Oh, this is going multiple directions. I think uh, Urge Naswix over on the left. CB Jojo still leading the pack. Look at CB Jojo, Razor, CJ Deluxe, Danger Trout coming in. Let's see Lothazar, also Scarborough, QNXP, and Sheffy. Look at that big, huge icon. Wait, hold on. I can't. Is Chipmunk ahead? I don't really understand. I don't know where to he... Where's the end? Wait a second. I think Chipmunk pulled. Wait, no, Razor's ahead. Razor's ahead, but gets stuck on the obstacle. CB Jojo as well. Who's making it out first? Hunt Clue pulls ahead. Hunt Clue goes through the obstacles. I don't know. CJ Deluxe pulls a little faster, though. It looks like Ash is trying to get third place. Hunt Clue and CJ Deluxe neck and neck. I'm going to put it in slow motion. This is super This is super dramatic. Oh, my God. Oh, there goes everybody falling off. Oh, can you do it? I don't think you can do it. It was really close. <laughs> that was really close. I got, did I get 11th? Did I get a let? You went from last place. You didn't even finish. Or you did finish. Sorry. You went from last place. You finished to second place. That's a good, that's a good jump. I also got 11th, by the way. <laughs> that top 10 is not looking pretty good. Danger, you were like all the way at the front. Danger, how did you get back all the way there? Daddy Dark Ghost, though. Tunes. Did you fall off the map? You're not supposed to fall off the map. I guess they are. Yeah, try, try and crank out 11 more retro tracks. CJ Deluxe, congratulations. Chad, vote yes. Vote yes in the map. Vote yes in Pinball Wizards. Wonderful map. CJ, nice job. Congratulations on your win. Are you going to go to Disneyland? Are you going to go to World? Disney World? Are you going to go to Land? I've heard Disney World is better. But it's also Florida, so... Which one are you going to go to? World or land? You get free tickets, clearly, to the one of your choice. World is better than land? 
Here, Disneyland is French. Isn't there a Disneyland in France? Or in Paris, right? Is that any good? Disneyland has two parks. I think Disney World has, Disneyland is like, for Disney World is like a whole bunch, yeah. We had to go for like weeks. Disney Galaxy. It's not the space station. You guys gotta not fall off the map. Wait, what did I get? Did I, did I actually get 11th? I got 11th? What, dude? Come on. Here's your next map, chat. I got 11th? Come on. That's not very, that's not fair. I need to get top 10 in this one, chat. Exclamation point play. Wait, let me, let me get it first. All right, you go. Now you go. <laughs> what is this? Oh my God. How long does it take Pinball Wizard to make a map, I wonder? I, ma I would imagine they're all different times. How many hours or how many minutes or how long does it take to make? This is great. This is wonderful. I love how it's shooting and everything. Dude, this is so good. This is good music, too. We got 93. All right, chat, 20 seconds of the clock. Jump in. Map making stream? I'm so bad at making map making maps. Remember the time I made a map blogger and he made fun of me the whole time? Really? Really want to go do it again? Depends on the retro game, at least a few hours. Wow. He's much more skilled than I do. Alright, here we go. Good luck. Good luck, Chad. I see Lem I see Lee Main in there. <laughs> hey, Lee Main sent me an email. By the way, I did appreciate the fact. The, that follow-up email, you said Lee Main on there. So I knew it was you. Also, Sunset Whiskey. Wait, Robbie? No, Jake and Carp? <gasps> no, that's not an obstacle? Oh, I thought that was an obstacle. I thought you just bypassed him. I think Jake and Carp and Robbie are just neck and neck. Here's the, uh, here's the portal. Where do we go? Oh, you guys get dropped in from the top. Agent and Roxas. Out of nowhere, it looks like Blazing Lion. Everybody else is like all mixed together. Is that mouse coffee in there? I think Roxas might maybe be ahead. Can Agent catch up? Agent could maybe catch up. Blazing Lion's in there. I see Chimera. Wait, but Blazing Lion's pulled ahead. Roxas trying to catch up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <gasps> Blazing Lion goes backwards, but still pulls ahead. What? Jake, oh my god, I thought Jake and Carp fell in the end. Blazing Lion pulls ahead Roxas, Raid Forester. Did you see that? I thought that was literally some, I thought you just dropped into the end. <laughs> I thought you just came out of nowhere. Just like, bam, I'm done. I win. I didn't get top 10 again. Butter. You gotta go a little faster. You, you, I don't know if you can win. Chab, oh yes, I'm Pimbo Wizards Maps. You always vote, you, listen, you always vote yes on Pimbo Wizard Maps. And second, you always, you always put all your money on Waifu for Mugen, okay? On Salty Bet. Always go in, full, on, full in on Waifu and yes on Pimbo Wizard every time. Also, Dragon Ball Z. You go, yeah. You go in all. You go, go in everything you have on on DBZ. Blazing line, nice job, by the way. Congratulations on your win. Here's your placements. You use up all your luck, apparently. Chad, I don't think I'm gonna get top ten. It's not looking very good. There is one more race, though. There is one more race, dude. Can you can you be Rose? You're at 785. That's awesome. Holy wow. Wait, hold on a sec. Oh, I thought not was placing. You guys are supposed to... Jagged Carp, well, you came out of nowhere. It's so weird. You just flew off the map. <laughs> if you're like an inch over, you would have landed in the end. All right, chat. Here's your last map of the day. Exclamation point play. Jump in. Oh, we play this one. This is a good one. Glowing Retro Tube. This is a good one. Dude, look at how cool that looks as well. 
DBZ or DBZ Super? Well, if it's Super, you gotta go Super. But you just go always yes on DBZ. But if they're fighting Super, you go Super, right? It's like Tempest. Yep. These are all... All these maps are based on retro games. All right, chat. 20 seconds. Hop in. They found one streamer that only do marbles? Apparently. All right, chat. Good luck. Listen... For those of you who voted yes in the prediction for me to win in top 10, I need you to let me be first, okay? I may be all the way up here, but just don't win. Everybody fall off the map. No, you're not supposed to. Rising Phoenix, what are you doing? Wait. Oh, oh there's me right there. Chat, I'm right there. Oh, my God. It might happen. Rising Phoenix, stop. Shh, get back. Oh, my God. I'm doing it. I'm, do I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm so doing it. Keb, though. Oh. Chat, is it time? Oh my god, it might be time. Kev, you're doing a good job, but wait, where happened to me? Where am I? Oh no, I went up. Oh no, I went up. Oh no. Oh. There it goes. Oh. I'm still in the pack, though. I'm still I'm still in there. Kev! First place, Hexblood coming in. Dark Oso right there. Grand two. Who fell off? Somebody fell off. I don't know. I think Kev might have this. There goes Slim Grim. Here's Keb. Here's Ke I don't know. I think Keb maybe might not have it. Can Hexblood do it? I am Johnny Man bypasses Keb. Am I not going to be top 10? No. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Come on. I was right there. I was like second place. I'm invested because I want everybody to give me points when they, uh, because the people who amass the most points won't make me play marbles anymore. Johnny Man, you did it, dude. You came in the end out of nowhere. Why is your cheese purple? Have you, when's the last time you, when's the last time you threw away your cheese? I think you might need to, yeah. Chat vote yes on Pinball Wizard Maps. Johnny Man, you might want to get new cheese, by the way, because this is, this looks like old cheese. <laughs> I wonder what placement I'll get. Probably none, right? Because I didn't get anything. All right, chat. Here's your placements, and then we'll go to the final. The final top three. I got three points earlier. Oh, my God. I might get... I might get... What if I got... What if I got 11th place? I think I did that last time, didn't I? Cheese is not supposed to be purple. Cheese might, it takes a long time to get purple cheese, I feel like. I got 45th that time. 45th. I don't think it's going to happen. All right, here we go. Oh, uh, Drew fell off too. Drew, you're not supposed to fall off, man. You're supposed to stay on the map. Come on. I know, it might be your first time. I don't know. <laughs> All right, chat. Here's your top three. In third place, it is, ready? Dark Osto. Oh, it's Johnny Man. Johnny Man, nice job. Second place, Blazing Lion. And first place, it is Roxas Unknown. Nice job. Roxas, very, very nice job. Very nice job. I did not get top 10, by the way. I am not in the top 10. <laughs> I am apparently very, very far down. Not even the top 20. Am I top four? I'm top 40. Top 40, baby. How long? keep summoning for butter One, thank you very much months, for the gifted seven to roxas waste your money. nice job Bye, you get a sub roxas you win zero wn underscore has just subscribed it's the greatest day of your life right maybe next time you just keep playing maybe you'll win i've won once one time and then when i won everybody got mad and yelled at me because it was my stream and apparently i'm not allowed to win on my own stream even though it's completely random and i didn't cheat the game but you know how everybody is you know how everybody is? Did a whole million points. Was that a million points that got... Are you serious? A million points? That's like three rounds of marbles. All right, chat. It's been fun. It is uh, past stream time. We'll be back tomorrow with more Skyfighter development. Thank you very much for uh, all your support today. I do appreciate it. Thanks for, all the, thanks for all the subs today. Thanks for all the gift subs. Thank you for all the resubs. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for all the wonderful tips. Um, thanks for uh, 
chatting. Thanks for lurking. Thank you for following. Thank you for uh, everything you guys do. It's been absolutely amazing. The support has been awesome. Uh, I don't think Melly or Dark Fan are streaming tonight. We usually host them because they're testing the pack out. Um, but I don't think they are. Here, I got a stream. Here we go. All right, chat. I'm going to go host up Dash Ducks. It's a nice, it's a nice wonderful, like, relaxing stream, post stream. So go watch Dash Ducks, and I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out, chat. Goodbye. Quack.